everybody. Have you heard about the Trumpy Peasants Patreon? It helps support the show while getting you some cool perks. Check it out! For $1 per month, you get to use our exclusive fan chat that appears at the bottom of the screen on every episode. For $5 per month, you get two new private shows, including Actual Mania, as well as our back catalog of private shows, plus all lower tier perks. For $10 per month, you get all of our monthly video content. This includes multiple post shows, our monthly reviews, our back catalog of all that content, plus all lower tier perks. For $15 per month, your name will appear in the ending credits of each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $25 per month, you get to take part in our monthly booking committee hangout to help us book our Patreon content for that month, plus all lower tier perks. For $33 per month, you get an exclusive piece of DP merch each month, plus all lower tier perks. For $50 per month, you appear in the opening credits for each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $100 per month, you get to join us as a guest on an episode of the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Plus, you guessed it, all lower tier perks. Visit patreon.com slash dp now to become a patron of the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get a wig in. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Lift my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast. This is episode 1332. Back again on a, on a Monday. Whoa. Monday. I just, <laughs> Monday, uh, hype. Monday hype. Monday, Mon- hype. Monday, Monday hype. Monday hype. Monday hype. Yeah, we're back again here on Monday. Please like the stream. Uh, also, you're going to want to check out the pre-show. Uh, we do pre-shows. We just recorded one. Uh, it's available on all of the audio podcast platforms. We also have, uh, you know, you can look it up on Spotify or uh, Apple Music or I'm sorry, Apple Podcasts, all that other stuff. Check it out there. Today we talked about musical sickos. We did. Sickos yeah, in the of- in the music industry. One might say there might be something in the music industry that's causing sicko behavior. Maybe. Uh, fame, power, and money. Same I mean like corruption. Basically. Yes. I love uh, there was like this uh, this fucking video that I was watching. Somebody suggested it for the roundup. I, I didn't I didn't end up choosing it. But they were like, "Hey, so uh, the what's happening is after the collapse of Epstein's empire, P Diddy took up the mantle." And I'm like, "Dude, come on! Do you think that there's only one?" Like, yeah, there's on. like one single syndicate of of this. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. People love to think they crack the code. Oh, yeah. It makes them feel special, you know. They're like, who's going to be next now that P Diddy got right? Got, got right? Like, who's going to be the next king of the sickos or something? Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, it's fucking ridiculous. Plus, Although, uh, one thing about this whole thing with like P Diddy that's that's like kind of opened my eyes. So I already knew uh, that Danny Masterson was like a fucking inhuman monster, a real piece of shit. And I knew that, like, Ashton Kutcher and whatever the fuck that girl's name is were, like... Mia Kunis? Yeah, were, like, kind of kind of weird and, and kind of shitty because they were, like, backing him up and running defense. But I guess pretty much, like, everybody except for Topher Grace in that show is a fucking lunatic. Like, the guy who played uh, the foreign dude. Fez. like Elmer something. Yeah, yeah, who played Vet. I guess he's a sicko too, and then I like, don't know, dude. Like uh, everyone uh, says, a- like whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't believe what, what, someone's a sicko just because someone else says they are. Like I gotta, I need more, a little more information than that, you know. Uh, but yeah. So anyone, anyway, please like the stream. I would, I would really appreciate it if you, if you would please like the stream, and uh, we are going to check out. 
some stuff here in just a moment. Uh, I want to remind. Donna is actually in a cult. What the fuck? I gotta find this out. This is driving me crazy. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. Oh no, she's in Scientology. That's what it is. Yeah, she's in Scientology. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Good enough. Yeah. Thank Proceed. you for conducting your at your investigation during the show, Jeff. Mm-hmm. You can always count on me. Um. All right. So it appears that the manatee is leaving YouTube again. Uh, I think this is like five months after the last one. Uh, so we'll. Uh, uh, not, e- not even. Wasn't that just like that fucking. Holiday, the creator of it is. It is. Thank you for help. Oh, by the way, I would like to get the goal moving a little bit here, if you'd be so kind. I, I, I would say, like, if we could walk away from this stream at 30%, that would be amazing. So just putting that out there, it, it's pinned at the top of the chat. If you would be so kind. Um, yeah. I, I want to check out the 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 Keen and, and how he's doing. How's the Keenster doing? So let's okay. play his intro. Individual right. situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. Thank you so much. Uh, so what were you saying uh, how, the last time he left? I thought it was like five months ago, but I guess it could have been longer. It was like seven or eight weeks ago. <laughs> you could be right. Time flies yeah. for me. I don't know. I could be wrong yeah. about that. Um, let's take a look at. Let's take a look at this video. This video is entitled "Goodbye." Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brett Keen. The last time you will ever be able to. Hear my voice on YouTube. <laughs> you sure? Uh, uh, or most of social media video sites. Um, I'm going to list a couple different reasons why it is that I'm no longer going to be uploading videos or doing live shows. Because you suck at it. Oh, I don't think he's going to say that. Is there any of that kind of stuff? You know, I've for years I've put up with abuse. <laughs> I put up with bullshit. I put up oh. with YouTube hammering me every time. Hammering me. People decide to get together and flag my channel. Screw me. You made a video from like 15 years ago where you go through someone's entire channel worth of videos and flag them, and you don't even watch them. You're just like, oh, I'll just say this one's racist. I'll say this one's hate speech. <laughs> uh. Yeah. 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 Back in the you day. Can't, can't. You, you, like, if you if you do something stupid like that back in the day, like, you know, everybody can learn, but you never again can, like, take the high road about that kind of shit. You just can't. He so never just learned. Don't mention, just don't mention it. <laughs> I, I, whatever. Me over, make countless videos talking shit about me. And I still said, you know what? Fuck it. I'll keep on trying. I'll keep on going. But. Now something has happened in the last 10 months that I can't do anything about. I'm not able to fight against this, and it's AI. If Mm. you go over to the YouTube search engines right now on Google and type in what YouTube did with AI, you'll see why. How about we just go to YouTube search engine and type in Brett Keen, and you'll see like a bunch of drunken peasants videos with like hundreds of thousands of views goofing on yep. him. How about you just do that instead? <laughs> <laughs> thousands of YouTubers are leaving YouTube. They're either volunteering to leave or they have been completely wiped out of existence. Oh. Here's what happened. Wiped out of existence? Is he saying YouTube is like whacking people? Back in time. It's time traveling. It's going back. It's like the baby Hitler thing, but with YouTubers, it doesn't. Yeah. Huh. So they sent the Terminator back in time to take out PewDiePie's mother or whatever. (laughs) Dude, you know what? I want to see Brett Keen uh, in like a time travel movie where he has to fight the AI and shit and fight the Skarnard situation. That'd be fucking rad. It's funny because like in even in like like in the 2020s, 
Brett mm-hmm. Keen will use like Fred as a popular as an example of a popular YouTuber. No, he will not. He ha- yes, he has. He has Fr- Fred. Take Fred for example, and he's always <laughs> like he's always like. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're, you you want to listen to Megadeth's new album and re-upload it? Like he'll he'll always talk about Megadeth all the time too. Uh, that's interesting. YouTube decided to, and Google decided to start getting into AI, artificial intelligence, and they use the AI in order to put you where they want you in the search engines. If you do a video where you're talking about abortion, suicide, COVID, uh, government, if you're on the wrong side, like from, <laughs> abortion, suicide, government, for instance, just search all of those all at once. If you yep. are a Republican, a conservative, a Christian, or any of this kind of thing, then you're going to get wiped out the AI will make sure that you do not get seen in the search engine. As you can see, I just mentioned all these different things because I already know I'm not going to get seen. Here's the mm. other problem, too. Even well, okay, if a per- okay, okay. Two things, two things, two things. Th- that should mean, though, that now you're free because you can fly under the radar, Brett. You can say anything, and only those elites that know to go and look for your channel will be able to get the truth. That That's how you sell it. But also... Um, I, you know, this type of like paranoia and shit has been around for a really long time. I just wanted to mention this. I used to have this friend a long time ago who was super paranoid about conspiracy theories and always thought that his phone was wiretapped. So anytime I was on the phone with him right before I'd hang up, I'd start screaming like bomb, bomb, bomb. The bomb is in the park, blah, blah, blah. And he'd freak the fuck out and hang up on me and then scream at me the next time he saw me because he thought it was going to tap the, uh, huh? the, the fucking CIA wiretap because there were the code <laughs> words. They're listening on every line. If you say things like, you know, uh, sarin gas into the phone, like it'll, you'll hear a click and it starts recording what you were saying. Sarin ghetto? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> They're not fans of sarin ghetto. Hmm. Only Lucrane. person like myself decided to completely alter what I'm doing on my YouTube channel and not mention Donald Trump or my views about the government or use cuss words in my videos or don't use certain imagery, what the AI does is it pays attention to what I say. My voice actually generates subtitles, and the words that I say, if it's not agreeable with the politics of YouTube or Google, they'll make sure I don't get seen. It's the reason why I went from thousands of views to down to nothing. I can barely break 100 views anymore. And It's because... The only reason you were getting a lot of views back, well, at first, he was getting views, like, legitimate views, and then he ruined his own reputation, and then he was getting views as the DP lol cow for true. forever. Very true. Very and, true. And now he's not. So now he's left with no views, and it has nothing to do with him being hidden. Well, I'll strongman his argument a little bit, uh, which is, like, YouTube does have algorithms does trip yeah. up on certain things and it will try and mitigate like the spread of some things it does a terrible job of this terrible it'll do bad science debunking of that bad science it'll it'll hit things that it's not supposed to it'll not hit truly egregious shit like it's anybody's fucking guess how well it's going to work and that's that's very possible but also the reason why they do it is because it's their platform brett you don't own YouTube. You don't pay money into YouTube. You don't give YouTube any reason why they should like give you any preferential treatment. And if you're toxic for their advertisers, it's their fucking right to be like, nah, we don't want to run ads on this fucking video. I don't, I don't like it either when it happens to me, but it's their fucking platform. You don't like it? Don't use it. Simple as that. Hundreds of thousands of other YouTubers are saying the same thing. During the last election, when Google was just starting to get into this, I can't tell you, I can't count how many conservatives out there absolutely lost their channels. YouTube's also wanting it to where if you're not allowing ads on where you'll watch their ads on videos, that can actually cause problems. So if you went over to 
some kind of website right now and downloaded an app that makes it to where you're not forced to sit through their commercials, this will actually affect your channel. Okay, also, I also have to point out. I, I also have to point out this idea he has that YouTube is like censoring conservatives is fucking idiotic. Absolutely mm -hmm. fucking idiotic. Uh, dude, the day any anybody who works at the fucking Daily Wire, uh, you know, fucking Tim Pool, uh, all these fucking dickheads have massive, massive fucking channels. They get shitloads of fucking money. The difference is is that they're successful, and Brett's not. And, and if he yes. could find out what that is, maybe he could figure out how he could try and court a, a contract. Uh, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest with you. The ship has sailed on that one. You know what's so Thanks. weird? I remember uh, Brett having a, a YouTube flame war with Stephen Baldwin back in the day. When, that sounds when, so weird. Who's that? Stephen Baldwin is the... Baldwin brother that is very conservative and religious and he was he was in Biodome with Pauly Shore he was the other guy in Biodome oh, oh, oh the um, actor Steve Baldwin. yes yeah Weird and and guy. a lot of people don't know this but Justin Bieber is married to Stephen Baldwin's daughter that's that's weird yeah yep yeah weird. yeah it is weird but yeah, Brett had when Brett was still an atheist, he had like a video back and forth with Stephen Baldwin on YouTube. I wish those videos still existed. It was hilarious. Yeah, well, like I was saying before, even if I wanted to start all over and do a completely different type of YouTube channel, the problem is is every live show that I've ever done, every video that I have done, um, that counts against me. Even if I were to completely do exactly what YouTube wanted right now, I would have to destroy all the videos that I have right now, every live show I've ever, ever done. And that's what every other YouTuber would have to do unless they've already been shadow banned. Now, what does shadow ban mean? What it means is that if you had gotten enough problems with the AI, the AI can literally make it to where you're permanently gone and then never you're permanently gone with the AI situation. I wonder if he <laughs> already came back. Is he already back? Because I don't even know. <laughs> Usually it lasts like 24 hours. I guess we'll see. Not anymore. Right. Been, right. Basically put on a virtual list of YouTube channels that will never see light of day anymore. And I have believed for the longest time that that's where my channel is put. And we can see by the results, a person goes from a thousand views to not being able to break a hundred. I've been able to break over a thousand views for over 20 years until this AI came out. There are users that had over a million subscribers and now those subscribers are complaining that they're not even seeing their favorite YouTuber anymore. See, that's the problem. Even if you do have a lot of subscribers, they may not even know you uploaded a video. The AI is so potent and so effective that even your own subscribers don't get to see the videos, depending on what you talked about or what you said. And YouTube still got this woke shit and this information uh, bias. Woke shit. There's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, he's hopped on the culture war bandwagon, so no. he's, like, full-on transphobe. Not that he wasn't in the past, too. Like, we all, a, a lot of us remember the Nadia Chambers thing, so. Uh, yeah, I just, I remember when I, would, like, when I, the brief moment where he and I were kind of, like, talking and shit, uh, I got him to kind of, like, cool down on some, some, like, homophobia sort of stuff, and he was starting to get kind of cool about it, but he's just so full bore with a double fucking barrel about transphobia and shit. Double it's, barrels! It's... Yeah. What the fuck? Pop -ups that <laughs> show up. That was Egg Egghead got mad one time, and he was like, Double barrels, bitches! But the oh. problem with every one <laughs> of your videos. If you talk about anything, it feels like it's got to correct you. The AI will do things, and YouTube's also talking about videos that are already up that it will literally censor your videos whether you like it or not where it'll remove the cuss words it'll remove certain topics or no. it'll even send you an email letting you know that the video you got is 
considered bad for YouTube and they want to get rid of you. I've gotten well, you over have, three. Yeah, like, okay, they, that's fine, but they don't automatically just edit your fucking video. They don't do that. And the thing is, too, if what he's talking about, he doesn't even understand what, what the fake is talking about because, like, if you uh, subscribe to somebody's channel, and you go through your subscription feed. You will you'll fucking see all of their videos as long as you're logged in and you're like age verified just in case it's an age, you know, metered fucking video. You'll see it in your sub feed. It the what he's talking about, which is a real thing is that it won't get pushed out to people's for you pages, it won't be a recommended video, it won't organically kind of like get put into the algorithm for people to find you. That's a real thing. That's yeah. a real thing. Yes. But uh, like that just means that you're not you're not fresh and popping, I guess. I don't know. I mean, like that doesn't happen that the same shit happens to me and like it's frustrating, sure, but it's not like or or sh- under the fuck or wow. And it's not because you're a conservative gourd believer like he claims is why it's happening right. to him. Right. Three has to nothing to do with it. No. Five of these emails already telling me that YouTube didn't like a topic I talked about on a live show. That happens to every like that's why that's a big reason why I shy away talking about news events like mass shootings and wars and stuff like that. Because yeah. YouTube yeah. goes, Oh, you're trying to monetize a tragedy. Uh, let CNN and all the news networks talk about that instead. They can be fully monetized and talk about that shit. You know, that's why. They they yep. they actively de incentivize talking about that kind of stuff. I mean, like they the the justification for it is like they're trying to cut down on extremist content or something like that. But there there is so much content that is uploaded to YouTube every fucking second, uh, and I hate that I'm defending YouTube on this because fuck YouTube. I uh, that that the whole idea of them moderating and actually getting eyes on whether or not this is. Like somebody being exploitative or somebody just talking about it, it's impossible for them to to monitor. And so they they just choose to make certain things like non-monetizable, which sucks, but, you know. Ask me to erase an entire segment of my videos. When I joined YouTube, I was never one of these type of people that wanted to do all kinds of edits in my video. I don't want to because <laughs> video worried, up, and then my video basically get garbage dumped on, and then I gotta uh, go garbage through dumped or all this crap of editing out information or my opinion or my views. Fucker, What's the fucking troll, point to doing? I do work, fucking pieces of shit. This anymore? And let's all face it. Unless you were already a million subscribers in and you're friends with Google and share their ideologies, you're not going to make it anyway. It's one thing putting up with a bunch of deranged idiots on the internet who run their mouth. It's one thing for people to try to make fun of you or mock you and all this, but now... YouTube has decided to create an AI that has no emotion, no sense of reasoning. It just simply Uh, gets rid of things that it does not like or doesn't want to see. Brett, Brett, it sounds you want the AI to favor feelings over facts, and that's just very strange to me. (laughs) Tony Rubb's point. Uh, It's more in their interest to suppress new talent coming up the pipeline. They'd rather have Stephen Colbert uploading YouTube content than some random guy in a basement. True, absolutely. It is true. Yeah, and a lot of this coincided with YouTube getting into the TV business when they when they launched YouTube TV to compete with cable television providers. They yep. adopted this relationship with a lot of networks and started pushing their content to the top because it's good advertisement and they're making ad revenue. So if you watch Jimmy Kimmel, you know, them and ABC gets all the ad revenue out of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know if it ever got confirmed or not if uh Will Smith got paid by YouTube to be on YouTube. Probably. I, don't know if that ever got... I remember when they but put he... him in the like whatever they called it, the wrap up or whatever it was called. The rewind, yeah. The rewind. The rewind. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And uh, it's it's pretty gnarly. It's pretty fucking gnarly. Um, was that the rewind? <laughs> was that the rewind right after the apocalypse? Yes, yes, it was. If yeah, I'm not there it is. There it is. It was like, oh shit! Uh, Trump got elected. People, uh, the the media all over the world is talking about us running coke ads on white nationalist videos. Let's. Mm-hmm. Uh, Let's assure our advertisers that we're gonna put actual celebrities in into a, on our platform now that they'll be advertising on, uh, and right. then and then let's bring all these popular kids from Vine over, like the Paul brothers, and push them to the top. That was a big thing too. Yeah, all around that time. Some time ago, many YouTubers, including myself, predicted that there would be a point where all the people all the regular normal people who like to make videos and communicate with friends and socialize would be wiped out and in its place would be left disney shit movies and television and youtube would basically become an overpowered basically netflix that's what they want that's where the money is you know if you got something like that going on and you got your friends making money off on the side of this, then you don't have to worry about, you know, anybody like causing issues like somebody like Candace Owens or Ben Shapiro or these big YouTubers where they become so popular, their voice becomes uh, a weapon that can hurt a liberal. And it's true. Liberals consider words dangerous. <laughs> uh <laughs> hang on didn't didn't Brett Keen just get get done whining and complaining about being a tractor or shelter or purple shirt all those horrible thugs about me mm-hmm. for fucking guys they're just words Brett they're just fucking words yeah wh- words wh- why does he think words are so dangerous yeah what are you a fucking uh liberal liberal yeah, Jesus Christ. Libtard Brett Keen over here. <laughs> Trying to fucking harass my family. Shut up, libtard. Liberals consider words dangerous, so they will use their wealth and money to purchase things like artificial intelligence and any kind of programming software. You'll notice mm. that YouTube, when you look at the channels nowadays compared to the way they were five years ago, YouTube has done everything in its power to create blacklist and ways of censorship, not just for themselves, but for you to have the ability to censor anything and everything in your power. A lot of you may not even know this, but YouTube actually offers apps now where you can completely block someone's channel and never see their videos again. That's right, you can go over to Google uh, App Store right now in their extension set and get an app where you wipe people out on YouTube that you never want to see again. And I remember thinking to myself, well, that ain't bad. That isn't horrible. I can think of a lot of assholes I don't want to see anymore. But they also offer that you can put certain words in the filter where to make any video that mentions that word or that thing be gone. And that's created by Google for users to do on users so you know damn well google thinks that's morally ethical they're using it on every channel every youtube channel that's the reason why you see people out there that have over 500,000 subscribers but they're not breaking 500 likes and they're getting less than half of the damn comments that they should be getting on their videos because they're simply not being seen anymore. The only reason why they're getting any views is because some of their subscribers still see them if they're lucky. Uh, if you could like put a word into the algorithm and if it was like said more than 10 times in a video, the, the video was like metered and shit, what, what, what word would you choose? You mean like a word that would stop the video from being circulated? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, like, I would probably start with racial slurs, right? I mean, I suppose. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
Uh, that's that's tough though, because like, what if it's there? It's like a hip hop podcast or something, you know? Well, I, hopefully the AI is good enough to understand it your tone. It tell. Yeah, I don't the know. The AI is colorblind. It's like holds up that that Family Guy color swatch thing and is like, ah 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 ah. Anyway, um, I, I think uh, I'd add in like some pretty basic ones, like ivermectin, obviously. But honestly, if 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 a fucking video says the word woke more than five times, I think it should be annihilated and shot into the fucking sun. Just straight up. Just straight up. Now, I only say that now because that's the current one. If you had asked me two years ago, it would have been critical race theory. And before that, it would have been like neo-Marxist or whatever the fuck. Who gives a fuck? It's all the same shit. <laughs> I would definitely put... I would annihilate those if I could. They are insufferable. In fucking sufferable. So at this point, I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my time. I'm not making any money off of doing YouTube. I, you haven't made money off Let's of YouTube in quite some time. I see media was tired of YouTube yeah. outperforming them, and they used that no. supposed Coke ad to smear YouTube and force them into submission. Yes, now that YouTube is what happens. Is even more establishment friendly than ever before. Right. Legacy True. Media wins again. Yes, yes. They they got they they got crushed by Legacy Media. There was no evidence about this uh coke ad on a Nazi video. There that, that was never conclusively proven that that happened. Uh but the fear behind it caused advertisers to leave YouTube in droves. It fucked over the creators that made YouTube into what it mm -hmm. was at the time, and they got in yep. bed with the legacy media because they realized that that was the... Because they're a business, and that was the better uh, that was the better choice for them in that situation. Yeah, it's a shitty situation. Yes. What's really funny about the whole thing, too, with the adpocalypse is... Uh, you know, all of our ad revenue got slashed. Sometimes, like in my case, 80% of my oh, ad yeah. revenue was just... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, like, this channel was riding high at that point. So, yeah. it was like... It was It was just... Do you know how long the, the advertisers were gone before they bounced back and came back to the platform? No. About a little less than two months. And do you remember when our, when, when our, when our ad revenue came back? Uh, it never fully recovered for me. Never, ever, dude. Yeah. I went from like a hundred percent down to 20% and then it bumped up to like 25, maybe 30%. It yeah. never came back up. Yep. Never, never did. Yep. It's fucked up. Yeah. Cause they created like what they called the P score to, to <laughs> decide, you know, who was more problematic than others. Tube. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to be able to make any new friends if I can't be seen or heard. And it's just getting worse and worse. Every fucking month it gets worse where I'm getting less numbers, less shit. And it basically ruins my desire to do this. On top of that, having the personal problems in my life as well as my health issues, why the fuck do I want to use the last bit of energy I have to continue to do this? It was different before. I've really, really thought about this for the last fucking year. And a lot of you probably noticed a change in my behavior. And No, no, that's the thing about you, Brett. There's never a change in your behavior. You mm -hmm. do the same thing over and over and over again. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's part of the fascination that people have with him, even still till this yeah. day. He, he could have recorded this video if, if it wasn't for him saying AI. Yeah. He could have recorded exact same video with some other reason behind it like eight years ago and i would not be able to tell the fucking difference yeah it's true that's fucking nuts dude some of the things i have said and also what how i was feel your bs also my last comment didn't read oh Don't shit. Know why i didn't use who knows it doesn't matter i mean like i'll read it who knows yeah well about what was it was it woke? Is that why? Did the algorithm catch it because it was too woke? This is Jack Burton coming fro from you to the Pork Chop Express. Like I told yeah. my ex-wife when she asked where the alimony was, check is in the mail. That's right. Honey, the check is in the mail. Goddamn right. Yeah, it probably filtered the pork chop part. Life in I don't general. Know. This is a fight that I can't win. 
I can't fight an AI created by corporate wealthy rich assholes who want to completely clear out this is their agenda become the they resistance clean- Brett. we need we need the sarah connor situation so like you have to be our sarah connor you have to so brett is sarah connor he's not john connor oh definitely not i mean so, that would not so that wouldn't make so brett's son in the future is going to send his buddy to have sex with brett and become his mother wait 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 what if (laughs) brett is kyle reese and brett's son sent uh brett back in time to fuck dorn to make his son who's going to be the hero of the revolution Ah! against the there you go there you go out they want it to be netflix they don't want it to be about brett keen or you or me or anything this has never been a youtube this is about google wanting to make as much money as possible and they're going to keep on making money as they wipe people out because a lot of you are consumers a lot of you are here because you want to watch clips of your favorite movies or hear your favorite music so they'll do just fine They'll get paid through their advertisements and they'll keep using other people's music and other create people's creativity and they'll be able to push all the political agendas and their transgender, homosexual, whatever the fuck they want. And Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. If you express an opinion that goes against their view. You cannot stop us, Brett. You can't. You can't. When the revolution comes and we're all riding on giant monster trucks. A bunch of trans and gays and big like leather and chainmail bikinis with titties and dicks flopping everywhere, just riding up to your house and shooting it while we're wearing our Antifa fucking headbands and shit. You can't stop us. You can't. It's the wave. That's like a reoccurring dream that Brad has, I think. Me too. The AI calls you hate speech and you're fucking gone. If it doesn't Brad even is supposed make- to be Sarah Connor. He's got a lot of working out to do. Did you see her gains? In she was, day? yeah, that, that's when she was locked up in the nut house, right? Yeah, that, yeah. that started turning into my love of muscle mommies. Matter to me anymore, because I am. I think it was uh, James Cameron's, too. Shadow band, I am shut the fuck. Does not he marry her? Did he? Pretty sure she was married to James Cameron. I remember her from the Beauty and the Beast syndicated show. What's her name? Linda Hamilton, I believe is her Linda name. Hamilton. Yeah. Yeah, Linda she was Hamilton. married to James Cameron. No way. Yeah, she was. Wow. Was for two years. Yep. Shit. Crazy. She was also uh, Picard's love interest, right? Uh, Man, I think this is Brett uh, Sanders. Or no, 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 no. She wasn't. He must really inflate his reality to make these videos. Hi. Jeff, he has so to. When are we gonna wear the leather straps? We can we can start practicing now. I don't mind at all. I'm super into it. I mean, um, I I practice every day. Yeah, Fuck down. <laughs> I mean, and it's obvious that all my videos that I've done before have already they already count against me, so I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter. Like I said, there's no point of even trying. Since my channel has been shadow banned, as well as a lot of you out there who've been screwed over, starting a new channel would be the only other alternative because this channel's already been screwed by name. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not starting to fuck over anymore. That's the end of it. And I'm not going to go over to Rumble and try to make that shit work. Because that's a dead site. Every social media site out there that claims to be an up-and-coming video sharing site, they're all dead. Companies like Gab, they're about censorship, and they're getting into AI. So is Twitter and everything else, even though Elon Musk claims sings a different song. Nah, he's, he's, he's just as full of shit as the rest of them. Gab, Gab is like legit run by a fucking anti-Semite. That dude, Andrew Torba, he's a fucking lunatic. Like, it, it, one of my favorite things to do is to fuck with Andrew Torba because he always posts on X, but he never posts on his own website. And to, to point out that he does so. And then point out, 
that it is not a secret. It is an open known fact that he was a tech bro in San Francisco and he got he, he was going to all these different parties, all the big tech bros and all the big fucking up and coming corporations. And he was standing for Gab and they were inviting him and they had to start disinviting him and like not telling him and hiding where the parties were going to be because he didn't want him to come because he'd come to the party and start ranting about fucking Jews. Like, <sighs> it's, not a secret. it's not a secret. Everybody in fucking San Francisco, the tech sector knows this shit. He's a lunatic. It's great. Hmm. And he's addicted to his competition. Twitter, Don't give me so. any bullshit either. My comments are going to be turned off. The only way people are going to be able to say anything to me and maybe get a response is through email, and that's it. Ha! I like how he puts that out there. See, if he really didn't want to be contacted by anybody, he wouldn't even say, oh, but you can still contact me through email. He, he, he desires this form of attention. He can never <laughs> fully let it go. Yeah, I'm that's not going to keep on doing sure. this shit. This is fucking nonsense, and it's just not worth my time anymore. I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to hang out with my kids and my wife and like just do the family thing and get away from social media altogether. That's not that's happening. That's not okay. happening. You'll be back. Some people are probably oh, yeah. going to go, what about the radio, Brett? The radio, yeah. Uh, you mean like audio? I mean, like an RSS feed? He calls it the radio station. It's like it's an RSS feed. Yeah, yeah. That's not really a radio station. No. I wonder. If, I wonder if he gets like literally any fucking listeners at all. No. Maybe one day it. I'll do something with my radio. I've got over a thousand shows on that thing. If people want to see shit. But right now, the last video besides this one that you're going to see on my channel is the one with Missing Mod and Adam Lore. And we had a pretty good time. The videos that you see will remain up. They'll stay up. But like I said, you guys are the only ones that will see it. The end. The, the end, ladies and gentlemen. I, I found this amazing video. Uh, somebody made it, obviously, uh, uh, someone who's familiar with the DP Brett Keen lore. Sarah yeah. Connor is definitely a gateway to Carlock. Speaking yeah. of, did you see Athena come out to him in a Carlock cosplay? No. No, I don't no. really watch AEW. I, I don't watch wrestling these days, so I did not see that. Um, I'm not familiar with a lot of the names or anything. By the way, please like the stream. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like the stream. Also, you need to check out the pre-show. It's already posted out there on the audio podcast platforms. So once this show's over, go check it out over there. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, Ooh, she looks fucking good. I had to look it up. Uh, this next video, it, it's... Whoever made this, I'm giving them I'm giving them the double thumbs up. Uh they they comment on Brett Keen's fake webcam thing so perfectly. For the okay. few people who are aware of the YouTuber Brett Keen, all he is remembered for is his incredible lack of intelligence and everlasting desire to scam or manipulate people. I've checked out his most recent channel out of a morbid curiosity on his situation, and uh -huh. it's, it's exactly as I expected. And by that, I mean it's just completely boring, insipid, low-effort content made by someone who thinks he's a lot cooler and smarter than he actually is. There was one thing that was new that surprised me, though. It all started when I noticed that in his recent videos, a lot of them had the exact same thumbnail of him on them. Although, that's nothing too unique, really, but when I started watching his videos, I saw him sitting there, completely still, barely moving at all, for videos that can go up to an hour in length, and his mouth was completely covered by his microphone the entire time. It was strange, but I just assumed he was covering his mouth so he wouldn't see that he literally has no teeth due to his off-brand root beer addiction. <laughs> <laughs> he had the not your father's root beer. He didn't need to draw attention to it, but he d he has to. He has to lie. So he was like, oh, this isn't alcohol. This is root beer. But it said not your father's root beer on the root beer bottle, which is That's alcoholic tough. root beer. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, what the fuck? And then there was the one where he like had the pipe and he didn't have to say anything, but he was like tobacco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay. Yep. Okay. But then I noticed that the microphone in front of him and the chair behind him are obviously PNGs. You can see his chair fuck up a little bit with the green screen because you can see it has square edges around the ends of the chair. And then yep. after staring at him long enough, I realized that he was repeating the same subtle movements over and over again. Like this thing where he moves his lip a bit and tilts his head to the top left. Eventually it hit me like he hits his wife. Brett was trying to trick us into thinking he was sitting in a chair and talking in real time for his videos when he wasn't. He's just playing a looped video of him sitting there. Look closely. To my count, it takes about 15 seconds for him to subtly teleport in place because the loop is starting over, and it takes about 22 seconds for him to repeat the movement where he tilts his head to the left. I hosted a show with TTOR, and we discussed the Bible as well as uh, modern-day well issues as. going on with the world, and uh, we've got tons of shows up there, and also you can watch and listen to them. <laughs> it's in the video... OBS video editing microphone tutorial by Brett Keen with the first letter of each word capitalized of course look at the bottom left of the screen here at his OBS sources mic pick green screen me ah i love how this is, how he showed this with each word green screen me capitalized and share there's more Later, he must have realized he fucked up because he begins to cover the OBS sources, but then at one point in this video, Brett has to turn the green screen loop of him off because he's going to be using his mouse to show off something in OBS. And if he kept it on, it would be even more obvious he wasn't actually sitting at his computer because we would see his arm moving. My friend Kamalio Potato had phenomenal instincts here in this moment because he noticed that when Brett started moving his mouse, he just so happened to accidentally cover the screen with his intro image. <laughs> and if you look to the bottom left very closely when his supposed webcam turns off while I slow it down, you can see mic pick, green screen, and share disappear. <clears throat> Whoops. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go to full screen. Uh, yeah. Full, <laughs> full, screen. full screen, not me. Uh -huh. Whoops. Whoops. Conveniently, the OBS <laughs> scene he's on when his supposed <laughs> webcam is off doesn't have the aforementioned sources. Later in the video, when he brings back the looped green screen footage, you can see them return if we slow it down again. This is so embarrassing, there's no one else I can see doing it other than Brett Keen. He was very yeah. clearly trying to hide the fact that this is a green screen loop, but how did he not notice that the sources were right there in the beginning of the video? I don't understand, like, okay, first of all, like, it, it's so silly, because we can all tell. Everybody can yeah. tell. Anybody with fucking eyes can tell. That's a loop, that's on, that's a green screen, that's a fucking PNG and shit like that. But the thing is, like, I didn't think that Brett cared if people knew, but this just proves that he totally does. He totally fucking does. He does give a shit whether or not people know that that's fake. He is yeah. trying to fool people. Yes. That's so fucking funny. Yep. That is so funny. Why didn't he just cut out the parts in the video that had the sources? He could have just showed something else when editing the video. Well, the simplest answer is the correct one here. <laughs> He's stupid and lazy. <laughs> I, I I found the um I found the channel because I want to shout it out. It's called Gray Sheep Seventeen Seventeen. Gray Sheep Seventeen Seventeen. Shout out to them. They made this video. It's We're great. Put it another way. It's because he's Brett Keen. But for what reason would he do all of this anyway? Why lie about the way you recorded your video? Well. Back in the day, he would always make videos laying Who down in guys? bed, which people made fun of him for. And this is how he was dubbed the manatee, or as he likes to think, the king of the manatee. Yeah, he'll be like, they called me the king of the manatee. That's not true. And if you look at his past, 
like the fact that he tried to rebrand himself as the stallion in Wolfman BK, <laughs> it's very clear that he feels insecure about his self-image. So it's only natural he would try to artificially create this image of a professional, intellectual Brett Keen that <laughs> sits in a chair and talks about whatever philosophical topic enters his mind. But even that basic idea of a person is too much for Brett. As always, he tries to hide- This is, like, this is the- we called it his blue period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because he- I mean, like, if he didn't want to be called a manatee, he was doing a really tough job, you know, like- <laughs> Because he made himself blue. It looks like he's floating around in the ocean right now. He's having a Tobias Funke moment with yeah. this shit. The Jesus real Brett God. Keen, because the truth is... I wonder what happened to that Super Mario Brothers 3 t-shirt that I'm wearing there. I'm wondering, like, because I, I have a lot of old t-shirts from this era, and I'm like, what happened to that Super Mario Brothers 3 t-shirt? He's too lazy to even get out of bed. Yeah. He is too lazy to get out of bed. All right, so <laughs> that's the end of that video. Here's one of Brett Keen's little butlings... That, because uh, Brett Keen's good at accumulating people that legitimately buy into his bullshit. Which and, is very strange. And then eventually he stabs him in the back. Um, yeah, yeah. So this is one of his, his current butlings, TTOR. This is TTOR reacting to the video that we just watched, defending oh. Brett. Let's see what this is all about. To put it another no. way, it's because he's Brett Keen. But for what reason would he do all of this anyway? Why lie about the way you recorded your video? Well, back in the day, he would always make videos laying down in bed, which people made fun of him for. And this is how he was dubbed the manatee, or as he likes to think, the king of the manatee. And if you look at his past, like the fact that he tried to rebrand himself as the Stallion in Wolfman BK, it's very clear that he feels insecure about his self-image. So it's only natural he would try to artificially create this image of a professional, intellectual Brett Keen that sits in a chair and talks about whatever philosophical topic enters his mind. But even that basic idea... Yeah, he's, he's literally, like recording himself while he's laying in bed and then yeah. looping that and then taking an image of a chair that has a really low resolution by the way the chair you can see like all the pixelization around it it's very poorly poorly cut so he there's puts ways a, to fool that too but it's like he puts a fake chair behind him and then he puts a fake microphone in front of his mouth so that you can't see that his mouth doesn't match up with the words that he's saying <laughs> it's so right. sad right. jesus god the person is too much for bread as always he tries to hide the real brett keen because the truth is he's too lazy to even get out of bed now either mr gray sheeple doesn't know this or he does and he's just omitting it deliberately from you guys deliberately did he say deliberately? the reason why brett keen no on no. camera laying in bed in his videos is because he actually has back issues. <laughs> oh, yeah. He has back okay. issues? Uh, okay. Why, why does he have back issues? First, even if he did, uh, it doesn't help your back to lay on your belly and then, like, do the cobra position. Sure does not. No. Sure does. No. No. Pretty bad that help back, back issues, which... He recently revealed was the result of him getting hit by a car while saving a child from being. Oh yeah, okay, that was <laughs> such a bullshit no. story. No. Time out, time out, time out. How long ago did he say that? That wasn't that long ago. Really? Yes that really? that he told that story that because we li were, were you were you with me when we listened to that. No, that's oh why. Oh my I, god, it is such an obviously awesome. fake story. That's so awesome. Oh my god. I saved a child from a yes. body. It hit me. I blocked it with my body. Yep. When did that happen? Uh, I watched the video uh, at least a month ago. Mm -hmm. um, no, I mean, when did he save the kid? Because, uh, yeah. I mean... You know, DP one seventeen was like fucking a million years ago. Yeah, I, I 
Yeah, I don't think he specified. He run over. Which I can understand completely because my father has had back issues for years now himself because he they got in a car it. accident where basically he was... Getting into a car accident is different than allegedly saving a child from getting... Yeah, there. I remember uh, um, him talking about it and there's like water flooding into the car and they're like... he He's like, I waited until it filled up because I know I'll just get sucked back in if I try to get out before the car fills up. It's It's... It was like a it was like a bad action movie. It was parked uh-huh. on an Amazing. intersection on a highway and someone who wasn't paying attention came running up and rear ended him. And it was a so pretty I severe like, I like I like how T T O R is just bought into Brett Keane's thing and he's like, and so my dad also has back problems. Uh but not for any cool reasons. My dad actually sucks compared to uh to Brett Keane. <laughs> you know? Bre- that's what I'm taking from this. So that's weird. Wreck. And it jacked his back out, and he's been whacked with his back ever since. Jacked his and back with the whack. He's had to deal with a lot of therapy. But yeah, this uh, DP episode eleven or one one seven was probably like eight or nine years ago. So yeah, uh, yeah. Eight years since dealing with that, that's why Brett Keen was laying on his bed in all those past videos is because he has bad back issues. And because he wasn't afraid to show himself on camera, that's why you got what you got. But as he for is. your claim... So did he also not wear a shirt because of his bad back? Like, <laughs> I can't have any clothing touching my back that I got injured <laughs> from shaping that baby. Any, anyone will tell you, like anyone that knows anything about like back like spines or anything they wouldn't let you they wouldn't tell you to lay f- on your belly in bed and like arch your back up mm-hmm. to film videos that wouldn't be good for your back it's terrible for you should your be fucking back. yeah um you probably need to lay on your back flat on your back not on your belly that brett Keane is too lazy to get out of bed well that actually isn't true it turns out if you go okay, to- these videos are hilarious, the videos he's talking about, because mm. I watched one of these recently, too, and at the end of the one video, he gets up and walks, like, three steps to his bed and then falls down into the bed and, like, stops <laughs> the recording. So this is, like, God, no way. let me see if I can find it. God, I don't, um... <laughs> oh, my God. It's like uh, Brett Keen nihilistic Christianity is grossly offensive or something like that. I wonder yeah, if that's the one. Um, that's so fucking funny. That's so great. Yeah, All I think... The logic, I think I should fucking dex. Um, I'll see if I can find it. The Brett Keen's Odyssey channel, the Brett Keen show, you see that in February of this year... He put out a video called Nihilistic Christianity is Grossly Offensive. Let me see if I can find it. And you can it. see Brett Keen out of bed. Whoa! He's Brett also sitting tough. in a All different room. his ra- teeth were knocked out by his dad. By his dad. I remember, he wanted to have a battle royal against every atheist. He would have been victorious situation. Situation with these individuals. I- I'm fucking convinced. I love how Truth the Objective Reality his top two recommended is Paul Joseph Watson and Sargon's little fucking uh, cavalcade of uh, beta twinks that he butt fucks on stage. Incredible shit. Incredible. Jesus Christ. Where is that video? I know it's on here. Boom! Ima- at a desk oh, sh- with an actual microphone in front of him. Whoa! Shocker Rooney! And then, if you go to his other video from February 16th, 2023, on his Odyssey channel, Dangers of Artificial Intelligence for Christian and Atheist YouTubers, you see Brett Keane, once again, out of bed, in a different room of his house. It's not a different room, it's next to his bed. With a microphone in front of his face. Hold on, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show everybody here. Uh, This is a different video, but he's in the same position. Mm -hmm. Um, See? So he set up a camera on the other side of his bedroom and he's over here and he does this video. So he is sitting in a chair. Okay. But he said he couldn't 
get up and sit in a chair. So watch yeah. what happens at the end here. He he gets up. He walks like two to three steps and then falls into bed and stops the recording because his his computer and mouse. All right, here it is. His computer and mouse are over next to his bed. So here yep. he goes. Watch him fall down. Watch him fall. Blue. Oh, he, he just yep, got into bed. Yeah, yep, just got into bed. Because he cannot be asked to fucking edit even just the end yeah. of a fucking video. He can't. He cannot. He is so fucking lazy. He can't clip two seconds. Right. Beginning in the, right here. The beginning of- he lays in bed right here. Boom. He's in bed. You can see his foot. You can see like the bottom of his shoe right there. There it is. Actually on webcam. Yeah, he's on webcam. He he sat in a chair for a couple minutes to film the video and then went and fell in, back into bed and stopped the recording. <laughs> Whoa. This is amazing. I guess uh, Brett Keen isn't too lazy to get out of bed after all. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't make those videos anymore. No, no. This we is... Don't even, he doesn't, the, he okay. doesn't even use the camera anymore. This is this video was February of 2023, so it was over a year ago too. Before he started doing the stupid, you know, shit that he was doing. See, he stopped doing games he loved, and that was his only good content. Games you love, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He plugged it so hard, I can't believe he abandoned it. No, dude, and I actually did watch some games you love videos. And some of them were actually kind of charming. They were still boring, but some of them were kind of charming. Hmm. But they were better than, than like this, you know, whining and crying and pissing and shitting your pants over Christian shit. You know, that's boring as fuck. I mean, that's his shtick. That's what he's been doing for years, but, you know. I know. But yeah. it doesn't work. So just, just go back to being boring about video games. We're going to get into some of the Jessica stuff from yesterday. I heard her phone got all messed up and all that. And we will in just a moment. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll put Jeff full screen. Okay. Well, I get to go after you get back. Motherfucker. Okay. Motherfucker. What's going on, DP fam? How's everybody doing out there? If, uh, if I seem a little bit like kind of off today, uh, it's because... Uh, <clears throat> about six days ago, don't tell Ben about this because he's going to be like, gee, that's why I won't ride a motorcycle. About six days ago, uh, I got brake checked. Uh, this fucking dude brake checked me and I swerved out of the way and some of the gravel that was left down from when they had ice on the roads uh, caught my back tire and took me out. So I've actually been kind of laid up with a bum ankle for uh, a few days. It still hurts like a motherfucker. So I'm the shittiest commissioner in AM history. I'm the shittiest commissioner so far. <laughs> what that mouth do? Depends. Depends. Got to inspire me if you want to get that get things weird. You know what I mean? <clears throat> the damn ours destroy Bradshaw the fragile such a wise We have to fight the future, everybody. We do. We need a, what's the name of one of Brett's kids? I mean, like, that sounds weird to ask that, but like, I think it's kind of known. If it isn't known, then I don't want to know. Uh, we need to rally around them and prop them up and start like gaslighting them into thinking they're the chosen Messiah so they can like lead the charge against the AI. A Waterhead. Bag. Bag. Fantastic. What's in it? <clears throat> Six demon bag. Fantastic. What's in it? Oh, earth, fire. Oh, that kind of stuff. Huge buzz. Anyway, uh, they made female custodies, and her old friend Sargon is crying, among many others. Sargon does not play Warhammer 40K. He does not play Warhammer 40K. Sargon can shut the fuck up. Sargon can literally suck my balls. Fuck that dickhead. Fake nerd. Fake fucking nerd. Uh, Sydney Sweeney. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, Sorry, I really you got break check, Jeff. That's some messed up shit. Always glad to see you on DP, though. Um, uh, I survived. It's 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 K. It's K. Um, I want to see that new movie that Sydney Sweeney was in. I was supposed to, but I got really busy, and I think, I think, uh, it's not in the theaters anymore. Yeah, Ben quit. Yes, this is now my podcast. 
it's bullshit. They break checked you. Should have swung on them. I was on the I was on the ground, <laughs> and they didn't stop. They just left. So you know. At that time, I wrote you a big long DM with links and options for starting 40k as cheap as possible. I have an update to that. By all means, Seth, you can always send me stuff for sure. I don't mind at all. Maybe uh, so. I'm going to be actually. This is important that I should probably mention. I'm going to be leaving for my first motorcycle tour uh, in a week, uh, and I will be going to New Orleans, Memphis, Chattanooga, Pigeon Forge, Nashville, like big all over the fucking place, uh, and I'll be out for about 16 days. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So maybe after I get paid from that job, I can actually get back into 40k again. I do miss it. All right. And have you? Have you seen the Fallout show yet? No, I haven't. Ah, uh, it's fucking dope, dude. I never really played the game, so I don't. It doesn't look. It doesn't even matter. <clears throat> Memories never played the game. She knows nothing about the game or the fucking lore, and she usually hates anything that's like you know adaptations. Yeah, memory just heard me talking about it. She literally just had to open the door and do this. So fucking good. Like, That's good. It's so fucking good, dude. I had someone talking to me in Discord recently telling me that I should try out the like multiplayer online game that's out there for Fallout because it's it's Yeah, if you have uh Xbox Game Pass, you can play it included. So uh yeah 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 i i played it when it first came out and i didn't like it and then they did a lot of improvements and i played it i want to say like a year ago and i i actually really did like it but uh i was too busy to to keep playing uh somebody's asking why did sydney sweeney become popular among right wingers <clears throat> this is because for a brief moment of time it was about two and a half weeks just the right accounts were talking about how Sydney Sweeney was the ideal, like, trad wife kind of thing. I... <laughs> and then her new movie, which is all about, like, evil and Satanism and, like, corrupted nuns and shit, came out. And she made, like, just the most brief, casual comments about whatever. It doesn't even matter what it was. And now they uh, hate her because they think she's woke and uh, just a Hollywood whore because... These are all uh, mentally children, so, yeah. Go do your that bathroom run, and then we'll get into the yep. other stuff. Everyone, please like the stream if you haven't already. And, uh, hey, I'm putting myself full screen right now. If you want to send in any stream labs with questions, comments, also got to plug the pre-show again. There's a pre-show that's free that's out there on all the audio podcast platforms uh, that our RSS feed feeds into. Hi, hi. Yeah, I I don't play a lot of video games. I don't watch a lot of... I I just... Other things appeal to me other than consuming media usually, so I don't watch a lot of movies. I don't watch a lot of series. I don't play a lot of video games. Uh, There's... I, I, I like to go outside and walk around outside. (laughs) <laughs> That's something I like. I like coffee. That's what I'm drinking right now. Oh, I'm I'm not reacting to this chat. I am not reacting to this chat. I'm reacting to the stream labs. Outside is not overrated by the way. It is beautiful. Outside is amazing. I'll react to you guys, the the Patreon chat. Ah. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bumbles. I tried to hobble as quick as I could. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Proceed. All right. Let's play the intro now. Oh, yeah. Somewhere in the world today, men have 
got to stand up strong Face the truth about themselves To understand what went wrong I know we can find a way I know we can find a way I know we can find a way Stand up It's amazing Stand up It's amazing All right. I don't think Ben would ever go kayaking. Would you go kayaking? I've been kayaking before. Have you? I've never yeah. been. I teased uh, producer Matt because he's like obsessed with his kayak. Uh, but I actually secretly don't tell him. I actually secretly really want to try kayaking. Yeah, I've done kayaking before. Uh, it actually does sound pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's see what this is all about. Let's see. Oh, God. I'm going to skip the, like, bathroom part of this. The intro is awesome and reminded me to ask when are we going to have zebra effect in full? Oh, I don't know. Hannibal and Monty have been tough to get a hold of and book lately, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I need to fucking message Monty and let him know that I'm going to be in New Orleans. So, fuck. That's naturally out of the question, so. Thank you, Swarski. I appreciate it. I don't think the parts where she's in the shower are the good parts. Nowhere I'm just going to go for a walk and get something to eat. Something party. weird happens here. Party. Yeah, I always want Chick-fil-A on a Sunday and I should have got it the other day. <laughs> Scuff Ginny Garofalo, yeah, kind of. The part where she walked out of the shower? Oh, you mean, okay, yeah. Not in Ugh. this stream. Yes, Josh is still my man. Nothing from Josh online recently. I think he's probably moving right now. He's yeah, probably he in the moving process. Why is that? So someone's like honking their horn. <laughs> No idea what's going on over there, but that shit's fucking weird. Something it's happens frosty. to her phone where it gets all crushed up. He is sexy. <laughs> It'd be fun at a party. I've never been to one. August, will you shut the fuck up? It's really weird, like, so I, I haven't gotten a chance, I meant to, but I, I've been really distracted this weekend, uh, I meant to watch last episode where you and Billy uh, went over the really heinous shit that she said, like, I saw a lot of it on uh, somebody else's, uh, like, review of it. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, like, it's legit, like, sicko behavior, it's really fucking weird, super, super weird, I don't know. Just wanted. I wanted to comment on that. Yeah. I, 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 not. I do not co-sign. I think it's uh, egregious and and vile. Like we, the kind of shit. Uh, she King Cobra needs a new lady, because this is. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm not I don't know. to see Josh. Oh yeah. Oh, I wish I fucking could. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Jesus. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Someone keeps honking their horn. I want like a burger. Okay. Go make one. Oh, there is Hardee's, but... That's a 50-50 chance you'll get something. Now, five guys, I don't like them. What? Uh, what? And that's what? way too far away. 
Like there are places I like better than Five Guys, but I definitely like it. It's good. You like if it, you know. Forever exists. I don't have any. I don't want to make a burger. I want. First of all, like when you order just a regular size fry, they just like fill the whole like bottom third of your bag with fries. And they're delicious. Yeah. They fry them in peanut oil. So good. What else mm -hmm. make it for you? Is that a bong? Is she smoking dope outside? Yeah, I don't know what the law is in Virginia. They might have recreational legal there. Oh. Yeah, I could try to make carbonara again, but impossible burger? No. She probably has a medical card, if, even if she doesn't, but uh, let's see. I oh, no, not. yes. <laughs> yeah, Virginia recreational marijuana is totally legal. Yep. Nope. Huh. It has to be Wyoming is going to be like one of the last states to. Oh live, yeah, Wyoming it? and Idaho; those are like the two like really. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, I'm I'm just like looking at the Western U.S. Even Utah has it for medical. That's pretty huge for Utah. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, Idaho and Wyoming, the only two states in like the western third of. The continental U.S. that has it illegal, like full-on illegal, no medicinal uses, uh, nothing. None of that devil weed. Yep. She actually really doesn't look that bad here, you know. She's, She's blurry. This is a low resolution video. I'm just trying to be nice, man. Is it always oh, why No, I was on a plane right now. Seeing my Joshy. Oh god. Joshy! So you can get him so I I mean the, she leaked that he's moving to a trailer. He wasn't going to tell anybody where he was so moving, did. and oh, God so. Did. But I, it's. I think. I think it was a strategy from Clint. You know, I. I'm pretty sure Clint was like, "Well, let's buy him a trailer so that he right. can't get kicked out." Now the thing is, if the trailer is in a trailer park, even though you own the trailer, you're still renting the land, and you can get kicked out. Yeah, so you can. I'm in guessing Moon Wolf's voice, Jazz Cabbage. Jazz Cabbage. Huh? I'm I'm wondering if they're gonna put this trailer on private land where he can't get kicked out. I don't know. It's still she shouldn't have leaked that though. I know. Like, well, we, she's dumb. Slip, <laughs> and like I I can't even begin to tell you like as somebody who legitimately loves Josh and cares about what happens to the guy like I'm I am continually getting frustrated with how much like she seems to be throwing monkey wrenches at I don't know if she's doing it on purpose. It doesn't seem like she is. I just don't think she has well, the ability to, to filter to like to just not say shit that she just really shouldn't say, you know? Like when dude just the stop. other night when she claimed she was gonna sue us and all this stuff, she also said that Josh is gonna go on fish tank, but only if I can be on it too, and we're both gonna get paid. Is what he said, or is what she said. So she's she's like, yeah, Josh is going to do these things, but only if I can do it too, so I can get some money from it. Is what she's yeah, doing. But, but Josh is the talent, and like she's Yoko. Fun. She's a Yoko. It's a red flag. I mean, I'm trying not to be like too mean because like Josh does have feelings for this lady, but like she is not anywhere near josh's level like she she brings his content 
down. But I, I want if if he's happy and like legitimately happy and she's not being negative in his life, you know, happiness is more important than than content. I just don't know it, when Josh realizes when he's happy or not. Like I think, I think I don't know. I think show like going against what the trolls want is very important to Josh, and Josh sees yeah. that no that a lot of people don't like her. So even if he's not really into it, to own the trolls, he'll he'll stick with it to own the trolls more than anything else. I I think the people that are like legitimately mean trolls that want to do him harm yes. don't want to go anywhere. Yeah, right, right. But he you sees know? the vi- well, he sees the vocal, the most vocal part of his audience, right, wanting her to go away. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, damn. I mean... Oppositional defiance. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I don't know. I, I don't... I If... Maybe if, like, any of us were able to be, like, a, a friend to him in real life, maybe we could, you know, talk to I don't think so. Of... I mean, like, his own father... Like, oh. his own father was like, there's only one time I can remember him ever taking my advice ever, and that was when we were woodworking together. Like, yeah. he... It, normally, his dad said, if I tell him to do something, you can be sure he's he's going to do the opposite of what I tell him to do. Ah. Uh, he mm. he does. He does. Ha- That's why they do the better not go live, boy. And he's like, well, I can go live when I want to. And then he goes live. That's how they trick him into going live because he thinks his trolls don't want him to go live. When in reality, gotcha. they do. Reverse psychology works very easy with him. Yeah, like, if someone got me kicked out of my apartment because they were screaming at me all night for, like, two or three nights in a row. Yeah. That would probably seal the deal for me that this would not be something I want to participate in anymore. He doesn't think that she's the reason why he got kicked out. He thinks it's because the trolls. The trolls, trolls, and that's just feeding into it more. Right, but like, you know, your neighbors can hear her screaming, man, you know? There's video evidence of it. Yeah. Sam Hyde pretty much said that Jessica is unwelcome on Fish Tank. Oh, boy. Good. Well, uh, I mean, the good for Fish Tank, bad for Josh, because no, probably be... Josh doesn't want to do it anyway. She's a convenient excuse for him. Uh, I know, he... He wants to stay in Casper where he's he, he's comfortable and shit. Yeah. I get that. You know, yeah. there's, there's not that. Well, yeah, and like autistic people have their routines and yep. and don't really like drastic changes. Right. So that's that's you know. You know what should happen? What should happen is Jessica should get an RV. Like somebody should set up an RV cam for Jessica. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she'll take that straight to Casper, and Josh won't go with she her. She won't and be able to. She won't be able to. I mean, wh- with what money? Like, I don't even know if she has a driver's license. Oh, she might not. Yeah. Maybe mm. I, I know in the past she's had a job and stuff, so she at least has an idea. Well, she gets on planes and stuff too, but I I don't know if she has a driver's license. Did you hear about the whole Home Depot thing with her? Uh-oh. I didn't hear specifically. So uh, uh, she, it's been confirmed that she worked at Home Depot. Okay. Uh, and that she was given like employee of the month and stuff. There was this Home Depot like message board, like complaint message board from some woman that said that Jessica put her daughter's phone number and picture on the Craigslist sex ads. As oh, like well, a, like like back page. Well, I, it I wasn't. It, it was like well. Well, that's a different one. So it was. It was the Craigslist sex ads for for this girl who was like a minor, I guess. But yeah, there's a video of of Jessica directly threatening yeah. to put someone's mom on back page. It's the equivalent of like writing someone else's phone number like on the bathroom stall, being like for a good time call whoever, you know. That's so. 
Uh, yes. So gross, dude. Yes. So that's a tactic Jessica does to people she doesn't like. She will put someone's name and phone number and picture in like sex personal ads to incur it, which I, I, I don't know. That could be, there could be a law against that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think I think there is. I, I I don't know exactly which law that, but there's got to be something against. It. I mean, harassment, menacing, like that yeah. kind of shit. Some states, I think, have like certain. It might even fall under like revenge porn kind of statutes. Just trying to like, I, I don't know. I don't maybe, but it, regardless, like that is some evil sicko behavior. And there's 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 undeniable that. proof that she worked for Home Depot. Um, here's this is from. Know. This, it hasn't been confirmed that she did this, though. It's just an allegation. The, well, hold on. It hasn't been confirmed that she did that to this specific thing, but it has been confirmed that she's worked at Home Depot, and there's videos of her threatening to do it the same thing to other people. So it's... Oh. Right. Okay. So here's That's... evidence. This is from her own Flickr page, her own Flickr account. She worked okay. at Home Depot around the same time. Here's the complaint that was filed. Um, where is it? Hold on. There it is. Jessica Boyle. That's her name. This was posted in 2016, around the time she was working there. Uh-huh. Um, and there are other videos of her being like, I'm going to put your mom on back page with her, with her phone number and picture. So there's videos of her threatening to do similar things to people in conjunction with this report from, you know, a little wow, less than uh, my daughter received tons of calls, text messages and very inappropriate pictures from men. What the fuck? Ah, oh, that's so gross, dude. That's so gross. Yeah, and I just woman. Yeah. What the fuck? She is evil. It's it, that is sicko behavior. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Weed is bad. And her her need to stream <laughs> like knew. twelve hours a day in the shower in the bathtub Probably sitting on the toilet. The you know most of that rant against uh, against DP, where she hoped we had daughters and that horrible things would happen to to our daughters. Yeah, uh, yeah. she was sitting on the toilet for most of that. Just taking a shit. I don't know. She Weird. likes to just hang out in the bathroom. Get it longer because it's like still kind of heavy <laughs> Cobes took fuck sickos too literal <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, I'm sorry man. those things are a pest you know they really are you should have seen what they did to my mom's flowers last year they were all like, instead of being like this they were all tilted over so many people want her to hook up with Jared. Oh, dude. Uh, Hi, pretty bird. What kind of birdie are you? Mr. Crow? Uh-uh. 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 What you laughing about? Buddy? Someone needs to remix that. Well, She's live right now. I wonder if I can send oh. her a message. Oh, tell her to unblock DP. Tell her to unblock DP. Never hold seen on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. <clears throat> Give me just a second because I'm going to bring her up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell her to like say please. Oh, you know, I, I, no, 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 hang on. I have to be subbed for five minutes before oh. I right, Here, I'll subscribe. We'll come back in five minutes. Okay. We'll see. I'll do it with my big cat, so it'll have the check mark yeah. next to it. That's cool. You know? Yeah. And she'll be like, what? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll come back in five minutes. They're Sorry. cute, but they're destructive. So, oh. There's my buddy dog. Buddy Milo. dog? Milo! Come here, buddy! 
Milo! Come here! <laughs> Come here, sweetie! Yeah, everyone go. I, I hate to do this because she doesn't deserve it, but go to her channel and subscribe because we're going to, like, mass ask her to unblock us. Like, I really <laughs> don't care, but I, I'm going to disingenuously be like, Come on, please. You know, come on, come on, come on. unban us. Come on. Come on. And <laughs> wait until I, I type in the chat first, though. Link channel, please. Okay, I'll link her. Cha God, I'm doing her a favor right now. Oh, I know. But uh, I, I'm going to do it because her reaction is going to be hilarious. Yeah. It's there really it good. is. There's her channel. It's in the chat right now. Hello, come here, buddy. I don't know how her phone got crushed, but oh, at the yeah. end, that's cute. See, I can't hate on a dog. There's my puppy friend. Hi, sweetie. Ow. Come here. You done with your walk? Come here, old man. Come on. Oh. Ha! That's how it happened. That's how her phone got crushed, because the dog knocked it over, right? <laughs> I guess so. That must have been the moment. The I hope you didn't crack my phone. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh no. The doggy crack crushed the shit out of her. She called the dog over. Oh no, yes. He shattered it all over the place. Oh my god. <laughs> uh... I didn't think he would. I didn't think it would do that. Oh, Milo! Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh good my boy. God! <laughs> yeah, I need the new phone now. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's great. That guy's like, oh, sorry. It's smithereens. <laughs> Milo, Milo, come here. <laughs> oh, that's just my luck. It's whatever. Sorry about that. Oh, oh I yes, didn't expect I, somebody. Pause it, pause it. Somebody, uh, somebody went over there and was like, "Hey, DP wants you to go on the show," and she's like, "Tell them they owe me a thousand dollars." Yeah, she's been doing that. Does she have a shirt on? I can't tell, and I don't uh, trust uh, her camera ability. Yeah, she, oh, she has like a she tube does. top on. Okay, okay. I, I didn't expect it to smash from that level, but. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's just my luck. I still love you, buddy. Okay, Jessica, I let you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, my phone is really broken now. That's that's <laughs> yeah. nice. Shit happens. Has Jeff been it. notified of the multi-million dollar landmark case Nal will be pursuing against DP? Yes. Absolutely. I, I I have been I have been briefed on it. I have my legal team ready as well. Anything nice in my life. By legal team I mean uh, a couple of crackheads that I uh, I pay with uh, with cheap beer. Her legal uh, team will consist of uh Matlock um <laughs> Saul, better call Goodman. Saul. Yeah, Saul Goodman. Yeah, yeah uh, I yeah. think Perry Mason might be in there. I think uh, Ali McBeal, too. Angela Lansbury. Yeah, know. Murder She Wrote. Got to have that. Yeah. Columbo's not a lawyer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And if the ABC uh. store was open, I would go get a fucking bottle right now. That dog fucked her phone. <laughs> yeah, it's still fucked. No, I it's seriously still can't fucked. have anything nice. It's okay. Oh. Like the least you could do is fucking offer to buy me a new phone. Oh, see, now it's flipping. She's like, that fucker should have offered to buy me a new phone because his. Didn't she call the dog over? It wasn't she like. Did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, it was an accident. She called the dog over. I don't think that guy owes her a new phone. You know, like. Uh -huh. Your dog just broke my fucking shit. You called the dog over. All right. It's on All video. Right. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh, is, has it been five minutes? 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, she's playing oh, no. music. Are you serious? Hang on. Fucking music. She's always playing music. And you're sick? Oh, I'm so sorry. There we go. <clears throat> Hello, Kant. Thank you. There we go. Hello, Jeff. My name is Jeff Holliday. Huh. I'm the legal representative for drug and peasants. I'd love to have an informal chat about your allegations. Let's see if you get deleted. I'm so sorry, Pistachio. That's terrible. <laughs> what is she going to do? Colombo may not be a lawyer, but he is a pie. She probably has him. Just Spencer one more question. Hawkeye Just one more. Captain Benjamin Lafayette Cisco gathering evidence. She said. Did you ever see me? She said, what are you talking about my you allegations? Make fucking videos with drunken peasants in my fucking title and fucking put them in my thumbnail. Shut the, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Oh, did you get blocked? Not yet. Hold on. I don't see you anymore. I don't see you anymore, Jeff. No, I'm so Let's, sorry, Pistachio. I think you're gone. I think you're yeah. gone. I just I just uh, chatted again, but unfortunately, I don't think it did. No, no. If it's if it's not showing it on my screen here, then it didn't. Unblock. Now it's unblocked. Jeff Holiday. Unblock DP. Unblock DP. Unblock DP. Who unblocked you? Unblock DP. Unblock DP. Watch them. No dick sucking. Fuckers, <laughs> as I spill fucking whiskey on my toes. No, dick sucking fuckers. No. That that dog did a good job on your phone, Jessica. What was that dog's name again? Unbanned drunk I peasants. She said the dog's name, but I can't remember it now. I would feel bad about this, but she literally was like, "If you have children, I hope they get cancer." Yeah, and. Dude, that's fucked up. Dude, she's that's on worse too. She and put a hit my cash app right now with a thousand dollars. She put a teenage right. girl on the I Craigslist sex ads. On my cash app right now. <laughs> Unblock Jeff Holiday, alt-right leader of Kegistan. <laughs> <laughs> my phone up. <laughs> I don't care if he handles his trolls pretty well. Oh, good for him. Oh. <laughs> I'm in uh, Jessica Messica's Discord server. Yeah, yeah. We can bring. Uh... That's fucking funny, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm block only, Jeff. Yeah, I mean, I am. What? I am the representation. Huh? Unblock us all. What are you talking about? <laughs> all right. Well, I'll, I, I'm, I'm going in again with another fucking account. All right. That's gonna five minutes. So yeah, maybe, I'll, maybe you should calm down in five minutes, and we can finally have a conversation. Unblock DP. Unblock DP. Unblock us, Methica. Do it. I mean, like, legitimately, I do want to talk to Jessica specifically about, like, why she thinks it's okay to say things like that. Because, like, there's a difference between saying, like, Maybe I don't like her. I think she's bad for Cobes or whatever. Like, I'm kind of, I'm worried about, you know, this guy that I like. And, uh, you know, fuck these guys and dropping F-bombs and saying I hope their kids get cancer. And, yep. Like, all this crazy. Like, that's evil. One's an opinion. The other is just evil. She just was basically evil. saying she hoped we had daughters so they could get graped. Is basically yeah, what I she know. said. That's really no, fucking gross. Josh bought me food. Oh my god, Cobra, stop buying her stuff. You gotta stop spending money on her, dude. Come on. You're man. moving right now. They don't have daughters. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. She's taking a shot. Pinky's up. Pinky's up. With a beer chaser. Or what is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, a shot with a shot chaser. Ask her about uh, somebody there. Ask her about putting the girl on Craigslist. Ask her if she put that girl on Craigslist. I'll just interview her remotely this way. Yeah. That way, that way, I don't have to pay her a thousand dollars. The world's slowest interview. Yep. <laughs> A hard-hitting interview. I wonder if she blocked the word Craigslist or something. Because I don't see it popping up. At least I don't yell at my boyfriend. (laughs) Let's see if that goes away. (laughs) Oh, my God. That totally went away. It's so, it's so crazy. There's no self awareness. Like she's w- complaining that there was like hundreds of people watching, but none of people liking the stream. And it's like most people who are watching, they don't like you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But by the way, please like our stream. At least most of you like us. At least most uh, of you. Probably more of them like you more than me, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm divisive. I don't know. Uh yeah, everyone, please like the stream. Thank you, and we'll uh, let's uh, let's see. <laughs> Unblock DP and Jeff says Unblock DP and Jeff. Uh, yeah. Unblock DP forget. and Jeff. Unblock DP yeah. and Jeff. You Unblock ever put a DP. Girl up? This is a rumor going on. Oh God, I wonder if she'll comment on that one. Where? Uh, I don't see what you're talking about. Uh oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Maybe it's because I don't have live chat on. No. Okay. Yeah, that got deleted. She deleted that one fast. Oh, okay. Hmm. You know what? She's not gonna respond right now at all. All right, we'll go back to her crying about the phone getting broken. Yeah. And we'll yeah. come. We'll check up up on this. Unblock, 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 unblock. Do it. Un- unblock us. All right, here we go. By the way, King Cobra is about like I, I don't know, like five hundred subs away from a hundred k. Like, why is this is my fucking life constantly. Always the victim. Always the victim. Like, you call the dog over, the dog, you know, dogs don't know that that thing's a phone and that they shouldn't knock it over. The dog was excited. I kind of was touched for a minute because I'm a softie for dogs. So I was like, oh, wow, this is like a side of Jessica that might be not gross and disgusting. And then the dog oh, knocks yeah. her phone over and now it's like, oh, she's a victim. You don't even know what my phone fucking looks like right now. It's fucking smashed to goddamn smithereens. Oh, no. Yet yeah, you're still streaming from it. Smithereen. Milo, come come do it again, Milo. Harder this time, Milo. That was the dog's name, Milo. You can't make Josh do anything, you fucking loser, stupid, dumb cunt. <sighs> Smithereen. Yeah, what do you mean it's still working? It's fucking smashed everywhere. They mean it's still working as in, like, your stream is still going and they can still see you. That's what they mean. Good boy, Milo. Good boy. Milo's so awesome. My favorite dog. It doesn't fucking matter anymore. Oh, I stand, Milo. It's just constant. Milo the dog, Milo the dog, Milo the dog, good boy, Milo. You guys have been blocked by better people like Steve Shives. <laughs> he makes interesting trick content. Yeah, sure. 
That's true. That's true. As much as I still don't like Steve Shine. Doesn't matter other people. Yeah, I think he's uppity. Right. Like he makes good track content. He's though. Really he's a like content. huffer of his own farts. But yes, he has made good videos that I have watched for sure. I don't know if he likes Discovery. If he likes Discovery, I might have to hate him again. I'm not a fan of Discovery. <laughs> you know, Dude. Hannibal and Monty like Discovery. By the way, uh, no, no, they don't. They do. They like it. Unironically. Unironically. They'll say they'll send me a phone too, and they never fucking do. So I don't fucking believe nobody. So I don't want to fucking hear it. You just look like you ate the most sour grape ever. Like <laughs> people like things you don't like. It happens. It happens. I ex I accept that with with lots of things. With yeah. lots of things. Not that. Not that. <laughs> Not that, dude. Not that. <laughs> That's hard. That's tough. I don't want to fucking hear it because I don't fucking believe it from nobody because everyone tells me the same shit all the fucking time. What is that noise? I would be so annoyed if I lived there. And it only keeps spreading. Are you, it, it keeps spreading like almost like how you got your boyfriend kicked out of his apartment <laughs> like that. Oh, and now she leaves and I'm like, is she going, does she go to that guy's house to ask him to buy her a new phone or something? Writing the perfect, uh, the perfect uh, thing oh, to put your channel. All right, hold on, hold on. I gotta flip back to that. Let's see. Yeah. More music. All right. Um. Say, uh, everyone say Milo the dog, twenty twenty four. All right, here we go. Boom. <clears throat> see if it pops up. Let's see. Milo the dog 2024 if they delete it like immediately because I don't see it yet There you are there you are Yes, guy. I think you should take this seriously threatening a lawsuit on a public platform like you did towards DP can leave you open a counter suit Please contact me. This is Jeff Holiday You're gone you Yep so gone again Milo the dog, Milo the dog. Yes, My if I had the money for a lawsuit, yes, I would. After the slander's bullshit, shut the fuck up. Which part was the slander? My face. You're a joke. She's listening to the free version of Spotify or something. Because there's like a, there's an ad. She's a blokey. <laughs> well, there's no reason for their comment to be deleted. Oh. Their comment was deleted. It's kind of sus. Yeah. Kind of sus. Stupid. Yeah, the fuck I do. How would these these people would cry with their little fucking dicks tucked between their goddamn smelly <laughs> Goddamn fucking boop, shitty boop, smelling boop. ass cracks. <laughs> I told these fucking trolls. You got her started. They, they, they would be running away with their fucking dicks tucked so fast, a drag queen would be fucking shook. Man. Oh my, you tuck better than all the girls. <laughs> Where did you learn to do that? <laughs> Where did you learn to tuck like that, baby doll? Tuck and roll. Fryer tuck taught us. Tuck and roll and yeah. get the fuck out like a Sonic. Like just roll up into a little Sonic the Hedgehog, hedgehog thing and just. Sonic the Hedgehog? With all the coins happened, that you huh? make off of my fucking back. She's really going with this Sonic. You yeah. know, the queens would be shook, baby dolls. Milo the dog. Oh my. Oh, oh my dear. Oh. Pip pip cheerio, baby. Oh. Let's drink to that one. <laughs> <laughs> She's so likable. 
God. Yeah, they're rolling away like Sonic, stealing the fucking coins off of my fucking back, bitch. <laughs> she thinks she's like a big time player. Every day. Hedgehog, hedgehog, hedgehog. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in court, Methica. If you're confused, it's not for you. Hang on. Oh, are you going to do another one? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Please like the stream, by the way. Please like the stream. See what she says about that. I need music. She's... I already had another song in my head, but. Is that, is that you? How's the lawyer search going? No, 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 no. You know what? Oddly enough, the one that I just typed didn't work. Huh. Hmm. You might have used a blocked we'll word. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I must have. I must have. Uh, the absolute lowest prices. Whoa. Let's try that. Nope, that didn't pop up either. She's blocking, like, sued. Yeah, she has sued block. I think. Sued just came up. Chungus oh, Among Us wrote. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe it's parents. Better not unblock DP and Jeff, girl. <laughs> Man, she's just she's throwing them back one after what another. The, what the fuck is being? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. So you're not worried about being sued? I think that might mean your mom and dad have to pay for it if you can't. They're friends every night. Stench, too. <laughs> she okay. might she might just be ignoring it yeah i think she's just ignoring I it. i don't even know if she's read it yet there is a delay Prob yeah there's there's a lot when it comes to jessica there are many delays okay? yes uh, uh, <laughs> we're probably just gonna have to let it slide for another little bit gotta have patience man this is for Joshie and Casper. Joshie and Casper. They sound like Bert and Ernie. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. You want to fuck me in the ass before we live stream, Bert? Ah, uh, see? Someone's like, tell you how, tell us how you feel about DP. He's like, they sound like Bert and Ernie. And that was her impersonation of us. Okay, uh -huh. you wanna fuck me in the butt? Before the stream? Are you sure? Oh, uh, that's funny. Uh -huh. Look at her smile. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Here's Ron trying to bait her. Dude, what is going on with her? I don't know, dude. I she's going through some shit right now. Do you mind giving me a blowjob? Is that what we sound like? Hell yeah! You know I don't really suck dick, Ernie. But Bert, Hell yeah, you dude. promised me earlier. <laughs> That's how I like when I ask Ben for a blowjob every time. Ugh. Uh, spill. Ah, uh, spill it all over your feet. <laughs> I mean, like, again, the... They both have the same voice. <laughs> again, like, like casually commenting on, like, uh, Jessica doing her own thing is one thing. But, like, she went full sicko on us. Yeah, voice. she's she's full sicko. Bert, can you get your own identity? 
No worry. Fuck you. Suck my dick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm terrible. I need to go to bed. She's cracking. She's cracking herself up. I need to go to bed. Where's my music at anyway? <laughs> she's wasted. All right. Uh. All right. Maybe we'll check back in later. Let's finish this. Yeah. So she leaves for a little while. She comes back. I don't know what she did, but she left her phone here. Wait, hold up, hold up. Is that voice Yoda? Cause I know Yoda? I'm hearing mm. him, but her voice sounds like Yoda. Yoda it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where the fuck is Egg? God damn it. Egg gets too I'm busy watching every move Jared Genesis makes to watch DP anymore. You know what? That's fair, though. That's fair. Somebody has to keep an eye on that dude. Mm. I don't know what she just did. She got up, she left her phone here, and she got up and did something. She was gone for several minutes. Killed the dog. She killed Milo. Uh, uh, I, I would be very upset. Yeah, if you could see what my fucking phone looked like. We need a proof of life now on Milo. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume the worst. It's not a joke revolting machine. I mean, this, this she, she's an unstable human being. Until I see Probably. Milo, I'm One just going to assume that outside. Uh, this shit is literally fucking ruined. I think she shows it in the mirror so you can see how fucked up it is. You got to put a case on your phone. Like if you because if you draw, <laughs> I have a case on my phone and it has so many like huge dings like in the case where it would have totally yeah. fucked my phone. It, it, it's kind of hard to see, but there are huge gashes in like different parts of the screen. So yeah, that sucks. I mean, we look, got Boglum Chronicles in the chat. She's so yeah, Boglum Chronicles. She's gonna sue us. She's gonna yeah, sue she's us. Gonna sue us dude. Fucking crazy shit. Fucking bad, 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 nasty, nasty lady. And I, I look. I went to her channel uh, just a little while ago, and I represented myself as uh, the legal representation for DP. Uh, and I wanted to address her allegations and her threat of lawsuit, and she did not uh, take me very serious. Mm. She uh, proceeded to drink herself into oblivion and keep talking about how me and Ben are going to buttfuck each other. Hey! Which is true! Yeah. That's <laughs> what Jeff means when he says point. camping. Yeah, every time I talk about camping with Ben, it's coded language for uh, uh, surprise sex in a hammock when you're passed out drunk. That is a jacked up fucking phone for sure. Yeah, because a dog knocked it over. <laughs> you know, in her, like, yeah, hmm. Good boy, Milo. Good boy, Milo. Yeah, good we boy, Milo. Milo. We stand fucking Milo. Although it's really unfortunate that she killed Milo when she went off no. camera. I look, I'm just saying, allegedly. I think Milo could take her out by the looks of Milo. Milo looked like a 70, 80 pound dog. Uh, I didn't see Milo. I wasn't paying attention. Milo but, was, a, uh, was a pit bull. Mm, still, uh, you know, she likes to make baseless claims. Well, I'm saying allegedly. Oh, uh, I see. And uh, I need to see some proof of life. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think she cries about the phone. Here's, here's, <laughs> here's a little bit more. Oh, God. I got to skip 
all of the bathroom. Con- yeah, see, she's sitting on the toilet again. Sitting on the toilet. The dog was named after Milo Yiannopoulos. Please no. Oh, was Milo no. a Labrador? I could be wrong. It almost looked like a pit bull, but I maybe I missed it too. I don't know. I'm about to actually go to bed, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> There was one point oh, where no. there was one point where she was sitting and you could see like a sanitary napkin like poking out from under her skirt. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, you know, like there's a lot of reason like I, that shit just fucking happens. That's that's you know. There's a lot of reasons, yeah. Like if your pussy smells like Wendy's. Uh, just go to bed. It's it, it was a Wendy's branded sanitary uh, napkin. Do you like this one, Joshy? I took it off. It was wrapped around my chili container. Yeah, it was. It had like the little Wendy's logo embossed on it. Yeah, your pussy smells like Wendy's. I mean, Wendy's does smell good. That's why I hate it so much. It's the forbidden fruit. Although, I I have an update on the Wendy's thing. They have a thing called, like, the $5 big bag mm-hmm. that's actually, like, cost-effective. It's not that bad. It's just one of their tiny little shitty burgers, some nuggies, some fries, and a drink. It's not bad. I've not tried the New York pizza. No. They also do a point system similar to the one McDonald's does where you can, like, build points and get free food. Like, they all want your data from your phone, so they'll, like, give you all these deals to put the app on your phone. You know, if they want to know what kind of fucking weird-ass hentai I jack off to and I get deals on my burgers, that's fine. What are we doing? I don't know. She's like, she's on the toilet. Oh, yeah, she starts uh, putting goth makeup on. She's been doing that lately. She's listening to, like, industrial sounding music, whatever that is. I don't even know. She's definitely trying. She's trying to look the part. Trying to trying to take the place of LN. LN, true. That's very true. I don't know, man. It's like uh one of the things that always bothers me about these lol cows and shit is like when why Josh is king. Josh is fucking king. Josh has the same addiction where he's like I have to be online. I want to make content. I want to do this. I want to do that. But he like does something he does a thing he does food combos uh he does or food, food hacks, hacks. Drink yeah. combos, makes his mead he does like reviews and shit and whether you like him or not who gives a fuck but he's doing something he like literally is actually doing something jessica doesn't do fucking anything she just streams for 12 hours just being dull and boring and terrible when she's like finally not boring and it's it's just crazy dude i don't even know like yeah so this stream yeah. was kind of worthless honestly yeah. oh, fuck um, that where what is she uh i guess she's probably just doing the same shit right now well she's we'll, doing the same shit josh josh came into the fucking chat and he started talking about her big boobies and oh my god dick heart. Uh, yeah and I, I i i just clicked off after that i was like i'm good she's making creative content is she is she someone in the chat suggested you're giving josh way too much credit i don't think so because like the thing is think about the people that we've been looking at tonight you know bart kern and fucking jessica and who we're gonna i don't know if we're looking at next but who we're eventually gonna look at the like, shanity yeah, people yeah. who literally don't do fucking anything. Anything. They don't fucking do 
anything. And they just assume that by doing nothing, we should pay attention to them. Like there's, there's nothing, just nothing, no effort whatsoever. It is, there, it's a sickness in the fucking human mind to think that you can just literally do nothing. Josh may not be able to do like these awesome fucking edits or some shit or like travel and go do this or expose or fucking blah, blah, blah. But what he can do, he does do. He does do. And I don't think we should like shortchange him for that. You know, is what it is. It is what it is, Tubes. I'm going to put you full screen while I run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Now, basically what I'm saying is, and the real moral of this story is in a world of naked and laughings and Brett Keens and Shani and Rev, at least be a King Cobra. Maybe, maybe better. Maybe. I mean, you know, try and be your best, best self. But like, at least be a Cobes. Don't be a naked and laughing. <laughs> At least Cubs tries to be decent. Yeah, for sure, man. Absolutely. And Doc's holidays. Well, listen, listen. You know, when things don't go your way, you can always fall back on uh, on being a hardcore uh, elite hacksaw. Jeff Doc's holiday. Ben has a bladder of a nursing infant. Actually, I I I have, usually have to pee way more than he does. Thoughts on femboys? Yes. <laughs> low standards have you looked at the world we live in have you looked at the world we live in low standards is like the world <laughs> like everything around us is so incredibly low fucking standards man am I gonna see Godzilla X Kong uh me maybe I might wait until it's on streaming I do love the kaiju movies and shit but after minus one I just don't know if I'm gonna give enough of a fuck maybe i don't know i'll probably watch it all the bussy fuck yeah yeah when will jwst find aliens i bet you it already has we just can't decipher it hmm. uh, uh let's see do 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 Watched a pirated copy the other day. It was okay. Well, that's kind of the thing with those kaiju movies, right? Like, uh, the Gareth Edwards, I think, is a guy who did uh, the first Godzilla. Um, that first that Godzilla, like the mar modern American Godzilla, not the T Rex uh, in New York one, uh, was pretty good. It's pretty pretty badass. Uh, the second one, I think, was like King of All Monsters or something like that. It's pretty good. It's all right. Uh. Godzilla vs. Kong was terrible. <laughs> it was fun, but it was all anything where the like the monsters weren't on screen was so insufferably fucking bad. So I, I actually do like watching it. I just fast forward until there's a kaiju and then I continue watching. And as soon as they're off screen, I just fast forward again. I'll probably do that with uh uh Godzilla X King Kong or whatever the fuck. Jessica's making a human skin dress. That, that tracks. Yeah, that tracks. Uh, the Drawn on a Fight stream. Yeah, I was actually on the show uh, last week when it first uh, dropped, and that was pretty fucking gnarly. Godzilla Minus One is very good. It is quite possibly the single best Godzilla ever made. And that says a lot, because I thought Shin Godzilla was um, a masterpiece. But this is a, just a little bit better. Who is more annoying, Shani or Jessica? Jessica, 100%. Yes. That guy's way more annoying. I can't stop watching Shanny. I fucking love Shanny. I watch everything that comes out about Shanny because I find it so fucking interesting and so funny. But like, yeah. Let's check her. Let's check out the thing you sent me. So, do you want to yeah. give us a little uh, intro? Well, definitely skip over to the time code. Um, Cause it's uh like it, it's a pretty long video, so start at twenty three minutes in. Let's listen we, well, to the part where she cries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, what what was the time code? Twenty three minutes in is is probably gonna be fine, and then it, it just 
it gets fucking bananas and then it kind of dips down and then it gets even more fucking bananas again. It, it's it's crazy. It's really crazy. Bible and stuff. She's gonna she's gonna talk about the trolls. That's it. And then one day I was in a, a one of Nadia's rooms. Nadia Chambers. I just brought Nadia Chambers up earlier. Yeah, they're talking about how they uh, they first met and they got together. Brett Keen. Mm-hmm. Which is crazy. And uh, I just heard that somebody said it. I can't remember who it was. They said, yeah, Sh- Shani and Chris are broke up. I'm like, what? Huh? People are so concerned about things that, that, that don't concern them. Yeah, well, it's because we were YouTube personalities, Stacey. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> why I had my own thing that I did, and she was doing her own thing. And we we were just friggin' friends, man. We were like brother, sister, and Christ friends talking about truth stuff. Um, In hangouts. Well, I mean, I've seen you in a hangout maybe twice. I was in G Plus Hangout for years, and I've seen her maybe twice. She ran her own rooms very rarely, and I went in there maybe once. Maybe twice with that. Well, I had little kids then. Yeah, I know. Then? (laughs) You still have them, but you can't. You're not allowed to see them. You were too busy to be doing that shit. Now they're freaking men. Yeah. William was having a conversation with me yesterday. He's like, Ma, I'm about to be 17. I'm a man now. <laughs> I know that, William. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never understand trolls or, or the hate. You seem like nice people. Well, thank you, Cruel. Uh, Cruel. Uh, Corella DeVille. Uh, They're just... I... I mean, we're not perfect. We've done shit. Yeah, uh, that, I've that wasn't shit. nice. I've done shit that wasn't nice, like everyone else has done in their life. Uh huh. Here- but these people, they just want to hold on to abusing people who have mental illness and physical ailments. Yeah, I'm not Abuse? the only one who they do this to. They do it with a man who has prostate cancer. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's important that 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 people are abusing people because they have mental problems or physical disabilities. Now, who who do you think they mean by prostate cancer? I think they mean emo, probably. Yeah. But emo yeah. has uh, allegedly has liver cancer, not prostate cancer. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's had it. He's had Alleged. liver cancer, a vital organ. He's had cancer in that for like over a decade. Yep. And yeah, his yeah. his appearance hasn't changed. He hasn't gone through like chemo, chemo howling wolf, none of that. Prostate cancer. Yeah, that's insane. Emo. That's insane. Uh, they do it to Cobra, and he's got he's mental definitely, illness. He's definitely. They do it to Cyrax. I don't know much. I don't about know. Him, he's got. But r- how convenient. It's right. Obviously, he's got yeah. something wrong with he's him. Got the villain. Something I, wrong with him. I, I don't. I don't know much about that guy. You know. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> They're making fun of Cyrax. He's got something wrong with him. You piece <laughs> of this shit. Jesus, yeah, he's deformed too. Yeah, he's deformed. There's something wrong with him. He's deformed. Yeah. I they, they, they they're ableist Nazis. It's like you mm-hmm. got mental illness. You got. Uh, a physical malady of any kind, they're going to come for you if you got a channel. YouTubers are not people have no right to involving themselves in yours or anyone else's business. Yeah. Uh, you make your business public. That's the whole thing. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Like, nobody put a gun to your fucking head and said, you need to post all of your worst behavior online constantly. Nobody ever did that. Nobody did that. Nobody. And if they- you didn't do terrible terrible things you would have a nice quiet little life on youtube just doing your little jesus crispy circle the moon jerk it's a light source up. it's a light source right you know like nobody nobody like some people might kind of pay attention a little bit but otherwise nobody would care nobody would give a fuck and by the way moon not really a light source more of a reflector not really yeah. a source of the light a reflector of the you're light. right but this is what happens, though. You have a channel, and they feel like you're Mel Gibson or whoever, and they feel like they have the right to just come into your life and be like paparazzi. Mel Gibson 
uh, psycho, but also like rich, famous, yeah. uh, still successful even after yeah. like one of the one of the worst self cancelings I've ever yeah. seen in my fucking yeah. holy shit. Yeah. And and I mean like talented to I mean like you might not like his stuff, but sure, yeah. Uh, I I liked uh, Apocalypto. I was just thinking about that the, uh, the other yeah. day. I actually liked that movie. I I That's a good movie. yeah. Nazi, it's nuts. What are your kids' zodiac signs? I know you are uh, Rev are Leo and Virgo. Aries and Taurus. They're very hard-headed boys. Aries and Taurus. There you go. William is what? You're an Aries, right? Yeah, I'm an and Aries. I'm a Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. He's Aries. William is an Aries. Zachary's a Taurus. And Zachary's a Taurus. Bullheaded. My God, he is. When he wants to do something, there's... Just... He's bullheaded. We tried to get him to move back in, but he won't. Said something about the state not allowing it. Remember when <laughs> Shani said that the other planets don't exist? Saturn in particular? I don't remember oh, yeah. that, but that was them trying to... Like, make their religious mumbo-jumbo actually be correct, so they had to deny mm -hmm. reality. You can't oh, yeah. stop them. No. You can't. I think they were trying to make, like, a geocentrism argument or something with that. Very, very strange and stupid thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> Why? And then he does it, and you go, okay, that wasn't right. You know that's not right now. Yeah. <laughs> You remember when he put a Batman figure? In the first time I saw Shani was when uh, G-Man pretended he turned into an atheist and that he changed his name to the Chocolate Atheist. Uh, yeah. And um, Shani freaked out and was like, we're supposed to be virgins painted white. And that was the first <laughs> time I ever saw Shani. And on in like one of the early DP episodes, we laughed our asses off at her. Because she was so, like, she was so outraged that G-Man would pretend to have turned into an atheist. It's still there. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Holy shit. <laughs> he put a Batman figure in, in the sink at, at the habitat, and he turned it on, and it was going to go over the... <laughs> I'm like, Zach, what is this, dude? I remember your birthday was Wednesday. Oh, okay. Let's, let's oh, well, dissection happy girl. Yeah, dissection girl. <laughs> it reminds me of. <laughs> yeah, he's her salacious crumb. Yeah, man, dude, for real. Someone needs to draw that. They need to draw Shanny the Hut and Salacious Rev. Yeah, I need yeah. I need that fan art. My little I brother. Will, I'll buy that t-shirt. Oh, my God. Rip. Michael, when he was, oh, he was like 11, 12. Yeah. And he filled up a whole balloon full of water and we're like michael a water balloon got to let the water go he's like no i don't want to it's a water baby i'm taking what? care it's of a water-headed baby it. okay <laughs> <laughs> you guys would have been aries and taurus three thousand years ago neil degrasse tyson says all the zodiac are off by at least a month Jeff is a Taurus and Ben is a Gemini and Sure, sure, this sure. Because of the expl astrology. the expanding universe, of course. When they when they created the zodiac signs, it was quite a long time ago. So Who cares? Then, Yeah, yeah. It's all just like tradition and like mumbo jumbo. And it just I'm gonna put water everywhere, all over the carpet. And I'm oh, like, oh, oh my oh. god. So I was raising them then. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I had to clean up the carpet. And... <sighs> I'm sorry. 
It's just kids do. By the way, our short-term goal for tonight's stream is 30%. If you want to help us get a little closer to that, it's pinned at the top of the chat. Thanks to everyone yeah. who's helped out so far. We appreciate yeah. it. Stuff like yeah. that. That's just normal. <laughs> if you have a comment like that, you're getting blocked. I'm sorry. Get blocked, troll. That's there not tolerated here. It's just not. It's not. It's not. Like, you don't have to remind me of stuff, and that didn't even happen. What well, didn't happen? You don't pause have it. to remind us. Pause it. Pause it. This is exactly what I'm fucking talking about. Nobody forced you to fucking say what you're about to say. Like, that dude came in, and he wanted to troll you. All you had to do was literally say fucking nothing. Right. Nobody forced you into this jason nobody did it you dumb motherfucker go ahead stuff that's happened in our past that's really hurtful man there's no need for that and why would you what's the purpose of that corilla de Ville, i'm a virgo and my husband's a leo too oh they got the same cut that's alpha and omega man there's very high spiritual energy with that that's you can also okay. flash right with that type of energy too, I would think so. Well, oh yeah, you would think so. You you guys never clash. You've just you, you could see how that would. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, of sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> They're both high. If either of you had a better option, you'd be gone. Energy and zodiac. So. Mm -hmm. What's up? Uh, how you say, it? Deanna Rose? Is that how you say your name? What I mean, is that hard to say? Deanna, a fairly common name. Rose, a very common flower. You don't know how to say it? I guess you could you say Deanna. I guess, like, the way you pronounce the vowel could vary based on, right. like, you know, like, their ethnic origin. You know, there could be different ways of pronouncing it. But, yeah. Sure. Um. Yeah. He's That's already up. moved away from the topic. Didn't quite address it. He's going to fucking bring it back. Oh, He's no. going to... He's going to bring it back, dude. How you doing? I like that name, Rose. It's it, But the internet really is a way that, like, they will keep your sins in front of your face forever. <laughs> You're putting them in front of our face right now. Hey, didn't you put the scarlet letter on your own forehead? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. That's really Looks nice. like you were trying to remind everyone. Not but see, your nice. sins are always twisted in this non-true manner, too. Non-true manner. It's always twisted. Yeah, it's not the straight, accurate thing of what really happened. It's, it's no, you kicked him in the ribs and face. No, no. he did not. That's no. a lie. No, he would have been in the hospital with serious injuries if I did that. Okay, I didn't. I blacked out, and what I did remember afterwards is I smacked him a couple times. That was it. Why did yeah, he black this, out? Was he drunk? Uh, well, he gets to that, but okay. keep in mind, this is a fucking child. And I think at the time this happened, I think the kid was like 11 or something. Is it? Was it their kid with autism? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Whichever one that he ended up going to jail for, the one that uh, he smacked. Her. I don't know, yeah. That was it, and I paid for it. I went to jail yeah, 13 to fucking jail. days. 13 fucking days I was in jail for it, okay? I paid for it. That's it. I paid for it. Uh-huh. If you want to say I should be strung up by my fucking neck and killed for it, yeah, maybe. But I, the penalty was paid. 13 days in jail, I paid the penalty, man. So you want to keep bringing that up and splashing that in my face? Fuck you, okay? I paid for Wait. it. Again, again, like you're like, hey, you think I should be strung up? Like, okay, well, whatever, blah 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 blah. But just stop <laughs> mentioning it because it makes me uncomfortable that I hit a child. Like, dude, 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 and like, just shut the fuck up. Right. Just shut up. Some dude brings it up in your live chat. Just shut your fucking right. mouth. Don't say anything. Can't do it. That's Stop it. Stop being abusive. He That's calls me dad still. He doesn't hate my guts. So Great. whatever. It's a thing that happened, 
and I feel horrible about it, and it's over. It's mental and emotional abuse to someone who is having a psychotic moment, a psychotic it's, break. Yeah, I was going through continual psychotic breaks during that time. Yeah, just continually. Because I was, so I didn't, I was fish out of water. I didn't know what the fuck was going to happen with us, man. So is he, are they saying at that point that it was emotional abuse on the part of the kid because Rev was drunk and upset? Or is it like emotional abuse now that people bring it up because at the time <laughs> Rev was drunk and upset? Because I'm confused. Whatever makes him the good guy. Uh, that's gotcha, what, okay. that's the way it is. Not a good time. And not only that, but the pressures on the internet didn't help your mood either. No. The pressures on it's the pressures on the internet that did it. That's what did it. See, it's guys, the internet. We, we all hit the kid right in his little fucking face. We just popped him right in his fucking face. It's all our fault. No, it was constant. They were really riding us at that time. For nothing. No. Other than us being poor, and they're getting on our case for being poor. I, excuse that me? That karma's going to come back to you. You're going to find out that you're going to be poor. And you're going to be on your own. And people are going to down you for it. That karma's just coming wait, back just, to just, you. Just wait for that to happen. You want this back, honey? That karma. None. It's where do all these Christians believe in karma? Good. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like there, there's some like kind of vaguely pseudo karmic style shit that's in 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 biblical text Not, and stuff. But I mean, what is it? Because like, uh, like, it's like kind of like uh, pseudo philosophical. Because most of... Christians don't like Christians believe you could do whatever horrific sins. You want, except for like cardinal sins in some religions, but like most believe you can like even commit murder and repent and be forgiven. So, yeah, it's like, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. yeah, the only thing you can't really do is blaspheme the Holy Spirit, that kind of stuff. Right, yeah. right, right, right. I just found a great fucking link for it, but it's got nothing but all these fucking shitty biblical yeah, pop up yeah, ads. All right. all right. Well, God bless people out there. You're kind. If you want to help yeah. us, if you want to help I just us don't out, don't want to see any more of that. Yeah, I'm done with it. I, I I'm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If I okay. see this, this is this is a good example. Like James three eighteen, peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. That's karma. But it, That's just... uh, no, it, I don't think so because karma is like because like God chooses what to reward you for, and then God does the reward. But karma is like this. Karma is. I, Karma is reward after you've lived your life in the next life. Karma uh, is an yeah. instant. Like the the, oh. the 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 idea of when, karma in Buddhism and Hinduism, right. it's not an instant thing. Yeah, I mean, sure, but like, when do you think Shani really has that deep of an understanding of? Uh, no, she's stupid. <laughs> Yeah, she's dumb. She just means like the pop culture kind of karma of like, you know, if you try to do good things, good things will happen to you. You know, blah 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 blah. But actually, there's like a there's like a bunch of the, these. Like, the whole the whole idea of karma is also with reincarnation in mind, and then with the you know the the state of wanting nothing, nirvana. You know, it's 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 Eastern religion that mm -hmm. has really no place in biblical christianity Beautiful shit it's just gone yeah, and then if you try to come it's just it's such a popular term and dipshits like these two and jared like to use <laughs> it a lot jared uses it a lot too come back to me and ask for being blocked you're not it's not gonna happen <laughs> get you bro because okay, it's too much for for our minds to fucking take anymore man we're broken as shit Oh, see you later, Deanna Rose. Uh, see you later, guys. Yeah, God we bless love you. you so much, guys. Don't that's, take this to heart. No. About us. It's nothing against you guys. It's just my mental health can't take it. <laughs> oh, did you hit us? Did you hit us? We love you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sweetheart. God bless. God take care, bless. guys. We might come back later on. We'll see. Somebody sent them 50 cents or some shit. Oh, thank God.
Oh, God, I can almost get some sautéed. <laughs> some peanut butter. Some cookies. Yeah. I want to... I want to fill up on some food, too. Um, Too bad, Jason. Yeah. Jesus fucking... Oh, my God. Um, What else we got? I love how Jessica said she was going to go to bed, and she's still just doing the exact same fuck-off thing. Yeah, she can't yeah. stop. She's addicted. She's addicted to live streaming. Yeah. Uh, no matter how much it would be in her best interest. You know, um, many people should just not be allowed on the fucking Internet. Not really because of like, mm, but just because like, it's just not fucking healthy for them. It's like exactly. Disastrous. Exactly. Um, everyone, please like the stream if you haven't already. And if you want to send us a couple bucks towards our goal, it would be much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Christianity probably stole some ideas from Hinduism and Buddhism. Um, I'll be right back. Sure? I, I'd say, yeah, that's probably kind of a given. Something they have to keep in mind, especially with like these early, uh, uh, these earlier moments in these grander theologies that we we understand today. Um, back then, it was not like it is now. Uh, for a really good example, um, hell, as we understand it, uh, has really only been understood by Christians for about two hundred years. Before that. Nobody gave a fuck. Nobody was interested in that because biblical scholarship wasn't really mashing everything together. They were still trying to, like, figure out where these texts came from. And, like, there are very distinct and different things that are supposed to be hell. You ask a Christian today, they're like, oh, it's all the fucking same. It's all the fucking same. So a lot of this was, like, out there. Early Christianity wasn't called Christianity. That's another good example. So, like, a lot of this stuff, you know, all kind of, like, bleeds together and meshes together. But, and this is very, very, very fucking important. Do not fall into the incredibly lazy, lazy tendency of listening to somebody being like, and actually, this is how this is correlated and connected to this. Did you know that this Christian holiday was also the same as that? Because a lot of times when you see those videos that are claiming like this was based on that or based on this, it's horseshit. <laughs> like a lot of the time, it's horseshit. Some of the times it's true, but it is very much a thing to make those types of videos because they're interesting. But oftentimes those videos are made by stupid people who lie. <laughs> so you know, I'm... It, it, it's a cool thing to look up, but like a lot of times it's it's totally nonsensical and bullshit. To be honest, I'm not sure how much Buddhism and Hinduism made its way over to western asia you know like um, uh, and i mean obviously christianity is most heavily influenced by judaism and well and judaism is is heavily heavily fucking influenced by greek by by uh you know uh the greek religion like i mean early judaism was pantheonic it was not monotheistic um there was even in some like in some very specific splinter groups that were trying to define like how the Christian cosmology worked, uh, there were instances of Christianity that flirted with uh, uh, polytheism. So, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know. Who knows? Now we're going to listen to Sturgis cry about, oh, his, about his channel being under attack, whatever that means. <laughs> so we'll play his, his intro. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go, oh, go, go ahead and do it, and we'll, we'll get back to it. Everyone, please like the stream. I'd appreciate it so much. Also, check out the pre-show. We recorded a pre-show. It's available for free right now. Um. <laughs> Shit. Dudes, I'll put myself full screen. Enjoying a plate of uh, pop uh, of spaghetti, kind of like how T Bob was the other day. Oh damn! Mm, 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 mm. 
I'm scared that. So yeah, we need we need money just in case Methica sues us. <laughs> Pretty sure Rastafarians believe that uh, one of the lost tribes of Israel was like a black tribe that settled in Ethiopia. Pretty sure. Ding, 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 ding. All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. Oh, shit, I didn't play the intro. Here we go. Essentially, 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 essentially. There we go. Essential we somebody, bud. So, somebody earlier was like, why didn't Shandy and Red, when they were listing people that get bullied and that they have disabilities, they were like, why didn't she mention Eric July and his, his gorilla shoulders? That's true. Very That's a disability. Yeah. I'm Renown Zero. We are back talking about that apparently I am being placed under attack by a Queen Mickey. You know, Mickey Mouse Queen Mickey because apparently I'm using her whiteness and I'm going to be deplatformed over a thumbnail even though I'm protected under fair use according to X slash Twitter's terms of service. <laughs> so all of that's null and void for you. You are an absolute fence sitter and you talk about not starting drama, then you go ahead and tag me this morning about drama nonsense that I don't really care about. Talking about how I'm I need to remove Sturgis, your your whole channel is drama. Like your main yeah. shtick yeah. is you defend Anyone who criticizes your parasocial father figure, it's drama. That's <laughs> what it is. If your face, even though I've transformed it into, in my thumbnail, you can go right ahead and try to get that removed. Even though you're talking about YouTube, you're in talks with YouTube right now, even though it's protected under fair use. Even JD Power No Associates would say, Mickey, it's fair use. He transformed your picture when he put it in a picture with other things in it. He's a moron, though, because it's copyright law that makes him right, not XTOS, even though there's been YouTubers that have said the exact same thing when it comes to the TOS. She says, but it's still an advert, and it uses my likeness, which infringes on my right of publicity. He needs to pay my license fee or remove it. I have a right, and it's my duty to defend my copyright. It would take him two minutes to change it, but if he wants to play hardball, then we'll play hardball. If you try I don't to really care either way. This will be funny. To defend your copyright like, court. Yeah, yeah, yeah you will lose that's just my two cents do whatever you want court Take is not needed for this there's other ways so more threats of course such as because he will most likely tell you to f off the other ways it's already in motion well doing this to this person is a step too far that's not funny or appropriate but of course i always got to do my quote-unquote chilling and simping and all hell ripper it's pathetic all hell ripper verse because i yeah apparently yeah. talk about things i've never bought or read According to these weirdos, even though I've read Isom 1, 2, and Alpha so hard. 4, and I've constantly said that <laughs> Isom 1 is good, Isom 2 is better, of course the best. And of course I'm waiting for Yaira, sitting currently at $1.342 million, 9,873 total purchasers with over 16,600 total numbers. books sold. Cover C, of course, is the limited cover. This is what he has to do. He has to go through. He, he He's really into reading numbers. Yep. Right. It's, you know... Yeah. It's just so fucking sad, though. Like, you can tell this is the most exciting thing that's happened to him in, like, all week. All week, like, oh, oh. And I, I bet you he had a genuine moment of panic over this because his life is that fucking boring. It's so crazy. So weird. It's back to this post once again because, of course, this is somehow an own. Just remember, Frog Tony is the guy who has an Own My Enemies fund where he's now... Owning his enemies by buying a sketch from Ethan Van Skyver. Quote, unquote, own your enemies by buying a sketch of who the Sturgis person is from Ethan Van Skyver, even though I've said it, that looks like he wrote Sturgis instead. It I appears... love it because he's – he <laughs> Ethan Van Skyver drew Sturgis with – look at the boobs he drew on him too. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. And he's auctioning this off. He's going to make way, way more money off of it, monetizing <laughs> his haters, bud. Frog Tony is the winner of the now infamous Sturgis I'm no fan of Ethan Van Shriver or anything, but, like, that's fucking hilarious. That's that's really fucking funny. God damn it. Yeah, but Ethan Van Shriver has joined on Trashcast 48. The winning bid was $305, which is what I said. I said that it would sell for more than any book you could resell on eBay, of course. Why you think this is an own? I don't know. But I had this pleasure of being tagged in this nonsense of there is a license fee to use my image. 
And your YouTube thumbnail adverts, even though I've transformed it and your thing is on Twitter and protecting the fair use. And you got called Essentially. out. Yes, that's. Yeah. Tell me your business works. You pay the people to use their image and likeness. I do not grant you permission to use my registered copyright images or my likeness in the advert of your video. No, it's not. Also, X and Twitter does not grant you a license to publish my image, the my image, or likeness as an advert thumbnail for your YouTube video. This isn't personal. This is business and how things work. Newsflash. How things work in the United States. I'm protected under fair use because you posted it on Twitter. It, you're not protected. He's editing his videos now. From There's like these big jump cuts. Thing like yeah. he, he probably cuts out the essentialies now. That. You're getting paid from your video, and you're using my likeness to advertise your video. The situation is easy. Pay my license fee or simply remove my likeness from your advert thumbnail. It shouldn't take more than two minutes. The thumbnail is the advert. Again, posting an image on X and Twitter does not give you permission using the thumbnail advert of your video. It actually does. Protecting their fair use. It's protecting their fair use. Basic human respect would say, hey, she doesn't want to strike my video. She just don't How does this mean your channel is under attack? Some woman is... is uh. So what what is it that that she he like, put her face a in a thumbnail and obviously she's wrong about this but it's just yeah. funny how how he interprets it because they always have to take the victim posture yeah, so it's my channel's under attack because I'd be like some woman that doesn't know what she's talking about is threatening me you know what I mean like. <laughs> Register copyright so photos and likeness used to advertise video. I would never do that to a person, even if I don't like them. I have no dog in this fight, but looking over X's rules of fair, it seems it's going to come down to what constitutes transformative versus does it harm the copyright holder from the site. He doesn't care. Basically gave you the middle finger. Yeah, I don't care. Lol, you can include a cropped image of someone to include in a thumbnail. You're literally getting told that you're an idiot, that you don't know what you're talking about. And I said, look at this crying bitch down there crying about it. If she didn't want the picture used, then don't put it online. It's that simple. Perfect. Said by Adam Juneman. Great dude. I said you might want to try Great reading dude. He agrees with me, bud. Twitter. Everything posted <laughs> on here is protected under fair use. We have Tyler. Shout out to him, that man. Like I just said, Super Plumber Sisters and all that. Bro, if she has a problem, tell the copyright strike the video. Your video will go down for 10 days, but you'll win the appeal. She's on a public platform, and your video is fair use because it's commentary. I don't know how you deal with these people all day, man. I've resorted to blocking like 200 people this year. I deal with it in the way that I know how, and that's monetizing. Keep being great. And making great comics. Yeah, I have a lot of people that follow me. I also said, you can screenshot that all you want. What happened yesterday when you were telling me to go away? Now you're tagging me looking for drama. You were talking about how I go to threads to trash people, and yet here you are. Constantly tagging over some nonsense. You're not understanding. California Civil Code Section 3344 provides it is unlawful for the purposes of advertising and selling to knowingly use another's name, voice. I don't care. You put out a threat. This would I don't be take more funny lightly. if someone sues <laughs> Struggies over this nonsense. It, it would be funny. Uh, yeah, Mickey yeah. Ariyama. Mickey Ariyama. Okay, I told you that. There's no advertising and selling, and once it's on X or Twitter, it's protected in the fair use. This is my response. Uh, I posted uh, the TOS. Oh, X. Oh, see, here's the thing, though. He's like, yeah, him just putting like her her profile picture or something into a thumbnail like that. That it's a it's about her. So yeah, that is protected. But just because you put something like on X or something does not mean that it's now automatically fair use. No. Like if somebody puts like their fucking art, you know, like or, or uh, their modeling photos or something, you know, something that is obviously done for the purpose of specifically monetization. But if it's your branding and somebody's like putting your branding on something that's about you and it's it is transformative. Sure. I will like, say I will I say, though. Understand. When you upload something to a social media platform, usually yeah. you agree that they own it to a degree. True, but that like the terms of service, like yeah. But if you like, that's true. However, again, like if you if you have some piece of like art and you share a picture of it on there, it doesn't mean that somebody like Facebook or X now owns that art. Like they can claim that. They'll fail. They won't win in a lawsuit about that. They they'll, might win in a lawsuit because they can afford one, though. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Last I, don't think actually, I don't even think it's come up yet in like a court case, to be honest. I don't think so. So Josh just bought Jessica more alcohol? It would like you to learn how to read it. 
should grant us a royalty free license. Us referring to Twitter slash X. Us is not referring to you, renowned. At least she was. That's uh, what I'm to actually call me by my screen name here. Yeah, there's Bruce something says, in the terms of. So, so uh, this is what I was just thinking. So mm. he thinks that the terms of service applies to him, but it actually applies to Twitter slash X. Yeah. They put that in there. That's in yeah. their terms. Like, if you put an image on here, we have the right to use it. No. Okay, one is why, although we can feel it's wrong for a con to deny as customers, it doesn't mean we're wasting our energy fighting for a group that actively tries to cancel says damage others and would celebrate it happening to creators who support. Yeah, she's having a horrible take. I specifically put out what I'm talking about, where it says... This license authorizes us to make your content available to the rest of the world and to let others do the same. You agree that this license includes the right for us to provide, promote, and improve the services and to make content submitted to or through the services available to other companies, organizations, or individuals for the syndication, broadcast, distribution, repost, promotion, or publication of such content on other media and services subject to our terms and conditions for such content use. I'm the individual using the such content on other media and services, as in a YouTube and a video. Would be the media, would be the video, services, would be YouTube. So, shit out of luck. What do you think YouTube is? It's a service. Video is media. You deleted the tweet where you said you were going to strike me, which I screenshotted it, obviously. <clears throat> I said, too late. You tried deleting it, and I got it. Video incoming. You said, on X slash Twitter, this does I love, I, almost all of Sturge's videos is him just reading Twitter. Like, this is what yeah. I did on Twitter this week. And, like, video incoming about this tweet that you made. Like, who gives a fuck? Nobody watches your channel except us. <laughs> like, nobody gives a fuck about this dork. Like, the only people that like that give him any attention are people that can't stand him. Well, Eric July kind of boosted him a little bit, too. Not that, not really anymore. Jesus fucking Christ. Not, this does it not. It's supposed to be, this does not. Your, your thing says... Does not not. Yeah, you've made a bunch of typos too. Come on, dude. Like, you know, <laughs> you can't really call this out. Give you the right to use it on YouTube. I'm gotcha. really being patient, patient with you, and I don't want He's to strike you, but you're being unreasonable and not respecting my copyright and right to publicly. Publicity? You mean publicity? Then you tried to repost it after you deleted it. Shout out to LG. Oh, another cancel pig from Cancelgate. You do have the Wait, right to use have... social media info on one platform for content on another. That literally happens all day, every day from thousands of accounts. That would be like saying you can't report on anything public from any site. Then you, then Alice Matt even had to tell you that you're dumb. He even had to explain it to you and you still try to fight him. So you're telling me that you're not remove any likeness and copyright image from your YouTube thumbnail advert? And Alice Matt responds with, to throw my two cents in, he's protected under fair use since the image has been altered from its original appearance, making it transformative. You mean transformative when it comes to art, not when it comes to YouTube thumbnail advert, where he's using my likeness to promote his video. Transformative to content. Art is content. YouTube considers thumbnails content. Thumbnails can be arguably considered art as well. He's 100% protected. So literally someone that's disagreeing with you because he's right. Thumbnails are adverts, just like an Apple Music album cover, website banner ad, digital movie cover, digital asset used to promote a product, which is the video. Music album covers are also content protected, just like YouTube thumbnails are. She deleted the post, of course, that she made here. I'm also going to use it for my billboard ad to promote my new duck animated movie because you're trying to get one over <laughs> on Alice Matt because he has clearly a duck character in his profile picture. And I said, good job reposting it after you deleted it because I already got it. And my response to you saying you're not going to remove my likeness, I said, nope, I don't take kindly to threats. You yesterday, you're affecting people's money. I said money. this, then Go they said yourself. that, then Go they said this, and I said that. Hypnotic bringing in the knowledge, of course, and this woman clearly doesn't understand how YouTube works or the internet for that matter. Can't wait to see her get her money stolen by a lawyer wasting time in the courtroom. Copyright image, quote unquote, says Bruce. Imagine saying that unironically, we're excited. Crack pipe. I think someone deserves a beard of shame, and it's a shame because she was spitting facts the other day. Well, she's a fence sitter. She'll spit some facts one day, and then she'll spit some bullshit the next day. If she put it on Fuck the it. internet to be seen, <laughs> it's fair game. What is so hard to understand about that? So yesterday she wanted you to go away, and now she won't shut up about you. Her brain is obviously broken. Yes. Yes, Master Hobo. Her brain is obviously broken. But let's talk about how I'm... I'm bullying people and trying to take down people's business, <clears throat> by the way, you know, because it always goes unnoticed. I love this. Someone someone went to that Star Wars girls live stream with a Sturgis sock account and yeah, sent yeah. a super chat that was like, let's see those tatas. And she was all like, you gross me out. <laughs> people are trying to deplatform me and people are trying to tarnish my image. Right. Here's a video that I put out four months ago about Riley being salty 
and trying to damage my reputation. Which, by the way, it was found out that the drunken fats were the ones that made a fake account of me on here and took ownership of that. No, that's not what happened. We didn't make this account. I don't know who made this account. That'd be fucking hilarious, though. It wasn't us. We laughed about it. I did see that person in our chat a couple times. Yeah. But, I mean, like, it, yeah, it's funny, but I don't think, no, I don't think we anybody didn't do involved. It. Yeah, we, we we don't want to. I'll take credit that. for it if it was me. I would take credit for it. Yeah, I mean, it was me. It was me, Sturgis. I did it. <laughs> By the way, in their little Discord of this. No, that's not what happened. Saying this, it's a fake account, right? Let's go through the clip. By the way, this here, of course, no sexy cosplay. The date that they came to see this, and of course, like I said, fake account has a lowercase Z in it. Yeah, Mine has an uppercase Z, a capital it's a, Z. It's so a fucking right off the rip fake account. This isn't me. And you can see it here that this person decided to be in this chat. Oh, yes. This is a, another live stream with, uh, I believe it's the, the Midweek Hump with uh, Shagsworth, Common Nerd, Sheep City, and Andrew, Lofty Pixels, and Grant Gregory. Also in this stream with the fake account here, right? So let's let's keep watching. Whether it be Riley or Tony or anyone from that camp decided to make this fake account to try to somehow push a narrative that I'm doing certain things, which I'm not. So I even showed this screenshot thanks to Vincent Martin, who decided to show this to me back four months ago, showing that the link to this account was completely fake. It was someone trying to impersonate me like an a-hole. But I'm, I'm out here trying to tear people down, <laughs> apparently. I also have this right here where... Frog Tony and all his bitch madeness, because he's a bitter bitch, tried to say that I was saying this nonsense as well. It was yet another fake account that was being put out there saying I was in Camelot stream, even though I was asleep because I have a full time job. I see you ended your stream to go watch Camelot. This was from when I was doing a Super Mario RPG stream back on November 20th, which is interesting because I typically in my streams at 11 p.m. and I go to sleep. So there's no way I could have been in the stream. He but, has a very specific time schedule that he follows. But uh, that person, the account, the fake account that sent that super chat deleted. So I said to him, it's quite interesting considering how magically the fake account is gone. And Anna has already informed me that the super chat was refunded. You can't claim it's not Anna when the check mark is there. Also, where's my name in the chat on the screenshot? I also, I'm a channel member on Camelot. I did this and they did that and they wrote this and I wrote that, bud. I'll be I right love, back. I love that. Oh, thank you. Okay, cool. What yeah, were you go going to say? I'm sorry for interrupting. What were you saying? I was just, just going to say, like, in the middle of this video, he had to stop and, like, watch his own video. Like, yeah. Fucking Christ. This this dude is so bored. Yeah. He's so fucking... He's so, you know what? Maybe we should hook Jessica up with, with uh, Sturgis. I mean, you know, not really for any clever reason, but just, just because. Just fucking because. Uh, got news for Sturgis. The clip of Verse merch is parody, so it was wrong for Eric to DMCA. Well, yeah, I mean, Eric's a bitch, you know? Like, I don't like that. Make it fun of what I'm doing. That's not cool. Yeah, sure, it might be free speech, but fuck free speech. I'm a DMCA that shit. Like, dude. Nah, 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 nah. Jessica probably won't date down like that. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Did Cobes dump uh, Jessica? No, uh, Cobes just ordered Jessica more booze, and I guess she like kind of got cranky about it because it's not liquor because the liquor stores are closed. It's like wine or something. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I uh, I haven't been able to like pay that much attention to it. To be honest, I do. I watch uh, Bite Size Cobra. I'm realizing that fat boy Struggies is even more guarded than Jared is. I wonder if his pride was broken by a Power Ranger too. Maybe, maybe. By the way, you guys hear that weird shit that was going on with the Red Power Ranger? Like, turned out to be like a real fucking uh, weird, gross dude. Jason Lee Scott. I think that's who it was, right? Jason Lee Scott. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, he recently has come under some pretty gnarly fire. I don't know if that was covered on uh, on the show or not. Or was it? Oh, no, it was Austin St. John. That's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. Uh, Austin St. John. That's right. Uh, what the fuck was it that he did again that was, like, so fucking crazy? 
he arrested for wire fraud related to COVID-19 paycheck for oh, PPP loan. Yeah. Uh, oh, and he was launching he launching a line of T-shirts with Hitler quotes. Yeah. Who did that? Yeah. Austin St. John. Oh, yeah. The original Red Power Ranger. Yep. That's fucking nuts, dude. That's fucking crazy. You want channel at the Somebody, at the time. Somebody, I was a Yeah, he's uh interesting <laughs> person. Yeah. I saw uh the original Black Power Ranger at Comic-Con. Oh yeah. Yeah. Channel member. Him? Nah. Camelot channel cuz of all the gifted subs going around. So my name would be green in the chat. So why is my name not green as well? Why would I want to be effing with some OF chick that's effing her brother? Am I right? Obviously, that was a joke going around at the time. So this was the comment that Anna left me. This is actually Anna, that Star Wars girl. Shout out to her. This I know why her. I, I have know her, her back when it comes. This is especially why. Not just the fact that I don't want people to be canceled when they shouldn't be canceled, but she had my back when these clowns were trying to deplatform me and misrepresent who I am. And she said, hey, I got a comment on my stream letting me know about the situation. I went to check out the fuss on Twitter when I saw your thread. I remember getting the super chat and being creeped out. After seeing your tweets, I went to check my super chats because if the person in person you changed their handle, it would be updated in YouTube analytics. But the super chat wasn't there, so whoever sent it refunded. Obviously, it was someone trying to cause drama. I know it wasn't you. We met at a con and you were nothing but kind to me. Sorry these people are giving you a hard time. So I had to pull out old receipts of people literally <clears throat> you don't have trying to, do that. to tarnish my name. This is a tweet from November 20th, 2023. I had to bring this up. So we can also talk about this old clip, this old video where you can see young Clipper showing up to the Ripperverse warehouse. This was this hilarious. Was a video I put out <laughs> six months ago of him showing up to the Ripperverse warehouse, flipping off the camera like a dumbass. And being like, I'm emasculating you publicly on your own home turf. But if you make Alex publicly apologize for the false flag, you'll leave now. So somebody showing up to someone's place of business, by the way, at night, you did it at night because you're a pussy. You couldn't do it during the day when there's actually people there. You're a loser. Ah. This is acceptable, <laughs> according to Queen Mickey. How about when I was promoting all these different campaigns nine months ago? He's bringing up all this other stuff where he can claim the victim. And he's like, this girl that wants to flag me is threatening to do this, and this is all okay with her, bud. Why does... What? Who cares? I was perfectly fine. Oh, my fine. God. I was perfectly this fine then, promoting Ice Song 2. I was promoting Cyber Frog 3. I was promoting Rainbow the Brute. Fucking dork. Oh, my God. I was promoting God. Blade Devil. Promoting Shin Sen Raiku. Cyber Frog Dark Harvest. Glorious Rex 2. I had no problem promoting stuff that I actually back. Core Draft the Reckoning. Death, death, death. The promotion also, you know, means Hunter nothing. Lewis umbrella. I also promoted Godlike. So I also promoted Cash Grab and back to Blade Devil. So I promoted a bunch of CG books back in the day when all this drama wasn't happening between creators because of, now it's just nonsense all over the freaking place. But, but I think it's hilarious. You're part of it. You're nah, part of the reason that it happens. Nah, essentially, bud, he's just above it. He's he's just one of the guys that's a mover and shaker, bud. He's he's promoting, but all of this uh, drama is so dumb, which is why he's making this video about a Twitter argument, bud. Curious how you also tried to do this. You tried oh to say you God. think it's funny that your troll post is reaching so many people, but LG promotes his Dynasty Dimes, and you're a pick me. Or you're reposting this and talking about bad behavior, really. That's not right, and you know it. So you... Want to be talking about messing with people's money and business, yet you're out here trying to fuck with LG's stuff because you're an absolute cunt. I don't care. You can fuss, cuss, scream about it to the hills, to the heavens, whatever you want to do. Fuck off. Don't fuck with people's stuff. Oh, how about this person? Who's Sturgis in rarely swears, so that's how you know he's mad. Wait, is the Ripaverse warehouse in Washington? I don't know. I believe it's in Texas, so I don't know what oh. that was. I live but that address yeah. was for somewhere in Seattle. Talking about EVS is the man. He owns you now, so now you are his property. EVS will be the one to unite everyone and take down FNT in their evil ways. All the riftles will fall in line and obey EVS, who is never wrong. Okay. How about this one? Drunken weirdos were trying to take down my Twitch channel by snitching on Twitch. Not trying to mess with my business, though, right? Not trying to mess with my rep. That's not us. That's uh, Lord Magicus. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For new streams, though. Lawyers I mean, may be correct. 
Breck, but we, he, we, have, we have fucked with him a little bit when he's on his, his Twitch and whatnot, but like, you know, just lightly, just kind of teasing a little bit. It wasn't like a serious That thing. was Magicus warning him that if you, back then, if you did like a simulcast, it was against uh, Twitch's TOS. So he was actually uh, warning him. Police state law going right. to John's long box where they were putting chickens in the chat and saying a bunch of trolly stuff mm-hmm. down here. Ask Eric why he didn't wear makeup for this stream. You got freaking ASC presents sending super chats, chickens in the chat, all this nonsense towards Eric when he's just having a simple conversation. Knowing that someone's like John's long box, it doesn't give a crap about any of the drama. People are in here trolling him. Even you can even see Geek Getaway talking about, I apologize for EFAP in the stream tonight. It's because you're a weirdo, dude. Your content is drama farming. Without drama, your channel's dead. That's what He's you're just here to have a conversation about comic books, and you're all in here. Eric is my mommy confirmed, Yaira. Mint, trying to troll. How about this one? Like I said, trying to take down my stuff. When, when they got me banned, when these clowns got me banned, they were all happy about that. I'm sure they were all happy about getting me suspended from twitch for Mm -hmm. quote-unquote hateful conduct and it was just me playing we just asked you if you thought transgender children existed and you said they didn't yeah that was uh, (laughs) a little strange buddy video games with my community what about that community let's talk about alice man told in three pictures where queen mickey says yes but you can't use someone else's likeness on that cover without permission. What's so hard? What's so hard to get? You're an artist, right? How about I do this? My new poster, buttons, and T-shirt designs, transformative, right? And he's and Alice Matt says, sure. As long as you don't directly make money off of it, I give you permission to use Road Warrior Drake to help advertise your stuff, provided you also include my website, roadwarriordrake.com, with it. Consider this our official contract. She deleted the tweet. Get into the whole. I don't know. Let's get into this. Dude lives with his parents. No rent, food expenses, bills, and the money he makes from his 20k subscribers pissed away on multiple copies of Rip Reverse Comics. Again, <laughs> people trying to count my money. People trying to tell me and shame me for what I use money on. I think his mom smoked meth when she was pregnant. <laughs> and felt guilty ever since. That's why she supports him. No, no way that dude has a dad, though. No way. What about this one? Oh, he didn't respond to that. Did you notice that? He didn't. He didn't actually comment on that comment. I'm seriously saying, saying. Sturgis, you'll never be black no matter how hard you try. How about this one from Eric July's arm here saying he hopes I block myself off a bridge. And this person responding by saying a high one with no water. How about this one where these clowns were making fake accounts and trying to harass me on (laughs) Twitch and saying I should delete myself. What about that one? Oh, how about this one? A bunch of us got into Renown stream on kick and he hasn't blocked us trying to harass me. This is, of course, an account that's used by the drunken fats. To harass me again. I don't you what? This I screenshotted that. How about this one? Oh, you're overweight and liar, short, broke. Talk about bullying. Here it is. Here's the here's the drunken weirdos on that altered perspective account with a bunch of people just, you know. Oh yeah, here's the here's the individual that tried to snitch to Twitch on me right there. He was trying to warn you. With this clown. Yeah. This fat overweight clown. But no I'm the one trying to tear people down. Fuck off. Sturges, we've all seen you in your t-shirt that's two sizes too tight for you. You are a very big boy. Yeah. Just don't don't throw shade if it could be applied to you, man. That's what I'm like, saying. Fuck fucking all crazy. the way off. And of course, he once again back. tags me saying, he's so mad. He's made two videos about me in two days. I can't wait for the free promotion he gives me for the remove my photo troll. I swear it's too easy sometimes. It's also very easy to type in proper English because obviously it's not your first language. I can tell. I what haven't the even fuck? made the video How yet. How is that? It's oh tr- my god! This dude is such a fucking child. What the fuck? It's not your first language. It's like, what's wrong with that though? Pretty sure Sturge's mom's first language isn't English either. Uh, because because he's Puerto Rican, bud. Oh, is he? Oh, shit. Well, he's half Puerto Rican, but like when people be like, you're a white guy, he's like, I'm Puerto Rican, but I've heard him acknowledge that he's actually, I mean, he's white, you know? Yeah, 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 of course. Bro, after you got corrected and called out for being retarded, good job posting the same thumbnail, though, the video from yesterday. Well, get to making it. You need that promo. I said, yeah, because below average thottery and buttons that say CG on It's true. White Puerto Ricans do exist. Them are definitely worthwhile necessities in this world. My next button. And I respond by saying, sure, as long as you don't directly make money off mm-hmm. of it, ask permission from LG, the one that made it, and include a link to his right. dynastydimes.com with it right here. Consider this our official contract. That's AI, bro. No contract needed. Well, according to you, I need, <laughs> need contracts for stuff. 
apparently you could just take people's stuff and and use it, right? You like to come at me saying I'm doing this stuff, but this isn't even my stuff. This is something that LG made for me. So I'm just yeah. It made you look like a fucking bodybuilder in it. It's ridiculous. It's so hey, like yeah. look at the fucking biceps on. He's dressed like M Bison. Yeah, that's pretty fucking ridiculous. And I will say, if she did try and sell pins with that, and that's somebody else's art, like actual art, not just like some Photoshop bullshit. It's AI art. Is it AI art? Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm pretty she sure for she me. So I'm just that. using the same thing yeah. against you that you use against other people. It's kind of interesting how that works. I, I'm the one apparently trying to tear people down. Meanwhile, people have been trying to tear me down for the last year and a half with a bunch of nonsense. Because, well, hold on. It's not like you were just minding your own business and then it happened. You made a bunch of videos attacking people that didn't like Eric July's comic books and then they responded and then saw you were a fucking unbelievable moron and just kept doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, it's not any deeper than that, dude. It's, yeah, wow. Okay. All right. So as I've shown here, there's been plenty of other things mm -hmm. like chickens in the chat and ended up in Tuesday night's main event when Eric July was in there. Other interviews with mm. Eric July was in there and there were chickens in the chat, things of that nature. I am the one trying to tear people down. Meanwhile, you clowns are literally out here trying to tear people down yeah. constantly. So at the end of the day, I'll at just the end of the day, day yeah, that's a Eric July ism that he uses a lot. At the end of the day. Exposed you know, to at the end of the day. At the yeah. end of the day. Yep. I'll continue to monetize you dummies. And you don't monetize anything, dude. No, you are the one make... being monetized. Yeah, yeah. And I'll just continue very, to make very money strange. off of you. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, turning subscribers, new viewers, turning viewers. If you do like this video, hit the like button. Comment below if you feel about all this. Subscribe for more content. Hit the join button down below if you'd like to become a member for just a dollar a month. If you don't want to spend the book, that's okay too. I just enjoy you watching the videos, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah. Peace. Essentially, bud. It's really funny that he's like just losing his ever loving mind off of this lady. Uh, like, she doesn't have a huge social media presence. No, like, she's she like, I, I, I actually looked into this because uh, I was like, oh, who's he crying about? You know? Yeah. And I looked yeah, it yeah. up, and she doesn't even have any YouTube videos up. All of her videos are on like Daily Motion or something. Yeah. Um, and she's super cute but like uh she only she has like she has 1800 followers to sturgis's 700 but like yeah she doesn't make youtube videos she doesn't make any i don't see any videos at all like she's just sells buttons and like talks about comics yeah why does he care yeah I don't think he really cares. I think he's just trying to make content out of it, but he acts like he really does and that he's doing this good service, uh, promoting all this stuff and everything. He, it's, it's all empty. He it's knows so what weird. he's doing. He knows he's yeah. making content to get attention and views, uh, but he acts like everyone's just attacking him and he's a victim of something. Hello everyone, I'm Renow. Here's here's oh, here's oh, his oh, other oh. video. We are back oh, yet again talking about some more River vs. Tractors. Of course, people have to always act as if I'm be By the way, uh Jeff, just so you know, I I'm gonna probably do some overtime tonight. So like you're welcome to stay as late as you feel you need to. And then uh, um, I'm I'm gonna... a little bit I got a little bit left in me, but I'm 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 pretty uh, I'm pretty like pretty hammered on this fucking Sturgis shit, man. Like, it's draining my life energy. Yeah, yes. Uh, we, yeah, we've we've got some other stuff after this, but yeah, I, I had to Being get to paid the by Eric July, according to these weirdos. We always have these new individuals who want to, of course, start drama. No, if you were getting paid by Eric July, I'd be like, oh, that makes sense, but you're doing this shit for free, which is way more pathetic. <laughs> they want yeah, to no talk kidding. about drama. They want to act like you know, they're not for the drama. They want to continue to flame the drama, and then when they get called No, up, you act like you're not for the drama, but all of your videos are about the drama. Out on their nonsense. They just sit back and play a victim, of course. But we're going to get into a couple of things here with EVS and Queen Mickey and Vonster, because those are the main topics for the video today. Starting, of course, with the Yara number one campaign at $1.340 million. 
9,860 total purchasers. Over 16,600 books have been sold. We've also got Blade Devil 2, Chains of Blood. Back it if you like. I've got all the covers, of course. All four covers. Love Blade Devil 1. All right, so he's going to do this whole... Uh, all right. Actually watches me, someone who actually follows me on Twitter. He does hashtag who is Sturgis, but hashtags like... I always thought the point of a hashtag was to like mark a tweet... Uh, using a hashtag that a lot of other people are using, but he's the only one who does the who is Sturgis thing. He says, Renown, I think you should see what EVS is doing now. This is some effed up stuff. Honestly, it's not that big a deal, but at the same time... It's not that big a deal. It's funny how he he's jump cutting himself now. It does go on to show you what EVS is spending his time on rather than finishing up his books and getting them out to his customers. Because apparently... It didn't take him more than, like, ten minutes to draw that. I like the whole, like, you you guys spend all your time talking about Eric July. It's like, no. Like, people that tweet about Eric July, like, a couple times a week, that doesn't mean that they're spending all their time on it. That is destroying people's livelihoods to just state the facts of, you're not finishing your products, you're focusing on other things, and you're collecting super chats for drama tubing rather than finishing your stuff. It's funny that this Queen Mickey person decided they were going to do some drama nonsense on Twitter and play victim when they get called out. So I said, the funny you thing is, victim. this is once again another self-owned because he can't even sell his own comics for more than what this would probably sell for. Looking at the image, it looks nothing like me. He should have his proofreader, Thor Odinson, out on the job since he did a great job on Cyberfrog. Oh, wait, he didn't? Because he didn't do a great job on Cyberfrog because it was Cyberfrog copies that were not proofread correctly. Okay. And there were spelling errors and even bubbles with no words in them. But I digress. This Queen Mickey person decides they're going to go ahead and tag Eat the Vent Skyver. <laughs> saying, I won't lie. I'm jealous. I'm out here representing CG 100%. This guy tears us down. Who are you? You are a nobody. You're not CG. You're not a comic creator. You're not a comic creator. No, uh, I mean, are Wait. you looking in a mirror talking to yourself right now? <laughs> yeah, dude. First and foremost, that's true. But also, if Comicsgate didn't have people that, like, believed in it and, like, stand for it and, like, would die hard and shit, without the audience, there is no fucking Comicsgate. Like, what an absolute dickhead thing to fucking say. Like, oh, oh, you have to be one of the bigwigs or you're not part of Comicsgate. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> and he's not one of the bigwigs. Just like Riley's no. not a comic creator. Mint Sal is not a comic creator. <laughs> Matt Barr was a comic creator. And he got kicked from CG for those people. And acts God, so many jump cuts. He's so mushed mouth. Like a clown. And he gets an <laughs> Ethan and Van Skyver original sketch. I'm about to go Matt Barr on everyone. Why? Like, you tagged Matt Barr for what? You're basically, again, banning flames, right? Because the, the whole joke apparently oh. is that Matt Barr fights with everybody. So what you what are you saying? You're gonna go and fight with everybody? Is that what you're saying? Because that's is the that joke what you're when it comes to Matt Barr. It's Ethan always saying that Matt Barr is fighting with everybody when he's not fighting with everybody. Because Matt Barr is quick to hit that block button, and me and Matt Barr we converse sometimes on Twitter, and we have our disagreements. But I don't, I don't but. say anything terrible about Matt Barr because clearly me and him are two adults who could have a conversation, and we can have our disagreements and be fine. Most yeah, people are just straight for the attacks on here, and that's why I monetize you dummies. So, of course, you have LG. Shout out to my boy. It says, what do you mean by Renown Zero tearing y'all down? From what I've seen, he's been extremely supportive of those who put out comics that he wants to see CG included. It's also, also it's ironic how EVS puts out this quote-unquote art, but can't produce the comics that other people have paid for. Yeah, because I definitely haven't bought things from like Billy Tucci and Graham Nolan and Andy Smith. But you get the, you get my point. Have, I've have, bought have you books read, from... Have you read any of them? Have you actually read any of them? He he probably hasn't. They're probably nah. like in those little graded packages. Yeah, 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 yeah. This will be a collector's item someday, bud. Yeah, because he, he's been like, yeah, I know I'm going to be able to someday resell Isom. And people are like, how are you going to resell something for more money when it's still available from the publisher for a discounted price? Right. Yeah. Uh, Right. The market yeah. is flooded. There's no demand for it. There's no, it, like... 
yeah, like the he doesn't even understand the basics of collecting and shit. There's a reason why the only like there <clears throat> there is a set amount for every comic that's made in the main publishers and even the, the smaller publishers. There's a set amount that's made, and that's it. Like they don't re-release comic books. They don't. They do collections. They do graphic novels because scarcity is what tells you something has value. It has to be scarcity plus interest. And if like he would just fucking go buy another because you know Eric July is not going to stop printing Isom one and two anytime soon. Like that's money he will lose if he does that. So like it's just going to be available forever. It's never going to be worth anything. DG creators. I've bought books from indie comic creators. I just named Billy Tucci, Graham Nolan, and Andy Smith. I've also got Shane Davis books. I've also got EVS books. I've also got John Millen's books. But apparently I'm tearing people down because I'm exposing their nonsense and saying, hey, where's your product? Hey, where's people's product that they paid for for years now? Please work on your stuff. But I digress. Monster, I can answer this, not crying about it. In fact, I think it's funny, but he's been making vids on me and my campaigns and misrepresenting the facts to tear me down. I've probably made like one or two videos on you, buddy. You're not that important. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Are you You're just important? Yeah, dude, he has these delusions of grandeur that it's just unbelievable. It not, is unbelievable. You're not important enough for me to care. One or two vids, maybe at the very least. Showing your campaign slipping in sales is misrepresenting you, yet you do the same thing for the rip first. Then you shifted the goalpost by saying it's not a combined universe, as if that mattered. DC is a combined universe. Sales for Superman and Wonder Woman aren't, a, aren't as high as Batman. Same goes for Spider-Man. It's funny how I can flip your logic and you get butt hurt, but you had no answer for that. Of course, this person, again, these people are talking about me in this thread. I also got tagged, like I said. I got tagged by LG in this thread, so I have the right LG is a, like a total dipshit. to be there. That's one if of his I wasn't buddies. tagged in thread, I wouldn't be there. I wouldn't even know the thread. L- it, the funny thing is that, like, LG is a black guy, and when uh, Sturgis is talking to LG, all of a sudden he starts talking all hood. <laughs> Dude, it was so hilarious. He was talking to another friend of his that's also black, and he was like, he was like, people ask why I talk like Eric July. It's because I'm from the hood like Eric July. Oh, and and his friend yeah. was like, "Really?" And he's like, "Well, I grow up next to the projects, bud. Next to the projects. Yeah, yeah. Exist- about a mile away. It's so cringy yeah. to even say that, even if it was true. Even if he grew oh, yeah. up in the projects, it is so cringy. Did mm-hmm. had the tag not even been there? I don't know who you thought you were, but you talk like Eric July because you were parasocially connected to him. He is the." replacement father figure in your life Sturges that's what it is you know he fantasizes about being black you're not going to answer my question about EVS saying I deserve because we'll be like we'll be like Eric Eric July's comic book sucks and he's like why do you why are you so critical of the black man he's referred to him as the black man the only one it's like who said anything about him being black we just said his comic book sucks yeah (laughs) He'd rather be blacked. Oh, oh, uh, I get that, bud. Uh, to be uh, I got yeah, that reference, bud. I t- I quote tweeted this. I said, "So you you're okay with this?" This chick never answered. This chick never answered in that quote tweet. I asked again in this right here. I asked her again. Is she for me getting doxxed? Never got a response. All I got was the same. What? Go away. Like what? I mean, who ca- why what? ask what? that? Yeah, does she have anything to do with it? I don't think so. He's just going through like all these terrible things that happen to you, bud. Do you, you support them because you're saying yeah, things that don't? That's like? what he's doing. Fuck. He, he's taking shit that had nothing to do with this person that he's currently feuding with and somehow attributing old shit to her. This is fucking for crazy. some reason. 3,000 times because you're trying to play victim now. When I You play victim all the fucking time literally what's happening right now you are so low iq it's unbelievable we asked you a question of do i deserve to be doxxed according to EVS, i I do you're not welcome here go be a lame goofball on some else's thread some else's thread because 
English clearly isn't your first language. That's not an insult. I mean, I think that's racist. that's pretty racist, dude. She's yeah. Asian. It's yeah, just, uh, racism. It's clearly not. You. I, it sounds like it was though, and that's why you felt the need to say that it wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Because if someone said something like that to Eric July, you'd be like, oh, that's because, man, Ripperverse fans are so quick to call people racist against Eric July. It happens oh, all yeah. the time. Oh, yeah. Nothing and present no exceptional talent. Come back when you really show talent. Do you understand? Go away. What talent do you have besides showing your titties and a wall of shit that you probably never read? That's a talent. Wait, Sturgis. All you do is show your fucking flobby man titties and you make these videos which are a wall of crap. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? And yeah, that's a talent. <laughs> Having boobs is a talent. <clears throat> right, Sturgis does have boobs, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got fucking... See, here's milkers. the thing. Sturgis simps for girls that that show off their body and shit, too. It's, yeah. It, it, his his it, allegiances are so shallow... That Listen, like yeah, it, it, it didn't, they didn't support him being doxxed, bud. They they they're pure, pure and and sweet girls that don't want me doxxed, bud. And that's why it's okay. Yeah. By the way, I want to titty fuck Sturgis. <laughs> I just got to put that out there because I think that at some point maybe it'll just come back to some really good content when he finds out that I desperately, desperately want to pinch his nipples together, make a deep valley on his chest. Of like lube and and man hair. Do you think he's hairy? Oh yeah, he's hairy. No, he's not. And, no, no, he's not. No, no. Oh, there's really a no. video of him like playing with his nipples and stuff. He has almost no chest hair. Wow. So he's all slick, like a slip and slide. You know what you should say to him before <laughs> you do that, though? Hey, huh. make that white stuff come out again. Yeah, he's gonna say that to me. He wants a pearl necklace. You're gonna. You're going to say that to him then. What? He would say. Oh, he's going to make my white stuff come yeah. out again. Uh, yeah. Got it. I, I feel like I'm losing brain cells right now, but you know what? It's all right. It's okay. I don't care. Okay. Like, you aren't anybody. You have no following. You're, no, you're I like not how, really yeah, much of anything. This is how low IQ Sturges is. It's like, you got to be somebody. For someone to care what you have to say, but it's like you're nobody. Yeah. So by your own definition, no, like you're just as worthless as anybody else. Yeah. Social media is- engagement does not does not place value on. No. No. I mean, like. No. no. You are not your follower count. You yes. are not your subscriber number. You are not your place in the fucking algorithm. Jesus fucking Christ yourself you really have no talent to show yourself the fact that i have the fact that i'm on youtube i record my own videos i do my own thumbnails I so he is about to jerk himself off right now i do oh, all yeah. this stuff I edit my own video your thumbnails are fucking terrible by the way uh, like really sh- like a middle schooler could do better thumbnails than you yeah they're really fucking bad I have to do all the uploading, tagging, and all that other stuff. I do all that oh, myself. That, that takes oh my a God. level of talent that you have to have. And just dis- oh my God, <laughs> no, it serious? doesn't. That's not talent. Did you just argue that you're talented and then list all this stuff that you're terrible at? <laughs> well, not only that, but those aren't talents. Those are skills. Those are skills. Yeah, because like, talents are natural, right? And skills are acquired, right? Right. right. And I mean, like, you know, they, he can't say that he has a natural talent for making videos because he is a charisma black fucking hole. But all the rest of it is just learned, you know, l- learned skills, like learn how to upload, learn how to edit, learn how to do this. Learn yeah, how to and do sometimes that. your talents can but, help you with skills. Right. Sure. Yeah. It doesn't it not it does not mean that even though, you know, those skills doesn't mean that you're talented at them either or that right. you're any good at. This is you know. this is one of his thumbnails, okay? He's acting like he's this is part of his talent. <laughs> and I he, I think he's even like Asianing her. You bully, you pay now. He put like, a crack pipe in her mouth. 
Yeah, and he's like being racist about it too. Like that's that's like some yeah the you oh, pay now yeah, yeah I too buku kind of shit. Like that's very fucking racist. Dude. Wow, we now in Zewo. racist little fuck. <laughs> it's he he put the text. First of all, the text is all smushed together like this. Um, yeah, renowned goes full scorched earth. Yeah, does he? When? When in the video does he do And that? then he puts Moses in this for some reason? Why? I don't... Why is Moses in this? I don't know. And then he's got I... peanut butter on <laughs> Ethan Van Skyver's crotch? Oh, that's 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 Ethan Van Skyver, okay. Yeah, that's I Ethan know. Van Skyver. Uh, I didn't know what the like. Um, okay. Let's see here. Discipline. You have to have talent and discipline to do those things properly while working around with YouTube's algorithm. Oh. But so I ask other people who are better at this than I am, a lot better than I am at this, for tips on how to do it better. So <laughs> I've progressed and gotten better at it. MSK says, why are you being this way? You're way better than talking to people like that. Someone has to tell this person the hard truth. Merit, hard work, talent, and skill is the way. He demonstrates none of those things. So until he does, he needs to get away from me as you play victim. Like I said, you're playing victim in this You thread. do it, All too. I was Your last video was about how you've been the victim so much, and you've been treated so terribly by bullies on the internet, and you don't do anything wrong. You're just talking about how you like comics, and that's all you're doing. So I don't know how you can say this. Ask you, do I deserve to be doxxed according to EBS? So, Why would you ask? Say, like, you don't know about any. Who cares? You know, those things, you know nothing about me. You and how were you doxxed? Information from a biased individual about who I am. He's, you asked me about what he's been doxxed. I don't he think hasn't. he's ever been. He hasn't. Yeah, I think he's just fucking somebody. Terrified. Somebody made a fake Twitter account pretending to be his mother. And talking about how they were ashamed of him. And yeah. all he did was draw more attention to it. If he had just ignored it, then no one would have seen the account. But he and and he he blamed me for it. He blamed DP for it. He had no yeah. evidence of any kind. But then because he decided to tag me and blame me for it, he made me talk about it and draw more yep. attention to it. Yep. No one would have I'm, even known it was there. He would rather play the victim than protect his mother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He has absolutely no self-control. It's the same thing that we were just talking about, like Shandy and Rev and shit. Like, people cannot fucking control themselves. Right. It is so crazy. So crazy. Right. Yeah. <sighs> What I can do and I said my entire YouTube channel is all done by me I edit my own videos I make my own thumbnails and do all my videos with no script my videos don't have a script my videos are having a script it means you actually put more work into your video like yeah now yeah. some people can read scripts well and make it sound natural and some people just sound like they're reading I mean your videos do kind of have a script though it's whatever you wrote on Twitter that's your script that's for your video Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, his videos are scripted. Okay. Yeah, mostly by other people, because at least half of it is whatever someone else wrote on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, Very shame. Very yeah. lazy. Scripted. This is all from the brain. It's the. It's from the brain. A script is from the brain too. You, uh, you actually put more time into it. Well, He's I'm from the point. emo howling wolf school of like, I don't script, maggot, maggot. <laughs> Where's my script? Where's Is my it? script now? I don't even know how to read or write, maggot! You 3D shit this ass! You 3D shit this ass! <laughs> you sound like a demon baby! <laughs> Me? Yeah! <laughs> All from my head when I'm talking about stuff in videos. Just checked it out, not good. That's fine, you're allowed to have that opinion. That's pretty... Okay, fine. Oh, thank you. That's Here's the thing. You. You're playing with Pete. He just did a, that's just your opinion, bud. You can have your yeah. opinion. Playing games with people's livelihoods. Kind of like how people are playing with people's livelihoods when it comes to the Ripperverse or 
me. No, when no, no. So, it's not playing with so. someone's livelihood to be like, I don't like this comic book. When you put a yeah. when you put out a piece of art of any kind, people are allowed to say, I don't like that. I think it sucks. They can be as mean as they want. You can either respond or ignore it. It's not a. It's not this like weird no no, and it's not like hoping the people that do it are gonna end up like homeless on the street. That's not yeah, yeah, how yeah. it's work. That's not how it works. If that were the case, I could be like, how many employees does Disney have? You hate Disney and you want them to go away. So you want all the people that work there to, to fail and end up homeless and, and living on the street. God damn. It's funny. God damn. He, the, Eric July, part of how he made a name for himself was complaining about popular media that he didn't like. Yeah. And and yeah, it's, like it's politics. Yeah. Right. So how how is it unacceptable for people to do that to him? Uh because uh he's him and <laughs> there's no such thing as self awareness in this dumb fuck's brain. Like exactly. you know. He just he can't he, he he is physically incapable. There's a lot of Disney shit I think sucks too. Oh sure. But not sure. for the same yeah. reasons. Usually yeah. it's just predictable writing, uh, oversaturation. Yeah. Uh, Fucking uh, those, the, the goddamn live action remakes are all shit. They got, Terrible. you know what? Honestly, though, I was never a fan of, I, I honestly was not a fan of like the Disney princess animated musicals. That, that was never my thing. Uh, yeah. I was, I was never into it. Um, I mean, when I, kid i just watched anything i liked disney i liked a couple i liked a couple disney animated things i liked the disney robin hood uh, with all with all i didn't like aladdin uh, so i liked no? the disney yeah is so it? this is what i liked hold on i'll tell you what i liked so i liked the disney robin hood with the anthropomorphic uh robin hood characters i liked uh the sword and the stone i liked uh uh, uh, I liked the Black Cauldron. Black Cauldron is goaded. And, as a and Fantasia, I liked Fantasia, but that yeah. was about it. A lot of the other stuff I just wasn't into. I I didn't like it. Um, I I did not like Aladdin. I did not like Little Mermaid. I didn't like The Lion King. I didn't like it, like it's just not my thing. I just um, liked it when I was a kid, and then uh, I I don't know. I didn't really think about them forever, and then I. Randomly was hanging out with a coworker like later on in life and he was very gay and very into Disney and he was like, Oh, have you not watched these since they're a kid? They're so great. And I'm like, Okay, cool. So we watched one and I'm like, Ah, it doesn't translate, dude. It just doesn't translate. I'm yeah. I'm not really a big fan of musicals in general. So if you take either I think you, that's why. If you take like a story and focus it around uh, like it's a musical and it's like a, a lot of these stories were already in folklore before they were made so you kind of yeah. already knew the story at least to a certain degree sure sure and it's like i i kind of felt like they were more geared towards girls with like the pretty princess and that kind of thing uh and i liked you know Ninja Turtles and like more more like boy focused kind of stuff as as a kid. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess I can see that. I, I'm I'm mostly thinking like really, really fucking young, super, super young. As soon as like I could watch GI Joe and Transformers and shit, I, like I didn't give so a fuck. I really that, liked. You know? uh, I, I liked some of the Don Bluth stuff. I noticed that it was very similar because he did. Well, Don Bluth animated the Disney Robin Hood and Sword in the Stone. As far as, as far as I know, he was like one of the head animators on that. But I liked right. a, I liked a lot of his stuff because it was it was very similar to Disney. Like the animation was very similar, but the the themes of the stories just seemed better to me. Like even all all dogs go to heaven. I think he did the Land Before Time. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, Land Before Time was really fucking good. Yeah, um, Secret of Nim. Yeah, uh, he did. Uh, he also did Titan A.E. 
also great fucking yeah. movie. One of the best, one of the best animated movies Can ever made. Did Bulldogs is go to heaven? Fucking rad movie. Holy shit. Maybe he didn't do Old Dogs Go to Heaven. Was Oh, no, no. It is Don Bluth. Yep. Yeah, Don Bluth had... See, Don Bluth, like, I, I think a lot of people think a lot of Don Bluth stuff is Disney. And if they didn't look into it... I mean, some of it actually was Disney, but then he quit and formed his own studio and made a lot of good stuff on his own. So... Yeah, I can see that. I mean, like for a while there was I oh, Five Goes West. I would, that's the one that I was actually about to An American uh, Tale. American the original Tale. was Yeah, um I I did think American Tale for the longest time when I was a really young kid and I didn't know any better. I thought that was a Disney yeah, movie. Yeah. Cuz it I mean yeah. it was one of Disney's head animators going rogue. Yeah, here's yeah. uh here's his filmmaking credits. Yeah, American Tale, Secret of Nim. Uh, huh. Land Before Time, All go- Dogs Go to Heaven, Rockadoodle, Thumbelina, Troll in Central Park, The Pebble and the Penguin, Anastasia. That was the most Disney like movie, like the Disney princess kind of style. Yeah. yeah. Um, Titan AE. Here's so he was on the animation department for Sleeping Beauty. Uh, wow, the Archie show in the 60s. So it was like the animated. Archie television series. That's crazy. Yeah, he's pretty old. Uh, so, like, see Disney Robin Hood in the 70s? Yeah. Uh, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 for Disney. Uh, Rescuers, wow. Yeah, Pete's yeah. Dragon. So, like, the that was, like, live action. Uh, with Whoa. Se- he was, like, part of the animation unit for uh, Xanadu. I fucking yeah. love Xanadu. You've yeah, that's, Xanadu, Ab- right? that's Abba, right? No, that, there's a there's an Abba song called Xanadu, but no, 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 no. Oh, it's, it's uh, Olivia Newton-John and ELO. Okay, <laughs> yeah, dude, they, this I, this movie is so fucking crazy. It's absolutely insane. Hmm. I, I I love it. It's terrible, but it's great. Damn. And then the, uh, if anyone who was in a an arcade in the 80s and 90s remembers the Dragon's Lair in Space Ace, uh, Laserdisc arcade games, mm-hmm. it was the first time you saw like real like film quality animation in a video game. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, back to Sturgis whining. And people try to get my. Twitch channel uh, take, taken down because well, I have an opinion they disagree. We didn't. Okay, hold on. No. <laughs> we set the bait for you to break TOS, and you did. It's not your opinion. Come on, dude. Yeah. We yeah. wish or something of that nature. I don't know because that's never happened before to me. Like legitimately well, happened to me because apparently showing your campaigns that are late is attacking someone's livelihood and playing games. That's a bit on the side of hyperbole. Since when is making videos that people are watching, by the way, taking food off someone else's plate and playing children's games? Yeah, because the pie is not fixed, as they say, right? There's enough money to go around for everyone who wants it. Because he, he because he crapping on real pro. Everyone doesn't get a trophy. He wants to be recognized, put in the work. Would you hire him to make this for you? <laughs> She's talking shit about his shitty thumbnails. It's funny. That's I wouldn't really... want anyone to hire me. I'd rather work for myself. Oh, come on, dude. You know, here's another backstory on Surges. You're going to love this, Jeff. So he grew up in New York City, okay, in, yes. the, in the Bronx. Okay. And, and now he lives in Florida. He moved there because his job wanted him to get vaccinated, and he didn't want to. So he moved to Florida so he didn't have to get vaccinated. He moved all the way there and, like, got a roommate and a new job and everything just so he didn't have to get the vaccine. I hate this dipshit. <laughs> I hate this dipshit so much. He's a symptom much. of what you've you've talked about the last few times you've been on the show, where yeah. like it it became a political issue and all these dipshits that think they're conservative and follow Trump or whatever, it oh, be- yeah. it became like a political statement rather than a public health argument. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah, it, like none of none of that, none of it actually means anything. Like you know, the even if you could debunk everything, it wouldn't matter. Like it's it's about identity at this point. 
like that you have yep. to be an anti-vaxxer. Yep. It is all identity, and uh, it's it's fucking nuts. Which is here. crazy because I know that there's a lot of Trumpers in the military, and it's not optional in the military, like at all, to get vaccinated. Uh, you know what's strange though? There are a lot less hardcore Trumpers in the military than you'd think. Like a lot. You less. said hardcore though. I, I there's probably yeah. I mean, there's a lot of very conservative people in the military. Like sure. Uh, sure. there's I mean I I'm I'm fairly certain I I think they just do it cuz they have to uh, otherwise they have to leave the military. You right. Know? It right. would be it would be uh, very bad if all of a sudden a bunch of people in our military came down with measles or whatever, you know? I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, man. I mean, like, yeah. I, I just, I remember when I lived on a military base and uh, everyone that was over 30, 35 was at least vaguely conservative. But anybody who was under that was just like a fucking party animal. I mean, That's just how people they, are. They recruit know. from like they go to high schools in in the middle of nowhere and recruit there, you know. Oh, and oh yeah. they 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 get these kids from rural areas that are yeah. very conservative areas, the, the red areas in most states. And, uh, you know, they recruit them at 17 years old to sign their life away for four for at least four years. Um, I will say anybody who did join the military and then refused to get vaccinated, either that was a failure of their mother, their commanding officer, or they just have such brain damage that they don't understand what the fuck they're trying to do. I don't know. To be a fucking soldier, like the point of like giving yourself to that type of service and what they hammer into you. Like I, I, I can't even imagine somebody being like, actually, no, I may be <laughs> going to the military to serve my country and maybe give up my life for my country, but I don't want to get autism. So I'm not going to take this little shot that everybody, everybody I know and I respect tells me is safe. Like you have to be a fucking moron or your parents or your commanding officer are a titanic fucking dipshit and led you astray. Cause like the logic don't fucking work, man. It doesn't fucking work. Which is why I do all of the stuff myself at the very least. Maybe I'll get an editor who can also do thumbnails, but at the, at the very least, honestly, I'd rather just work for myself. Why would LG have to hire me when he can do better thumbnails than I can? <laughs> who cares? A lot of people's thumbnails are very basic, a thumbnail like this one on the left is similar to a thumbnail you would see on a, like an Angry Joe video. Obviously, he's been okay. doing it a lot longer than me, so he has better knowledge on how to do placement and, and all that. But I love how he uses people with like the tops of their heads cut off. <laughs> like J.K. Yeah. Rowling right there has like the total like top of her head cut off. It's so that's weird. weird. But if people are watching the video, that's cool. I appreciate that they watch the video. No one would hire you. Now you for a third time, go away. I no longer wish to highlight your low-level work. Again, I'm just reading the tweets on the screen, by the way, as they are presented. Savage. This thread yeah. was about me. I was tagged here. My quote-unquote low-level work gets viewed as shocking, I know. Why don't you stop being a drama queen and acting like you're superior to me? So all you're saying is going go away because, again, I was tagged in this thread. I'd be like, I'm not acting. This thread was talking about me. And a sketch made of me, apparently. But whatever you say, LG asks Vonster. A campaign of mine that was selling only 500 books sold 415. And he was comparing that to other campaigns of mine with higher prices and thousands of customers to make it look like I was failing. For someone who tells people to do their research, he could have done some of his own. I said, so. This is who Sturges is whining about. She's so cute. Some, She's super cute. Some random woman that's talking trash to him. He could just ignore it. I mean, like, if she's so irrelevant, why is he making two videos about her? I don't understand. I think it's because he's so threatened by women that he has to bully women. Why Maybe. do you have to bully, bully that much? Maybe. Hey, uh, 
So if you only sold 415 out of 500, you must be failing by your logic. No, we were happy with the results. That was a great boost to our funding to make our full graphic. No, fair point. Now I asked him, so are you losing fans with every campaign if not everyone is buying everything you make? To where he, he actually said, he gets it. Ripper versus losing thousands of fans with every campaign. And you're big mad to show up and show up to cry in all my threads and smear lies to cope. You're not losing fans, you're gaining them with every subscription to my website and sale because your books are awesome and not YouTuber merch. So, hmm, I wonder where you got the YouTuber merch talking point from. Oh, yeah, you got that from EVS because he's the one, that first one I've ever heard say that nonsense. So, you want to talk about how I have a savior? Meanwhile, EVS, you pull the exact words from him as far as YouTuber merch. So, losing fans every campaign, if not everyone's buying everything you make. So you shifted the goalpost to something Eric said, and I said, you're going to shift the goalpost, and LG just asked you what I presented you with. You I, I was going to, I was like, man, I should just tweet at Sturgis that he's a dipshit, but he has me blocked, so. Yeah. He blocks everybody. He, he shifted the goal on fucking uh, Twitch, too. Post when I asked Great. you a question. I asked you to clarify what you said. He That's crazy how when you block someone on Twitch... Like, they can't even watch your stream, let alone chat. Yeah. Like, it just, like, totally blocks them from everything. That's crazy. It's kind of awesome, actually. I think it's YouTube pretty... was like that at one point. I could have swore that there was a time where I was blocking people on YouTube and it would, like, they couldn't even watch the stream. Yeah, yeah. At one point. I, that sounds right. Here. I'm not sure that. In regards to your own stuff, why are you dodging? That's why I don't care about what you have to say, really. Because you just one of those people that dodge whenever I present you with a question about something. But let's listen to EVS, of course, cope with the fact that he believes that everyone around Eric is, is paid. We're all freaking paid to, to, to shill or whatever the heck. Like I said, if you were paid, I'd get it more. It wouldn't be as pathetic because you're getting paid. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, you could actually have somebody could find some respect in that. Yeah, like right. I've shilled all types of products. Yeah, fuck I it. was getting paid. I don't normally shill free. I don't shill products for free. Talking about because like this person right here, his name is, you know, you can see it there, right? Chuck Dixon is bad because he works for Ripperverse now, even though people have revered him as one of the big, greatest Batman writers ever. Because the people that we just mentioned, uh, you know, are bullies. So now he's he's calling he's calling. Uh, so Ethan Van Skyver is calling Sturges and his uh, people bullies. Okay. They are okay. kind of cry bullies. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I it's kind of weird. I don't. I haven't kept up with uh with Ethan Van Shriver in a while. But like when he first came on the scene, I uh, if he was saying that kind of stuff, I'd be like, should you really be talking about it? But maybe he's different these days. Well, so I, don't... I mean, he's still like a you know like a culture war guy. Like yeah. I don't agree with him politically at all. Sure. Um, well, I mean, if, if but, he's if he's shitting on Eric July, there's got to be something redeemable. Well, about they him, though, they right? had a so like so Ethan is also a fan of Vito and Dick Masterson. <laughs> so Ethan was hanging out with Dick Masterson and being honest about what he didn't like about Eric's comic, and Eric got in his DMs and was like, "Oh, well, if you're gonna keep doing this, maybe bad things might happen." You know, like may maybe maybe something bad might happen to you. Like maybe not like a physical threat, but like uh, cause they cause Eric had hired Ethan to draw one of the Isom covers, and it sold. It was like one of the top selling covers because he's a good artist. You know, right? Yeah, so, he's objectively good artist yeah, for sure. Yeah. So uh, so he took that as at least like a threat, like a a threat to like his financial well-being or whatever so he leaked the dms and that started like he leaked the dm like look at eric trying to shake me down like a mob boss basically no. like way oh my god because it was like oh this is a nice restaurant you got here it'd be a shame if something were to happen to it uh-huh you know like uh -huh. that kind of thing so wow and who are the bullies you speak of eric July is such a shit what the fuck Hey, renowned zero. <laughs> I appreciate you. Keep doing what you're doing, dummy. Uh, you know, hail the Lord, student. Yes, keep doing what you're doing, dummy. 
because all you're doing is making it so that less people buy your stuff, less people are interested in your stuff, because this is all you know how to do now. Drama tube and be a huge bitch. God, who I mentioned at the beginning of this video, keep doing it. Keep going real hard on my detractors so I can just sit there and pretend that, like, you know, I don't understand why it's happening. Yeah, I don't I do not do that, bro. I don't have to pretend. Here's the thing. <laughs> I could be hard putting hitting a... Hard-hitting rebuttal. Hard-hitting. Wow. God damn. Post, like I oh. said before. I could be putting up a post of me just appreciating my viewers for watching my videos... And I'll still get people on there. So it's like, it doesn't matter what I post. You're, I'm always going to have clowns like See, you. See, he did the same thing to Ethan Van Skyver, who's like, do you support me getting doxxed? But then Ethan Van Skyver was like, uh, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't dox you, but it's kind of funny. And I don't really give a shit if someone did it. <laughs> you kind of deserve it, is what he said to yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, who gives a fuck? It's one of those stupid things where, like, the the whole doxing thing. A lot of it comes down to people wanting it to be a performative thing, right. you know? Like, you know, yeah, you, you have to be absolutely this or absolutely that. But like, if somebody that you really fucking hate, something bad happens to them, you can performatively say like, "Oh, that's too bad," but also internally be like, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah." I mean, sucks for you, but. <laughs> but that's just you, being honest you know what i'm that's, saying bro you know what i'm saying bro that's just being fucking honest and like if sturgis could stop for half a second to think about it i'm sure he could think of examples that he does that as well well you know? he never looks in inward never. no he definitely doesn't nope i sturgis is melting my brain ben i am i i i might have to tap out I, that's I fine think yeah that's perfectly okay. fine <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going for a little while. Uh, I'm. I'm also trying to get to thirty percent. If anyone's out there, you got a couple extra bucks to support the show. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for a little while. Gotta. Gotta. Gotta get the ball rolling. You know what I'm gotta saying? Grind. Gotta grind. I got to. Well, if any of you DP fam out there need uh, legal representation, notice I did not say good. <laughs> legal representation uh feel free to get a hold of my firm um uh naked and laughing His sucks firm Shiller. buttocks uh, i want sturgis i do to... spend shilling products classics such as blue chew blue chew mountain dew game fuel me undies and more my favorite was casper mattress i got a free uh king size mattress pretty uh, badass yeah oh yeah that was sweet um, hell yeah yeah. All right. I love you guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Jeff. See you next time. All right. So Jeff gone. We're going to keep going. We're going to switch to this view. We also did uh, Tipsy Elves Christmas, Ugly Christmas Sweaters. We did, uh, we even did uh, uh, Mac Weldon. We did um, Vegas.com. That was an early one. Um. Oh, there was a there was a bunch of them. There was a my bookie. It was like a gambling website. Uh, we did like an e sig too for a little while. On my posts, moving on. I responded like I said. That's interesting because I've never once said they shouldn't have a business in comics or shouldn't be allowed at conventions. That's I funny because I did not say that, bud. So yeah, we're at twenty one point four one percent. I'm I'm trying to get to thirty. I think we can do it. If I stay up all fucking night, I'll do it. All right, guys, I'll do it. I'm that crazy. Okay, I'm that crazy. I sit. You know how many hours I spend in this chair? I'm that crazy now. My butt is asleep. That means it's just numb and I can sit here all night now. You're down a single person. You're a fence sitter. You were into the whole fanning the flames of drama between CG and Eric July. You fan the flames of drama. Your channel is a comics gate rip averse drama channel. It's not. I mean, yeah, you make a, vi a video here and there about something kind of different, but not really. I like it how it shows here that he has Ethan Van Skyver blocked. If you look like up here, you can see the red blocked. 
Oh yeah. I, I by the way, I, I see people in the chat mentioning Vance Global. We still have that, by the way. There's a link uh in the in the description where it says follow the link and use code peasants at checkout to get twenty percent off your order. You can still go there and get twenty percent off your order. Um I uh they sent me this really cool uh vape battery because it like helps protect your cartridge. The, shru- the the company that makes the uh, fungus related uh, edibles, <laughs> they um, they do not yet have an affiliate program. <laughs> That's okay. If you're sorry that you missed most of the show, you can make it up to me by throwing in a couple bucks. Hey, you know what? You may not have missed most of the show. Maybe I'll go <coughs> for another four hours. Who knows? Where were you when your cult leader said I deserve to be doxxed by simply disagreeing with the way he was acting? Even after he said that, I defended their ability to appear at C2E2. Ethan, Shane, and John have all disrespected me as a customer and played victim when people didn't back them upon their cancellation. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. If you want to pause and read what this says on the screen, you can do that. Where you at? Dude, you get on here and insult people all the time here that doesn't like Eric's comic. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, you do. That's why you're... anybody. That's how this all started, dude. Dude, you get on here. This person made the point. Dude, you get on here and assault people all the time. Uh, all the time on here that doesn't like Eric's comic. <laughs> this person did not write very well, but I'm interpreting what they said. But it's true. He it doesn't like Eric's comic. You fucking moron. What, what? I do do is I say to people... Your opinion is your opinion. You're allowed to not like something. Find the fucking tweet. Find the clip. Find something where I actually insult someone for not liking Eric's comic. Because I know you're full of shit. Uh, We made a video saying that we didn't like Eric's comic. And you made a video responding to us. We had no idea who you were. You made a video responding to us calling us fat insulting us instead of replying to what we were saying you just insulted us everyone knows this you're you're so full of shit it's unbelievable shit i know you're full of shit no you are full of shit everyone saw that just like all you retards are full of shit literally defending myself here right I'm literally defending myself here. And what 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 are you Wee. saying? I'm fanning the flames of drama. Yep. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Calling bud. out your bullshit. Because again, you are yet another person who is trying to sell a product to somebody and yet you're acting like a fucking asshole. I'm not sitting up here disrespecting potential customers. I don't Shit, go to man. my viewers and do that. I see all the people that say the nasty stuff they say in my comments. And I respond accordingly. I can respond nasty back to those types of people as well. Just like you idiots are always in my comments section constantly talking nonsense. So I respond accordingly and call you a fucking retard. I'm sorry you don't like it. That ain't my problem. I digress. Because of I course, digress. Like I, said, I digress. This chick didn't even respond. She didn't even bother to respond to my question. So obviously, I am going to assume that you don't care if I get doxxed either. So let's go ahead and do that because that's apparently the world we live in now. And yet it would do nothing because this person says, I, you could call me names of the facts or the story's arguments. You don't have any arguments. There are no arguments to be made. Monster MD, Terror in the Trenches, and Psycho Kills are not part of the same universe as Ripperverse. Monster MD and Terror in the Trenches have yet to have an issue too. Psycho Kills is limited to 500 copies at $20. Okay, and Terror in the Trenches is going to do what? The first one did 96k. Do you think that you think the second one's going to do 96k the way you're acting? You I don't think so. Take a look at Callum's corner. Tic Tac head low cow. 
He does some pretty cool holiday vlogs uh, and also does streams that get trolled. We actually uh, covered him back in the early days of DP. And we uh, we said that he looked like Don Flamenco. And people photoshopped him to look like they photoshopped his head on Don Flamenco. Um, let me see. Yeah, here it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I found it. Hold on. I found this old uh this old Reddit post. God, that was unbelievable how I found that. All right, here it is. Right here. The real Don Flamenco was on Drunken Peasants a while back. This was like five years ago someone posted this. My head does not look like a sodding Tic Tac. See? Huh. I literally found the picture of Don Flamenco and, like, put it next to him. That's him, right? Don Flamenco. But yeah, I could check them out. Thanks for helping me get to 22.52%. We're marching our way. Or Ben Solo. Couldn't tell cause I just don't know. Ben's playing on the guitar was just amazing. That's a star. One E minor 7. It goes right with C11. Would you say that it takes you to heaven? My friend guitar is a blessing ninja man. Thank you ninja man. That was very poetic of you. I appreciate it. And and now we're even closer, 23%. So I do not think so. And I said, and yet it would do nothing but put money in my pocket. Your insults do literally He does this like I make money off of you. Like his thing is like even if he makes two pennies, that's making money, bud. So it doesn't matter if other people make more money from him than he does from them. He made money, bud. Hey, make that white stuff come out again. Nothing to me. The fact is, Isom does not equal Alpha Core Yaira, just like Batman does not equal Superman or Wonder Woman. But let's not talk about what I actually said, which was not everyone shows up for everything because you fucking retards always seem to take me out of context and don't actually listen to anything I say because you don't actually care about what I have to say. My viewers care what I have to say. They listen to everything I say clearly and understand. They listen it. to everything you say. And they understand that I'm not sitting here Telling anybody to cancel nobody. I'm not telling anyone to boycott anybody. I'm not telling anybody you can't like a care you can't like a, a comic or a person. I'm not doing any of that wild shit. Y'all sit up here and act like Eric is the funny mustache. Uh, I just went to uh Callum's Twitter account and he follows drunken peasants, probably from he probably started following us back in the day when we first uh like watched his videos man of ww2 they are in a shared universe but batman outsells every other dc character apply the same logic to every comic company which y'all won't apply that to y'all you won't apply that to any other indie comic right you only apply it to the ripperverse because it's the only company that you hate spider-man outsells every other marvel property but the villains like venom carnage lobo etc are in a shared universe the marvel comics are supposed to be in a shared universe but peter parker spider-man is the one that sells the most you can notice how low iq individuals can't actually argue what i said they can only spew bs from their mouth you're too unintelligent to say anything <sighs> worth a damn to anyone if you want to use that logic why didn't the same people show up for all the different versions of spider-man since it's all in the same universe peter parker is the spider-man that everyone shows up for they still can't answer this simple question of why does Superman and Wonder Woman not sell as well as Batman if they're He's all, always yelling. all part of DC in the same universe? Same goes for Spider-Man. They cannot seem to answer this question. They like to sit up here and act as if the same people are going to buy Isom, the same people are going to buy Alpha Core, the same people are going to buy Yaira, the same people are going to buy Gooding. And all these same people count this man's money with every fucking campaign. It's fucking gay. And it's By the way, I have this coupon code right now. 
for schedule 35 uh but it can only be used four times so uh if anyone uh anyone out there know what schedule 35 is it's uh it's a place where you can get fungal refreshments bitch made but apparently saying that you're bitch made because you count another man's money constantly is wrong. It hurts their feelings and their livelihoods. Fuck off. You mean the way I've always talked? Because this guy says, talk like a black guy. Like, does a, does a, I guess that's supposed to be kind of racist. I mean, you did a thing where you made an Asian girl talk like, you pay now like that. So, I mean, are you, did, did you just do? Uh, what you're calling out here? Are you saying that black guys are the only guys that use slang? You mean the way I've always talked? Like how you weirdos get offended by the slang of pull up and air out? Like how MFers have always said pull up to the crib? This is a new language for me. I've been creating trading cards for my original character was hoping for a professional opinion. What do you think? And what do you do? You go ahead and tag all the CG pros, quote unquote pros, because that's what you're doing. You're sucking up to people si similar to how a Richard Embryo would always tag the big CG guys whenever he needed a promotion for his book. So I said, you spend more time trying to impress grown men with your trash AI as I just continue to live rent-free in your head. Or live in your head rent-free. You understand people like Forbes, <laughs> right? LG, show this man how it's done. It's not like you haven't already tried to pass yourself off as a masculine individual with your, with the name Thor Odinson. You ooze so much soy and jealousy, you can fill the world's oceans. Because this is an individual who, of course, flip-flopped from liking to hating the Ripperverse, right? Because EVS obviously told him to, or he just changed his mind for that reason. Because EVS said it was bad, so he said it was bad. You He's do the same thing. P you're told something's good by someone you respect and admire so so you think you you're just like oh this is good because so and so says it's good sat up here and said that nerd rod sit here you know the guy on fnt doesn't promote indie stuff meanwhile he promoted a man named george who's now called george the giant slayer on youtube george morillo who was inspired by Gary to create his own YouTube channel and write his own book. So you're telling me he's not promoting independence. Meanwhile, George Morillo an independent. Make it make sense. That's why you're so offended by AR. They're slightly more creative than 3D assets. So this is what I'm going to do. If any, So I have this coupon code, but it can only be used four times. And you have to have never ordered from Schedule 35 before. Okay? But if you use it, you'll get 20% off your first order. The first four people that successfully use it. It's a crazy code number. I'm just going to drop it in the chat. Let's see if I can. Uh... There it is. I'll put it. Uh, yeah, schedule 35. Do a Google search for schedule 35 and you'll see what it is. Uh, you can't do it in. Yeah, you have to be living in the U.S. Actually, there are some uh, states they won't ship to also, but you can look that up and verify it. So that's the code. So if you make an order there and you go to checkout and use that code, it'll give you 20% off your first order. <laughs> but only the first four people who use it get it. Just putting it out there since I have this platform with you know a couple hundred people watching. Maybe there's four of you who uh, want to use it. Remember, you're sitting here. There's, if there's at least four of you that want to use about it, me sucking up to the quote unquote. It's comic worth code. it. I'm not doing that. I'm not offended by AI art. I'm offended by shitty AI art. I'll be able to see. I won't see who did it, but I'll be able to see like if anyone uses it because I. It'll be like, oh, you only have. You have none of them left. Says I have four left right LG's now. LG's AI art of my profile picture is far superior. And he put in the work to create it. And you can see more of it right here. Shout out to LG. This person saying, oh, this is an own. This is an own. This this post is an own. This post is an own, even though it's not an existent post. I deleted it. 
and said, you do realize you use a deleted post, right? This is why I believe you're retarded. And then I actually put out this statement as well. I said, it's interesting how CG weirdos and supporters like to play the moral compass for simply pointing stuff out. Then the head of the quote unquote movement acts Hold like a unquote, jealous racist bud. and envious prick and tries to cry victim to throw it on to you Yo, for exposing their hypocrisy. Bud. Then the hive mind, not along like low IQ drones, the cult leader tells them to hate that guy to cover up his own failures because he can't deliver what he promised. Listen to this whiny essay. This is the most whiny essay I've ever heard in my life. Promised. He ends up delivering nothing but lies and drama for a bunch of seals clapping to the sound of black man bad. Face it, EVS is a washed up comic pro who would rather spend his time entertaining his low level drones than deliver his product to the paying customer, screeching for help. And by the way, uh, you can actually, uh, uh, you don't have to only be in the US to order Schedule 35. Uh, you can also order uh, through Canada. Like if you live in Canada, you can order them to, uh, from there too. All the people he ostracized when he gets canceled from a convention get the fuck out of here, which is about five years of his allowance. We understand you're broken, you're projecting, you can stop now. Me terrible English on And part. by the way, I've bought them several times. They work. They work. If anyone's familiar with Golden Teachers, that's what uh that's what Schedule 35 does. Golden Teachers. Very mellow, very comfortable. With Eric's storytelling. Meanwhile, you misspelled Eric. You're not even talking about the correct person. It's Yeah, he's going on. For, he's just whining too much. Let's do something else. Jesus Christ. Ah. He also did a video eating edibles. How he managed to get edibles in the UK is beyond me. He may have made his own or, or he's... I, I mean, there's a black market. Anywhere it's illegal, there's going to be a black market. You know, like... Amsterdam isn't too far away. Well, you know what though? Amsterdam, they don't really have good edibles there except they have like space cakes which are just like these chocolate hash brownies basically. Um, but they don't have like the edibles we have available to me in my area. Thank you so much for helping us get to 24.18% of our way to the goal. We're getting so close. And I'm hoping I get at least like a couple uh a couple of those schedule 35s. I'll get people their time. Um and if you missed it, like if you're watching this after the fact, I'm going to drop it uh I'm going to drop the code in the description too just in case. It's worth uh it's worth at least checking it out because maybe nobody uses one. I get like credits for like every person that buys something for the, well, the four people that buy something from schedule 35, I get like store credits. So I'll be getting some stuff too. Okay. Um, Oh, God. You guys are forcing me to watch Jared now. So I guess that's what we're doing. Here we go. By the way, the $12 donation level, the alert for that is amazing. What's going on, guys? It's Jared Genesis here. So um, <laughs> before I start the video, let me make it very clear, skis bro. I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert. Uh, this is just a fucking guy with a goddamn fedora on giving his opinions. Yeah, your opinions are almost always wrong. Okay, if that's too much for you, it's okay. I understand. But you know where the exit button is. You know what I'm saying? Or, um... I mean to say the back button. Sorry, I'm a boomer. Okay, I say things the wrong way. That's just what I do. Um... I think situated here, but <laughs> anyways, guys, actually, that's too close. <laughs> I don't like my face being that close. It makes me feel weird. Um, <clears throat> that's what she said. So, guys, on to the video. Uh, I want to talk about arm bars, or some people call them joint locks. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily call this, or excuse me, um, Oh, Lord, that was a lot. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that much to come out. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> anyways, guys, I apologize. Um, to me, a wrist lock is something that you do, like, I don't know, 
if someone is like grabbing you maybe or if you're doing it like like a steven seagal thing <laughs> steven like seagal a is a fake um, martial artist what i'm talking about when i talk about like <sighs> joint locks i'm talking about oh, jared's idea of martial arts is like movies he watched as a kid and ninja turtles that kind of trash way to get inside like you know what i'm saying closing the gap so that you can go in for a takedown uh they also call these like standing um uh, arm bars or standing you know like joint locks uh, i think that's what the judo community calls them anyways um oh got me a rope awesome <laughs> but um yeah bro here's my opinion about that okay Anything can work if you know what you're doing, <laughs> okay? That's all there is to it, bro. If you know what you're doing, you can make anything work, dude. That goes for joint locks, wrist, wrist locks, you know, all that shit. The reason why people, I think, just automatically assume stuff, it's because of goddamn UFC, Jared has this weird thing. He really doesn't like UFC. And I think usually when Jared doesn't like something, it's because it makes him feel inferior. So Jared always wanted to be this expert martial artist, this expert fighter. But in reality, he knows he sucks. So he hates UFC because he knows he would never be good enough to fight in UFC. So UFC is just trash, man. They're actually ruining martial arts that's that's his mindset you know he he wants to be a, a gaming youtuber he hates james rolf he hates uh, you know anyone who's like a gaming youtuber ufc fighting has ruined martial arts in my opinion because it's just this watered down version of martial arts it's missing so much and so because of that, people automatically... People are welcome to... See, he doesn't know what he's talking about. <coughs> they use whatever techniques work. Originally, UFC only had a few rules. It was like almost no-holds-barred fighting, and it wasn't sustainable as a business model. And the government went after it, so they had to become more of a sport with actual rules and regulations but you're welcome to bring a technique there if it works people use the techniques that have been proven to work that's why you don't see kung fu guys in ufc it wouldn't work it's like kung fu only really trains you to fight with kung fu against kung fu <laughs> You know, or like other strikers. They don't even think about grappling. We assume, well, if, uh, you know, fucking, um, what's his name? If Randy Couture doesn't do it, you know, if uh, Bigfoot Anderson Silva doesn't do it, you know. That's why different UFC fighters have different styles and different things that they're good at. <laughs> and it must not be practical. <laughs> You guys got to realize, okay, <laughs> these are athletes. Yeah, he kills roaches with his bare hands all the time. They're not even fighters. They're athletes. Fighters can be okay. athletes. What are you talking I about? I mean, technically, they are fighters, but they're not uh, martial artists. Yes, they are. They're mixed martial artists. UFC fighting is not a martial art, okay? It's a mix of martial arts. Let me break it down for you guys, because I was just having it a... And it can vary. It can be different. It's not one simple, like one thing. A debate with a troll about this. A troll. Martial arts, the definition. Let's cover what it means. It's the art of self-defense, defending yourself. What does that mean? It means not killing a person. That's not true. That's not true. It, it, there's nothing about not killing in it. Martial arts are codified sim systems and traditions of combat practice for a number of reasons, such as self-defense, military, law enforcement applications, 
competition, physical, mental, and spiritual development, entertainment, and the preservation of a nation's intangible cultural heritage. That's what the definition of martial arts is. Not even necessarily brutalizing them either. It's just doing what you need to do. Martial arts is a very broad thing. Like we just showed, there's so many different things that are martial arts. They teach a certain type of fighting style in the Marines. That's like Marine martial arts. They were showing it, the picture of it in that article. So that's a martial art, but so is Tai Chi, which is a martial art, but it's not a practical, it's not used for fighting. Because remember they said uh, exercise, spiritual development. There, there are many different things that the martial arts falls under. To get away from a fight. That's what martial arts is. Well, th that's, part, that's one of them. It said self-defense. That's what it should be, in my opinion. In your opinion, but you're wrong. Your opinions are always wrong. Anything else is just fighting, brawling, whatever, okay? UFC fighting is not martial arts, okay? <laughs> MMA, mixed martial arts. Yeah. I'm sorry, but, you know, I have my opinions on that. I do. I really do. And let me just, let me just say it like this, okay? MMA is a martial art. I, I take that back. It is a martial okay, art. Okay, dipshit. Then why are you making this video? Okay. I don't want to go too crazy here. <laughs> you always do. But it's just, you have to realize... It's not a martial art. It's mixed martial arts. It's very condensed. Like one guy that's an MMA fighter could have completely different a completely different background as the other person that they're fighting. Like one could be a kickboxer and the other one could be a wrestler. Okay. It's not the whole package. It, it's not joint locks, for example. You know, um, it's not throws. It's not, you see what I'm saying? It's still missing some things. It's not the entire package of what martial arts is supposed to be. It's condensed. I could use the word watered down, but I want to be respectful still, okay? It's just, it's very, it's a, it's not like, the name Mixed Martial Arts to me is, it's, it's kind of misleading because it, it makes it sound like, oh, it's a huge eclectic mix of all these different styles, <laughs> when in reality it's just three. It's three different styles. It's not. All right, I, I'm pretty sure I got at least one order of... Schedule 35 that someone did because I just got, yeah, I, I got some, uh, yeah, that's, it's pretty sweet. That mixed, okay? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, okay? It, it's still a decent martial art. It could still protect you on the streets, but understand I mean there are people out there who are very very skilled in many different things and that's the kind of person you would get in trouble with if you did encounter them you know no oh you mean like if they knew a mix of martial arts he just come on dude listen to yourself things and that's the kind of person you would get in trouble with if you did any different stuff. The name mixed martial arts to me is it's it's kind of misleading. Why? Because it, it makes it sound like oh it's a huge eclectic mix of all. It is. It is. Like at first they had also they had sumo wrestlers. They had all sorts of different karate guys. They even had a guy that was into ninjutsu and all this stuff. And after you know about five to ten years of it they found out what worked best and then now people train and what they know works the best that's how, that's what happened all these different styles when in reality it's just three it's three different styles 
it's not that mixed, okay? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, okay? It, it's still a decent martial art. It could it's still not protect a you martial art. It's a mix of martial arts. In the streets. And my mix of it could be different than your mix of it. But understand, I mean, there are people out there who are very, very skilled in many different things. And that's the kind of person you would get in trouble with if you did encounter them. You know, normally those kinds of people don't stop. That is so amazing. Yeah, I got the confirmation email. Someone, uh, someone ordered and got 20% off their order from uh, Schedule 35, and they're about to enter a different reality, which is amazing. So, uh, yeah, don't <laughs> do what all the cool kids are doing and use the code. Uh, first four people... They might even give me more referrals if I if I get all four really quick. So uh, yeah, if uh, if you're interested in getting some fungal refreshments, Schedule Thirty Five is the way to do it. And there's a code in the description you can use to get twenty percent off your order, and it gives me a little kickback too. So, what do you have to lose? Except for your, <laughs> except for your grasp on reality for a. A few hours so i mean they're, they're pretty grounded you know what i mean they're more like the shaolin monks but still you got to be careful out there guys you got to know how to defend yourself you know <laughs> you could be like i mean this is just a crazy example but you could be like a tourist in china you know what i mean and there could be people there that know kung fu who are not good people and like gangsters or whatever what they may know something that you do not gangsters that could kung fu gangsters very well end your life if you're not careful you know kung fu um, gangsters I'm, ju I'm just saying guys like kung mma fu isn't gonna protect gangsters. you against everything that's simply all i'm trying to say and i know this kind you of don't know like what you're trying MMA to say debate. you have no idea what you're trying to say you are just you're i mean I feel like he you've given me brain damage over the years listening to you. But I have to admit, I can't I I just can't quit you, Jared. I just can't quit you. I wish I could quit you, Jared. I wish I could quit you, Jared. As opposed to what I was originally <laughs> just going to cover you was arm say, bars. Yeah. Uh, standing arm bars, I mean to say, but I just feel like a lot of this shit really needs to be mentioned. What? Um, what needs to be mentioned? When it comes to joint locks and stuff like that. I mean, to me, it's just common sense. You can manipulate people with their joints. You uh -huh. know, if you grab them by their wrist and you move them a certain way, their whole body... Yeah, there's like wrist locks. There's uh, ankle locks. There's a... Arm bars. There's all kinds of joint pressure you can put on someone in a grappling situation. Yes. We'll move that way. I, apparently, that kind of math is too hard for a lot of meatheads to understand. Math? <laughs> Go fucking figure. You know, guys, listen, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The more open minded you are, the better fighter you will be. Oh, you mean like if you take a bunch of different martial arts and mix them? Like you're open-minded to being like a a boxer and a jujitsu guy or, you know, something like that? Or like you're a wrestler and you, you study, you know, Muay Thai or something? If you're someone who studies both the old style and the new style... What's old style and new style? You pretty much be unstoppable. There's plenty of old styles. There's a lot of different old styles. Oh, man. Like, if, Kung especially Fu. if you want... Kung Fu gangsters. Like, competitions, you would be number one. Because most people simply aren't that open-minded. It's just the sad reality of it, bro. Why are you so close-minded, bro? <laughs> Most people are arrogant, uh, or excuse me, <clears throat> yeah, they're arrogant pricks. So you can use Most that people. to your advantage. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it, guys? Isn't it cool? <laughs> 
But uh, anyways, I saw a video that I just wanted to link to you guys. I thought it was pretty cool. It was Kenpo Karate. Uh, they were demonstrating some kind of joint lock against a jab. Um, I was going to react to it, but eh, I don't think many people would really yeah, care that I'm much. Lazy, so I'll just bro. leave it linked in the description. But guys, there's my martial arts rant for the day. Anything can be practical if you know how to use it and if you know how to use it well. Okay. That's really all I got to say, man. You know, there's a lot of trolls out there. And there's a lot of trolls out there, bro. That I understand there's just a lot of fuck boys who like to instigate, but I've dealt with so many stupid closed-minded people when it comes to martial arts stuff. And it, it really does baffle the mind, you know? And I honestly do think UFC is to blame for this. I do. <laughs> because people tend to forget, again, that UFC is not a martial art. It's just, it's a sport, dude. Okay? And... There are martial arts that are sports. Judo is an Olympic sport. Taekwondo is an Olympic sport. What what the fuck are you talking about? There are martial arts that are sports. Those are not mu mutually exclusive things. I mean, I, technically, I, I would even say fencing is a martial art. Uh, and, and that's a sport. I would say uh, there, there's kendo, which is like Japanese fencing. That's a sport. I think that's in the Olympics, too. I want to be fair with MMA, but again, I just wanted to say it's it's a very condensed martial art. It, it's yeah, yeah. Basic karate is also uh, in in the the Olympics. Also, wrestling, wrestling. I mean, is a marsh wrestling is a martial art. It's a combat sport. Um, people, you know, when people hear martial arts, I think they automatically assume like Asian. Uh, you know, like they assume it's like an Asian fighting thing. They almost always assume karate or kung fu. The majority of people. Not that mixed, okay? At least not as much as you may think. Um, <clears throat> for example, uh, you know, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. That's great. Ground fighting is great. But there's a lot of stuff in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. It's not all ground, though. Like, part of it is to get you on the ground, you know, but it's not all ground. Jiu-jitsu that... Uh, there's takedowns and all kinds you know, of stuff. You're not going to find with actual old-school jiu-jitsu. You see what I mean? Um, what else is in MMA? Boxing. You know, okay, boxing, that's great. Um, kickboxing, I mean to say. No, there's regular boxing. There there are people who are, were mainly boxers that got into MMA. But there's a lot of stuff in kickboxing that you're not going to find in regular boxing. You see what I mean, guys? It's, it's very fucking condensed. So, <laughs> there you guys go. Feel free to take this with a grain of salt, but I'm simply telling you guys... There's a lot of stuff out there that's considered taboo that simply isn't. There's taboo. just a lot of ignorant people on the internet. And these are the same fucking clowns, I can guarantee you, who make those stupid McDojo videos, you know, uh, making fun of the elderly, really quite sick. I, I've what? seen this many times where they try to... They're ageist, bro. Clown elderly <laughs> people. You know, it's like, you guys... You are, deal. in fact, ageist, bro. Life, dude. <laughs> really, son. I can think of some old dudes who you would not want to mess with. You know, who practice styles like Tai Chi, Kung Fu, Karate. Uh, you guys, man, you know... <laughs> You're safe on the internet, and you can go ahead, keep clowning. You're only on the internet. That's the only human inter interaction besides your parents that you have. People, but be careful if you do it in real life, because I'm telling you right now, man, I know some people in their 70s and 80s who would take down some of these clowns. I do. And it's because they understand martial arts better than these people, these fucking idiots. 
you know. Uh, it's just so disgraceful to see shit like this. And you know who I feel most bad for, honestly, more than anything? <laughs> Steven Seagal. I feel Looks like karate will not be in the Olympics this year. Because uh, they are doing the uh, Paris uh, Olympic Games this year. So they will not have karate this year. Looks like baseball. I didn't even know they had baseball in the Olympics in 2020. I guess that makes sense because baseball was very popular in Japan. Um, it's funny, like, in Korea and in Japan, baseball is really popular. And those were two countries that the u.s were at war in and occupied for quite a while and then they both became big on baseball i think with the american influence that kind of lingered during the occupations there feel so bad for that guy the stupid bullshit he has to put up with because of ignorant meatheads you know because of these ufc fanboys uh, again, who would never even say shit to his face, but it, it's just, it's so incredible, dude, just <laughs> how stupid these people are. I mean, listen, man, I understand that there's bullshit taught, you know, and on the internet. I understand that, okay? I'm not saying everything works. Yeah, Jared seems to think Tai Chi is like this unstoppable force he talks about it all the time like it like tai chi bro tai chi and it's like tai chi really hmm. you know that you see on the fucking internet i'm not saying that but apparently people think that i do <laughs> apparently you know motherfuckers on here think that i just believe anything but, dude, I mean... You believe a lot of things. You gotta understand, bro. Steven Seagal, okay, he's like fucking... What is he? Uh, I just... He's an Aikido guy. Uh, and it's funny because there's the... I just watched a video not too long ago about how Steven Seagal's full of shit. And there's all these instances of him lying about his family's background... Uh, like he he'll claim he was like mostly Russian and then he'll claim he was mostly Native American that he'll claim he's like eight part Asian and he it just seems like he's been very misleading about a lot of things and his martial art. How many Aikido masters are are in UFC? I forgot what Aikido rank. He's like grandmaster. Okay. He's a fucking grandmaster, and you can say, well, that's because he's in a bullshit martial art. But nonetheless, dude, you got to understand, this is something he's devoted his life to. And the amount of disrespect that he gets for that is just, it's disgusting, man. Like, this is his craft, and it's something that he's obviously passionate about. People are such whiny little bitches, you know, they, they can't handle the fact that someone is into something that they're not it's it's narcissism that's exactly what it is bro it is textbook fucking narcissism everyone else is a narcissist when i when i look at steven seagal i'm not saying he's a narcissist but i'm saying <laughs> like, people who hate on him are they're oh. complete narcissistic idiots and again it just it goes back to ufc i really think that's what it is bro i blame ufc and I'd be willing to bet Seagal... Because I'll never be good enough to fight in it, bro. Probably doesn't. He got he went to an MMA gym trying to spar, got his ass kicked, and that's what made him realize he would get his ass kicked against a real MMA fighter, and now it's been all cope ever since. Oh, it's MMA's fault, bro. Get a lot of hate outside of the States. It's probably just America that hates him, you know? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm sure he gets mad respect in places like Russia, you know, um, places like Europe. Um, places like Europe? Name a country in Europe, Jared. Fucking, uh, I don't know, dude. I, oh, I don't know any other places, bro. <laughs> okay, I know Russia is technically Europe, I think. No, Russia is in, a, a little bit of Russia is in Europe and the most of it is in Asia. Jared. <laughs> whatever dude i don't give a fuck 
you don't, I'll, it's easy to not care about something that you know nothing about. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> many, many big different countries. I'm sure he gets respected. How, okay. Uh, America, unfortunately, you know, and I can say this as an American, it's just full of a bunch of idiots. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, they're people like you. You're one of them. Hey, a lot of us are just fat fucking retarded morons. Speak okay? for yourself. That's just what it is. Unfortunately, um, our school system failed us and it's more than a parent. Oh, well. That's why I keep a small crew, bro. Like on my Discord, I don't have more than three people because, unfortunately, the <laughs> world is full of stupid people. No, it's because you are so fucking paranoid that... And, and you're such a piece of shit, no one is really your friend. They're all just people tricking you. So you constantly keep getting tricked and have and you have to watch your back so you just ban everybody that you're suspicious of and you're not going to grow at all let's see uh oh damn the old invite is gone and i i'm just going to be the one to tell you that there are many many stupid ignorant people in this world bro and you got to keep your circle small you know what i mean <laughs> otherwise you're just going to you're going to have to deal with a bunch of retardation um I, I'm sorry to be so blunt, but really I'm not, you know, dealing with what I've dealt with online. You really do have to keep a small circle if you're someone that wants to grow in life. So, <laughs> I mean, if you keep your viewer base, I mean, if you're not going to grow on YouTube if you ban everybody that you're suspicious of. Anyways, guys, there's my rant for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Joe, it's growing, bud. What's the closest you've come to dying? A lot of times. A lot of times. Well, How, what's the closest you've come to dying? A lot of times. A lot of times. The, the first one that comes to mind. Skiing down the side of a mountain, split second wrong decision, and you're dead. You On were skiing oh. down a mountain? On a government assignment, by the way. And my partner did die. He didn't make it. He flew off the fucking side of the mountain. 40 plus, almost 50,000 feet straight down. 50,000 feet? Uh, don't believe there's a mountain 50,000 feet high. Uh... <laughs> Um, so, so when we look at the height of a mountain, we have to look at prominence cause that is, that's not overall elevation. That's the height from the, the base all the way to the top prominence. So like the land, like the. The land around it. So if you fell off of it, hypothetically, you know, you'd fall like that far. So Mount Everest has. What is this? God damn it. Why is it in meters? Give it to me in feet. God damn it. Meters, two feet. So Mount Everest prominence is like around like th just under 30,000 feet. Yeah, yeah, 50. There, There is no mountain. Yeah, there is no mountain that is uh, 50,000 feet. So what the fuck is he talking about? The tallest mountain on earth isn't even, ha uh, or isn't, is like 
30,000 feet. It's more than half of it, but it's not even close. Oh, my God. And I completed the mission. He's so full of shit. God. He's a super soldier. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. We're almost at 25%. I'll be back in just a moment here, and we'll do a little bit more. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Once again. Hi, everybody. I got some coffee. Whoa, shit. My coaster is stuck to the bottom of my coffee mug. Yeah, I got some coffee. We're at 24.52%. I got some more videos to watch. Uh, if you would be so kind as to come uh, help me get to 30%, I know we can do it. 
I know we can do it. I know that last 5%, 5.5% is doable. I know there's a couple of you out there that can help start a tip train and we'll get things rolling. So, uh, yeah, we'll we'll keep the ball rolling. I I know we can do it together. Ah, coffee. I'm not boofing coffee. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know, if you're out there, two bucks is the minimum donation. Just think about that. There's like 230 right here right now. If enough of you gave two bucks, we'd be there in no time. Let's check out... Oh, my God. I'm going to torture you guys with this guy. Holler if you hear me, and welcome to this edition of Art of the Road. We are at day one. I didn't watch enough of this the last time I tried to play it on the show, so I'm going to do it now. Of Astronomicon 7, because Astronomicon doesn't go and name it after the year. They name it after the number like it's a horror film series. Oh, yes. I've been oh, regular yes. since Astronomicon 2. And you can tell they've got a bit of a crowd moving and going and running and jiving and swinging and singing, all of that, because, well, why not? One of the reasons why not, I'll show you why not, because this isn't just something that's just in general with, you know, comic books. We've also got a bit of wrestling icons over here, including... Yeah, me and Billy tried to watch this. Nick Foley right there. Nick Foley. In the middle of some autographs. We'll even do it. It's also an interesting... Uh, I need to post my Comic-Con video. <clears throat> yes, this dude is... He is uh, Scott Thompson from the Kids in the Hall. If you don't know who Scott Thompson is, look him up. Google Scott Thompson, Kids of the Hall. Scott Thompson, this is Scott Thompson's uh, uh, illegitimate child that he gave up for adoption years ago. A memorable place to, sorry, bring a child. By the way, I like Scott Thompson. I just think his son is a dork. He was right to get rid of him. If you're going to be the type that wants to go and bring a kid to these kind of shows, there are stranger shows out there to bring them. And believe See, the fir I like how he said, there's stranger shows out there. <laughs> but then the, the, the person with the fursuit head walks by. It's always a fun time. It's always a good time. Because... Uh, yeah, a convention like this, it's always the right time for it. Day or night. I'm trying to see some more. Don't worry about that. We've got one there. He's showing his shitty art to people. He didn't get a table for this one. Looks like Kendall likes to draw Power Rangers. Probably the Terrifier. Terrifier? All right. The uh, Terrifier is only 20. Cash your card for it. I can. I unfortunately don't have enough tonight. Ha! Huh? Oh my god. He like told the guy twenty dollars cash or card and the guy's like, Oh unfortunately I don't have enough money to buy your shitty art. <laughs> well I, I can cut you a deal. <laughs> I appreciate this. But, I can uh, cut you a deal. Dude, I cannot believe he put this I cannot believe he uploaded this video of like him trying to finagle people into buying his art. I mean, all right. <laughs> I'm struggling uh, artist myself. Well, then uh, I'll be seeing you around then. It was around a pleasure, here. though. And Thank you, you do wonderful work. Thank you. Yeah. I'll be seeing you around for sure. Huh. Our recording got interrupted a little bit by our uh, friend right there, a potential deal, potential sale. That's the thing about when I'm here, I always got to keep my eyes open. Okay, so this is this kind of uh, demonstrates why Kendall was banned from a lot of communities online. He was always trying to peddle his shitty art to people like he'd pop into the chat rooms for popular 
uh, creators, uh, you, you know, like the, the, the people he would support, the whole like anti-woke in comics kind of people, and he'd be trying to peddle his shit art. Yeah, that was so awkward because the guy was like, ah, oh, no, sorry, I didn't, ha- I don't have enough money. He's like, well, I'll cut you a deal. He goes to these things not as like a person that's there to like be entertained by everything there and buy stuff. He's trying to peddle his shitty art to people. The 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 kind of person you really don't want to run into. They don't want to be like friendly. They want you to be their customer. Because so far in the first hour, I think I've sold more in the first hour of Astronomicon this year than any other Astronomicon. And uh, now you don't really want to lose that kind of momentum. But what else is there to see? There's plenty of other things to He's see. He's got momentum. Here. Let's get a look at a few of them. Like that, uh, that curious uh, gentleman over here. You might be curious as to what this line is behind me. This line is the line dedicated to getting to meet the group in charge, Twisted. Oh, yes. The one and only group that started this. That's how you know this is in Detroit, because Twisted has like a like a tent set up, which is a rap group from Detroit that started out as buddies with ICP, but I think they had a falling out, so they're kind of their own thing, but it's like a similar genre of music convention it's been their baby their show their business and they're always here signing things uh, and uh, I'm sorry there's also some interesting things like that is purposely being misinterpreted into a perverted way but that's up to adults perverted imagination what you make of it is up to you as you see there's plenty more around here to go to but hold on. I've got a curious gentleman right here for you all to meet. Splinter? Tell by the hand. Oh, yes, this may or may not be Splinter, our friend right here from down in the Sears of New York City. Just a fun little moment right there for him. It's a good time. It's a fun time, I bet, for everybody. Him interacting with people is so strange to me. It makes me uncomfortable. Anyone can come into the show, including rats from New York City that are mutated by ooze. That Splinter cosplay looked like shit. Yeah, some uh, gentlemen out there, you get to see the inclusivity of everything, including these ladies right here. You saw them before on my members only video. Now you get to see them again. The world's biggest Ninja Turtle fan and her sister right here, who is currently sculpting uh, for the uh, Night Before Christmas themed parade at Disney. Oh, I, I did that in 2016 and it's still there. Still, yes. running. still going since 2016. That's her work right there. And uh, sister right here, yes. You would have seen her on the toys that made us Netflix documentary the turtle power documentary and now right here at pretty much every convention is she like why the fuck are you filming me dude mention i've gone to in the state or even all the way out in port huron so shows you even the regular guests are people that have yeah i know where livonia is i know that whole area i grew up in that area like in that general part of the country notoriety around here <laughs> Well, we enjoy being around like-minded crazy people. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> but wait, there's more. And we've got some clown friends right there. I'm buddy clown. Hi. And his buddy right there. It's the jungle. Hi, jungle. Livonia, Michigan is in Metro Detroit. It's like a suburb of Detroit. Like if you pull it up on a map, it's in the Detroit metropolitan area. I tell you, one of these days, it's going to be me, you, and we're going to burn this motherfucker to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> and those are the nice clowns around here. You can never go wrong with having uh, a lot of people around here. Because remember, the bigger the crowd, that means the happier you are going to be in having places to go and people to meet on any given day of the show. And there's going to be a lot more, a lot less men of distinguished sizes and also people of uh, interesting gates and also people of unique uh, costumes, including a couple right here 
that you'll definitely find interesting, you'll definitely find fascinating, you'll definitely leave a, a major impression upon, if I could see the two of them. Yeah, let me see. Ronald McDonald and Pennywise. Yeah. Let's see if we can get them on camera for a bit. Over there. It's funny when I hear Pennywise, I automatically think of the punk rock band from the 90s. They're, they're still around, but they started, they might have even started in the late 80s. I'd, I'd have to look that up. But they were really popular in the 90s. I automatically think of them when I hear Pennywise and not the clown. Yeah. Say hello. Yeah, I don't and know. There'll be more of them in the future. Probably because I I saw them live so many times. I just saw them live last summer too. But the crowds, the crowds are just one element. They are of a it. kick There's ass also band. Also, the guests and celebrity guests are always top notch here. Last year there actually was a makeup show where they didn't have Kevin Smith as promised, so they had to bring it back in June. What? Hello. We've got one of our security men right here in the crew. Just to say no, that. Scott Thompson is gay and did not mean to accidentally impregnate a woman. Okay? And he does not want to raise... He does not want to raise Kendall. Kendall has a has a foster father. What's, what's Kendall's dad's name again? Alan. Alan! Who has a very short fuse... And that's just the tragedy of Kendall's life, okay? Hello there. I love the crowd. Yeah, I got to keep things top-notch around here, so that means that this man is going to be around all the time, every time. There's lots of twisted fans there. And what are we seeing in the middle of right now? Our friend and yours, James A. Janice of the Dead Meat YouTube channel, right here, getting a photo with uh, his boy, his fan right here. Years ago. Years ago. Years ago. Perfect. Ready? This little friend. Right. Oh my God. Now ain't that nice? Oh yeah. We also got some competing press go on around here, but there will be more to be seen, to be known, to be competing loved. Competing press. As uh, sorry. Remember, with the press, there's always lots of big people, but we should probably leave this gentleman to his own devices or to somewhere else in his devices, because because we're probably going to be a bit of a time until we see. Hello there. We've got Leatherface right here now. Everyone say hello to the gentleman. Chainsaw and all. He's moving in. Because the buzz is not back. The buzz is always around. When you see that gentleman right there. And regular celebrity guests like Bill Mosley of House of a Thousand Corpses fame, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, right there. Oh, there. Don't want to, you, you, you never know where somebody doesn't want to be filmed like that. You put them on the spot and they get all mad. So, yeah, you shouldn't. Or, you yeah, couldn't. But then it's he also knows a from experience. of someone's uh, personality and how they go versus someone else. And it is also morphin' time since the one and only himself, David Yost. Yes, the original Blue Power Ranger right there. He's already got his table up and ready to go as he is getting things signed. He's got a little Dragon Ball jacket man right there. Hence why there's drag, there, there is Power Rangers and Dragon Ball art with me in my precious little book right here. Because we've already got places to go, people to meet, and all He's wheeling and dealing. Reading all down and down this little street. He's wheeling and dealing. But when you come around to a show like this, it's not a matter of just the regulars. It's also a matter of new time customers like that gentleman right behind me I spoke to earlier. Hello there. And we also happen to have Ghostface right there. This guy's like, don't Ghost film me, of, asshole. Going around, saying hello. They be fat, we be fast, they be slow. And also we could say hello to my very first customer at this show right there. There she is. The first woman to break the cherry at this convention to this year. To break the cherry. Coming home with my uh, Cody Rhodes color piece. Let's give her a little look right there. Oh, it's a Cody Rhodes uh, jacket. Whoa. 
Oh my God! I said when I was younger that that I, I had my kingdom. There we are. Oh my God! So, uh, He's singing Cody Rhodes theme music. So uh, yeah, so then have more fun. And that man just passing us is Walter Jones of Power Rangers fame. That's just one guess. Oh, this is just a fraction of what you're going to see at day one of this convention. There's plenty of more, and you'll be seeing even some more secret stuff if you uh, happen to look at the content I do for all of my channel members to see. You're going to get a deeper look into this fun little fun time there. And that's not my opinion. I know I'm right. So I want to thank you for watching. Subscribe so my channel reached 10,000 subscribers this year. Don't forget to become a channel member today. And also shop in my art store with the second link below, where besides my artwork that's there for sale, you can also commission me uh, for artwork, and you can also donate. When you donate in my store, that money goes directly to me instead of, oh, sorry, instead of to Google. So besides that, from, until then, there's going to be more Astronomicon to come. So felines, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy. See you, Space Cowboy. Oh, my God. Oh. I know we can do this shit, by the way. Joshy. Queen Cobra, like, Jessica just keeps streaming. She falls asleep and turns all the lights off. Isn't it time to stop your stream at that point? Like, why, why stream a dark room while you're sleeping? Like, they can't even see you sleeping. I don't know. Oh, God. All right. So I do have more videos. I would like to see. Uh, I, I'm going to let you guys decide because maybe I'll just watch it tomorrow. But if you'd like this stream to continue. I would ask that you help me out. You can help me get to at least 26%. To at least 26%. And I will put up this timer. I'm giving you guys ample time too. 10 minutes. No, just pay me to make fun of him. Instead. Joshy. Ah. Shit, dude. And right now we're just going to chill out for a minute. Yeah, I do have some other stuff saved on the playlist. Queen Cobra, her fucking phone got smashed. That was like, eh. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Hell yeah. So we're almost at 26% now. Let me see what else I got out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do have a few other things, too. Because I want to keep it moving all night long. It's not even past midnight for me yet. The crazy thing is... I know that if I had, if I was like all drunk right now, I could probably just stream all night. 
but because I'm not drunk, it's like I don't know. For well, for one thing, the time doesn't fly by as quickly. You know. He 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 he. That twelve dollar dono is wonderful. Hell yeah. So we're almost there. The the we're so close to the 26% to extend the show and we still have about six and a half minutes, six and three quarter minutes. To reach that threshold. Yeah, laughing is fun. Yeah, we're so close. Yeah, I set a realistic goal. I wanted to be like 30%, which is what I really want. But, you know, uh, we'll get the 26% and then we'll build on that. How about that? That's how it works. You know. Well, you know. Some strong wasabi. I could just play uh, Switch Bowling all night. I'll just keep the stream going all night and just play Switch Bowling all night. Well, you know. Hey, if you want the stream to continue but also go to bed, um, just help me get to 30%. I don't know. That's all I say, you know. Should I uh, stream in the bathtub for eight hours? I can do that. I could. I could stream in the bathtub for eight hours. <laughs> drinking bathtub stream <laughs> I want the stream to continue but in a naked three and a half minutes Someone drop a 12-er again. Hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee. <laughs> 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 
let's see. What do I need here? Better not donate to the stream, boy. Boy. <coughs> oh, damn. That made me cough. What? Pay, what, like donate through Patreon? It doesn't count for the goal because the goal is something separate, but... I mean, Patreon helps for sure. Patreon, and then you get perks and everything. Patreon's like a different thing, but it's because it doesn't count towards the meter. What? How much? How much are you gonna drop on Patreon towards the goal? <laughs> Oh, why, thank you. $5 on Patreon. I do appreciate it. You'll get, uh, we're, we're doing a private show on Friday, and, uh, this coming Friday and the following Friday. So you'll get both of those. It's always cool to get new patrons. I appreciate it. We'll see. Well, I mean, uh, I'm, you know, there's going to be more streams. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. See, there it is. Spec, spec is your hero. Spec is your hero uh, keeping the stream going. We should also get to 30%, though. We need to push it to 30%. But spec is the reason the stream is going to continue. Well, I mean, all of you co collectively, but Spec came through in the final seconds to keep things moving. All right. So, yeah, we'll keep it running here. All right, let's do this shit. He called me, sir, and got me so fuming. People are discriminating against wolves. Wow. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. Forty, fart, 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 fart. Plastic surgeon explains risks of illegal butt injections after mother-daughter duo accused of... I, I can't read the rest of it. Well, it's a long title. A mother and her daughter facing charges tonight related to unlawful medical practice. A sting operation conducted by the Houston Police Department revealed accusations that the two would travel across the country and give paying clients illegal butt injections. <laughs> Look at them. They they look like they look like they've both had some sort of cosmetic facial surgery. Fireball Z. Devin Clark is outside a licensed plastic surgeon's office in the Greenway Upper Kirby area with why getting such a serious procedure done is by someone unqualified could have deadly consequences. When I first got this click to Houston push alert on my phone about the story, I looked into it and immediately started asking myself, why would anyone want to get such a serious procedure done by someone who's unqualified? Well, the certified plastic surgeon who we spoke to says there are no reasons worth the risk. Not only could you lose your life, but the complications are going to cost you far more than if you had paid to have the procedure properly done. Board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Forrest Roth, reacting to the news of 56-year-old Consuelo Dalbo and 18-year-old Isabella Dalbo. 
The mother-daughter duo arrested during a sting operation in Cyprus yesterday. Officials say even though they have no licenses, they administered multiple illegal butt injections. Butt injections. Come on. Is there like an actual term for this surgery? Butt injections. Throughout the country. A procedure Dr. Roth says is delicate. It is safe, um, but... It is not an easy procedure, and it is not safe if you haven't been trained. The Texas Medical Board makes it easy to look up licensing information for healthcare providers. For example, if I type in Dr. Roth's name, you can see he has an active license. But if I type in Consuelo or Isabella Dalbo's name, Nothing. Dr. Roth says having the procedure done by unqualified people puts the patient at higher risk of infection and even death. The buttocks is potentially one of the most dangerous sites to inject because of the size of the blood vessels. So the injectable products can get in the veins and travel to other parts of the body. While Dr. Roth says he only uses safe fillers like fat, a product called Sculpta, and another called Radius, he says unqualified professionals may use products they that- They use fucking like silicone caulk that aren't safe liquid silicone is very dangerous collagen um, sometimes people use products like silica from home depot it's okay uh, what the doubt bowls allegedly use, well, uh, but officials say that they would charge around six thousand dollars per procedure dr roth says he charges about the same plus facility and material fees the Dalbos have been released on bond and are- So they were charging almost as much as a real surgeon. That's insane. Due back in court on April 10th. That's Reporting crazy. In the Upper Curry Greenway area, Devin Clark, KPRC, two news. People are insane. Uh, cosmetic surgery is usually a bad idea. <laughs> I'm just saying, it usually is. Uh, here's, what is this? Coffee company man sentence for COVID fraud? Okay. Well, new this hour, a coffee county man has been. Oh, coffee county. I had no idea that there was a place in Georgia called coffee county. Sentenced to 15 months in prison and must pay back over $1.3 million dollars for illegally applying for and receiving COVID-19 pandemic relief funds. Now, 59-year-old uh, Kyle Waldron from Douglas pled guilty to money laundering after the IRS and the Secret Service found he submitted at least 20 different paycheck protection program and economic oh injury disaster loan applications through the Small Business Administration. Oh my God. The federal judge also ordered Waldron to serve three years of supervised release after his prison time. Holy shit. Shit, we gotta do something a little more fun. His dances can't be done unless they're done with socks on a carpet. <laughs> His dance moves are great. Nobody, if I give you my time, can you snatch my soul from me? 
His dance moves are so amazing. The way he shovels his feet around and Getting tired. City of my whole body. Whole body. Bra bum bum bum. Make me hot. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. Make me sweat. Make me hot. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. Bra bum bum bum. Make me water. Make me lose my breath. Okay. Yeah, he, his hair is uh, one of nature's great mysteries. Uh, this is a weird one. Yeah, I see all these videos where it's like, yeah, people called the cops because you're recording, so I'm here to talk to you, and it's like, I mean, what is what is he doing? Just recording out. On the street. Journalism protected under the First Amendment, so sorry about that. All right, but hold on. Am I being detained? Yeah, right now. For you're what? Locked, so I'm further investigating why you're walking What around. crime? You have to articulate a crime before you can okay, detain but I could me. Also detain Supervisor, you, you can't detain just anyone. You have to articulate a crime. So if law enforcement requests your identification, right, you are obligated to give that to law enforcement. Not you unless you can walk. articulate a crime. So I can articulate that this Walking is around is not. Behavior. Suspicious isn't a crime. Hello, sir. You live around here? I'm not answering any questions. Okay. You have a nice day then, okay? Thank you. Am I free to go? Yeah, you've been free to go this whole time. And she told me I've been detained. I'm trying to identify you. That's not my problem. I don't have to further your investigation for you. That's your job. You can't <laughs> walk up to a, a citizen not committing a crime and demand ID. That's that's not how this works. Yes, you know the law more I do. Hard to believe a citizen out here would actually have a degree and know what they're talking about, huh? I'm not detained. I'm on the sidewalk. It's where I've been the whole time You're before I was harassed. More than welcome to say that. You've been proven wrong by your own coworker here. You have a great day, sir. Ha <laughs> ha Ah. If five of you wonderful viewers were to give a mere two dollars, which even my brokey ass could, we'd be over 30 percent. That is true. That is true. It might happen. You never know. We'll see how much longer, how much more gas I got in the tank, but I'm going to go and, and maybe we'll do it. Who knows? Go ahead and break down the mindset of a troll for you and how and how they view lol cows. To them, lol cows are nothing more than people that are good at nothing else but making these evil people laugh. Oh, my God. He's so horrifying. 
I gotta be honest, Cyrax, this does make me laugh. Uh, so, this... you saw him. He's doing good. But little did I know that was a fucking setup. Cyrax is so gross, dude. I can't even watch him. Let me get something else. Yeah, uh, yeah, the whole, I, I actually, um, oh, God. This didn't show? Oh, no, I didn't notice it. It just came in. <laughs> Slaves had a choice, and that choice is more DP. Okay. That's like an old Tommy Sotomayor thing. Tommy Sotomayor said, like, slaves chose to, like, they, they chose to keep being slaves or whatever. I remember that really dumb shit. By the way, I'm putting this out there again to those of you watching that are interested in getting a, a perfectly legal uh, fungal uh, supplement, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, I have a coupon code through Schedule 35, and if you use it, you'll get 20% off your first order. I'll pop it right there into the chat again. Uh, a couple people have already used it. If you live in the U.S. or Canada, there's a good chance that they ship to you. And I've used their product before. If you're familiar with Golden Teachers, that's what they sell, Golden Teachers. Very nice. Very nice, mellow, euphoric feeling. Uh Schedule 35. Check out Schedule 35 and use that coupon code right there at checkout. It it 100% works. It's Golden Teacher. Uh, I I've ordered them multiple times and they work. It's a legit source. Yeah, schedule 35. Use the code. Every time I get someone to use the code, I get credit on their website, and I'm going to order myself some. What's the thing? It's schedule 35. Just Google schedule 35, and then that code I just posted in the chat. I also have it in the description. Uh, you just order whatever you want. They have, like, they have uh, pills, they have a tea, they have chocolate, and it's all go Golden Teachers. That's like their f fungus strain that they work in. And I like it. it. It's not as trippy as some of the other ones I've tried. It's more of like a body feeling and kind of, it's, it's way more chill. Uh, I've, I've taken it multiple times. I've done it on, during a stream before I, I, I was talking about. I was microdosing them for a little while. You can get the, what I would do if you're new to it is I would um, I would start with the lowest dosage. They have um, these microdoses for 100 milligram They're So it's I think it's five 100 milligram. Yeah, it's five 100 milligram capsules for $12, okay? And you take one a day for five days in a row, and then you, you take two days off. And then you take one a day for five days in a row, and then you take a couple days off, two days off. And then if you build a tolerance, you can move up to the 200 milligram microdoses. It doubles your dosage. Uh, so that's what I would suggest. And then they have a mega, do a super dose, which is four 500 milligram capsules. Oh, yeah, those, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is something else. Uh, let's, let's see.
check out what else I got here. This morning, chilling video of an Oregon man narrowly dodging a runaway four-foot saw blade just moments after he went into a convenience store. Whoa! Holy shit! Did you see that? I mean, obviously it wasn't my time, but... <laughs> that would have killed him! Yeah, it's probably the closest I've ever experienced it. Surveillance video shared with our affiliate showing the saw blade barreling with high speed towards this Oregon store. Then and it stuck right into the door. Striking just inches away from the door that Shane Rimke opened just seconds earlier. The saw blade nearly slicing through the wall. These photos showing the damage. I was walking into the store here. I put my handle on the door and uh, I heard a loud bang and yelling over here at the corner. Just as a cloud of smoke pops up and I see a guy fall into the ditch and a four foot blade hurling at me. <laughs> the impact to the front of the store so strong, the owner says the entire building shook. Jesus. So all I heard was like a metal Holy shit, dude. Rolling down from the street and I looked at the camera. It was just wind. It, this is w this happened where Jeff lives. It says this is at the Quick Trip Market in Eugene. I wish we would have watched this while Jeff was on here. The Quick Trip Market in Eugene. Damn. I'll bring him back on. Jeff, what do you think about the quick trip market in Eugene? Oh, I've been there many times. Many times. That's that's amazing, Jeff. <laughs> and all of a sudden, we heard a loud bang. Like, it shook the, literally the whole store. A contractor on the scene who witnessed the incident telling our affiliate that the blade may have gotten loose from a lost bolt in addition to potential operator error. But Rimke says he's grateful to be alive following the close call. I'm thankful to be here, really. Absolutely. Right. I mean, I was thinking maybe it's my time, but I don't think I would have survived being touched by that thing. No, 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 that would have been very bad for you. Uh, that is, that is very bad. Very, very bad. You are a very, very bad man. <sighs> Sturgies. Sturgies got the burgies. All right, so this is what I'm about to do. I am not fully ending the show, but for the people listening to the audio version of the stream, this is where the show is ending. So I'm about to do a fake ending to the show and then come right back. So here's the ending for the people listening to the audio version. Have a good night, audio version people. In the beginning, there was nothing, and then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants. Drunken peasants From the strangest corners of the internet Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben You know where you can find them at Get ready cause they're gonna kick your Drunken peasants Drunken peasants Drunken peasants Drunken peasants Okay back again all right so this is the unofficial show that is just gonna stay here 
for uh, a little while. Um, you know, just chill for a moment. The show is over, but I'm still hanging out here. Yeah, that was the simulated ending. That was it. The show ended, but I'm still here. And we're we're just going to keep going for a little while. It's almost midnight here. So it's almost 3 a.m. in the Eastern time zone. Uh, shit. I think I'm going to play some games and chill for a minute and then wrap it up. But if you guys want to hang out and if any of you do want to help me get to 30%, I'll, I, I'd really appreciate it. It's not a requirement, but it's much appreciated. You know the shtick, right? Shit, let me... Uh... Yeah, you know, I, uh, let's see, I gotta adjust my, there we go, all right. Yeah, to be honest with you, uh, this time of the month is a, uh, pretty rough financial time of the month so i'm putting in the extra hours because there's like big time expenses coming up right now these are kind of the more uh crucial weeks of the month in the middle of the month But now we're just hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, not taxes. Just uh, regular expenses. Like, most of my expenses come through in the middle of the month. It is, yeah, it's the same here. It's 11.55 p.m. here. Yep. I'm in the Pacific time zone. So, same as you, presumably. Because you said the same time as it is where I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm I'm going to do something in a minute here. I'm so glad so many people did the schedule 35 thing too. That's great. Yeah, I'm just chilling and we're probably going to play a game or whatever here in a few and I'm, I'm lowering my voice now I'm just gonna talk like this the rest of the stream if that's okay with you because I've done so much talking today that I feel like turning it like all into vocal fry so I'll just talk in this low vocal fry kind of voice and maybe I'll just fall asleep in this chair here uh you know, fighting games. Uh, yeah, sometimes I do fighting games. Not right now. I'm not planning on doing a fighting game now, but I do like some fighting games. Mostly the Capcom fighting games are mostly my thing. I'm actually going to, uh, I'm actually going to do a little bowling because I think that's fun. And then I'll I'll get to stand on my feet and bowl a little bit and maybe it'll wake me up because I'm not committed to ending the stream yet. I told myself 
that I was going to hit 30 fucking percent on this today, and I mean it. I told myself. And if that means when people are waking up, are, are we only $6.34 away from 30%? Oh, damn. Yeah, that's that's close. I don't like to rush things. We'll get there. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to uh, turn. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to make a few adjustments here. Let's see. Put myself on full screen for a moment here. Ah, ah. Oh, holy shite. We're going to do, we're going to have some fun. We're going to be sweet boys and girls. We're going to have a ton of fun. Because that's how we do it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Damn it, man. All right, there's one. Let's go. Really? You're doing this shit? There we go. All right. All right, I'm going to turn down the volume for this shit. I'm about to switch here. I'm just getting something set up here. Where is it? Where are you, you bastard? There we go. Turn that down a little bit. All right. So now I'm turning on uh, the speakers here in the studio. I'm going to take my headphones off. everybody yes we're about to do some bowlings here oh god let me move this thing <laughs> so I don't kick it over there we go oh no it's I need to fix this hold on that is not correct um, Hold on, okay. Is that better? I thought I had this camera angle figured out. There we go. All right. Hi, everybody. Here I am. And by the way, if you do send in donations, it'll play out and, and, and everything, and I'll be able to hear it. I just need to switch. I just needed to switch. Hi, everybody. Hi. We're going to play some bowling here. Why the hell not? All right, let's see how good I can do here. Make it nice and straight. All right. Oh, no. That's not a good start. Oh, no, not again. All right, one more time. 
There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. Huh. It's not quite lined up how I would like it to be, but whatever. All right. Do it again. Yes! Two in a row. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yay! That's most definitely what's up, Tubes. Again! Three in a row! Target with that one. Now I have a 7 10 split, which is awful, but we'll see what we can do here. We'll do our best. All right. Oh, damn. That was my best attempt. All right. Let's try to recover from that open frame right there. All right. Okay. We got it. Fuck. I hate when that happens. Oh, God. Right down the middle. I got another split. This one's a little more doable. If, if you can just throw it right, if I can just hit the outside. Nope, too dead on. All right, well, if I can get in the 200s, I'll be happy with that. Oh, that's another strike, getting a lot of strikes here. The key is to get strikes in a row, though. You want to get as many strikes in a row as possible. Like, if you if your strikes are, like, have, like, open frames in between them, it really hurts your score. Damn, there's another one. Done pretty good this game. Get it. Nope. It curved. It curved, damn it. All right. Okay. Third frame is so important. Because it's the only frame where you can get three strikes. Most frames you can only get... One strike, Max. Yeah, I fucked up there. Got it. Game. I'm gonna get like, ah, oh, I didn't even get 200. With all those strikes, 
because I had too many open frames. I'll play another one, why not? I hate when that happens. There we go. <laughs> nope. That was a terrible one. Piece of shit. <laughs> shit, man, my aim is way off now. And now at this point, I'm like, fuck it, I don't even care. My score is fucked now. Well, that did something. This is how I would probably bowl if I did real bowling right now. Be lucky to break a hundred. Ooh, I got that one though. I've only gotten a few of those, like, really hard split conversions. No, it's not bumper bowling. I wish. I'd never get a gutter ball again. I remember I had bumper bowling for my 10th birthday party. Actually, it was probably more like my 8th birthday party. Want bumpers? Give me some bumpers. All right, I'll try one more. Eh, that was a sloppy strike, but I still got it. Oh, 
Oh, that was... Ah, I hit it so bad. Son of a bitch. Sucks. Quads are massive, bro. Look at my calves, bro. My legs are my best feature. I don't know if Jessica's really on meth. It's funny to call her Methica, but I just think she's just out of her mind. Shit. But maybe she was on it, or maybe she is on it, but it just doesn't seem that way. Sometimes they look so good to me, and I'm like, I don't know. It looks good, and then it hits the pins and does not do. Uh. Mathica. Oh, shit. God damn it. One pin mocking me. Mocking me. Finish. What did I get this time? About the same as my first one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's twitchy and stuff, but I just think she's just weird.
I wish I had uh, more games where I could stand up and play, but I don't. Yeah, I know I was muted. I was switching mics, so. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, audio back. So, I don't, yeah, I guess we're, you know, it's after midnight. I guess we're not going to hit the 30, which is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with 26. It was a good time. It was fun streaming, uh, hanging out, doing that thing. I'm going to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys again probably tomorrow. Probably another stream tomorrow. So, I'll see all of you then, and I hope you have a great night. Goodbye.